go into water and take the fire off. Um, fuck. Yeah, I think he said that's it. him cry. It's okay, I made him die. <laughs> there it was. Whoa. Well, I mean, technically you still had a bath. <laughs> You have to run because I'm holding these. No, not on top! <laughs> there you go. Don't go through the fog clouds. Just gotta be careful. And go up. Okay, that was not what I said. <laughs> I said be careful. <laughs> you gotta stand on them for a minute. Ha! Let me out. At least I know it won't squash you. No, no. You gotta go down. And then jump over the exit. There you go. Climb! Yay! Go. Uh, okay. Why? Oh <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, Tobalak, what's up? Oh God, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. Ah. Oh my god. How am I still on? <laughs> Speed strats. <laughs> my bounce on you. Eh, got it. Now push it. Why would you do this? <laughs> Boing. Oh, 
I love how you can climb <laughs> upside down. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. <laughs> I'm run running on you. Hang on. Just drag. No, no, you can stay in. Get in. I drag. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this one is gonna need you. Got it. I have to toss you. Got off work. I'm doing some quick dishes before finishment making your quest. Your quest? I need to turn this music down again. Everything is so fucking loud. I don't mind Stamper being loud though. Also, did you just die without. I would have tossed you. How dare you? <laughs> I see how it is. I'm not needed or wanted. <laughs> you know a guy who might be interested? Huh, you can't get up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> That's exactly what I just did. Nice. Ah, oh, your D&D session, I see. Just throw it on the pile. Oh shit, sorry. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the fire continues. <laughs> I think we're done. Go for the A plus. No. For it. No. I refuse. No A plus. Oh, On four? Challenge levels over here. I guess so. I've never done them. Oh fuck! <laughs> I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> ah. Uh, oh god. Oh shit! Fuck. Wait, where am I? <laughs> oh fuck! God! Help! Okay, you know what? Okay, I see what to do. Come back, come back over here. No, 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 no. Over here. I have to toss you. Okay. That's fine. How the fuck do we get through here? You have to jump off. There you go. Keep, keep, keep going, keep going! There you go. No. <laughs> oh no! Shit! <laughs> You're just slightly out of sync. No! <laughs> go, go, no! So, so close. Yeah. Okay, now I can die. Right, no, <laughs> to do oh god. Oh god, no! <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> uh, oh god, please! I can't! <laughs> oh my god! I can't. Oh. We have 15 seconds. <laughs> Thank you. No. Come here. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, That's good coming. No. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh fuck, wrong way. No. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Ah. Um, good try. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> that beginning really fucked this up. Get the best 
time to win. Get the worst time to lose. <sighs> okay, toss. Nice. One. Oh, fucking yes. <laughs> that. I don't know why we did it. They make it so easier. You have to jump a little. Yeah, there you go. Oh, shit. There you go. <laughs> okay, no. Not yet. Toss me. Okay. Nope. Come, come to me. A little closer. Okay. Oh god. Okay, I made it. I made it. I made it. Is it? What? Oh, okay. Hang on. No, wait! Okay. What? Why does it- it's so gentle. Like, fragile. I am bad! You have, jump, you have to jump back to the purple, maybe? After you get on the block? Oh, maybe. Ah, that makes sense. Boink! Come on. Where are you going? I might have to do oh. something. Yes. I am anxious because of time. Uh, I can climb up. Okay. Oh! Ah. Works, I guess. Uh. Come on, I can get over there. Oh. Okay. Come to me! Oh god. <clears throat> Get on top of that one. Oh fuck. Oops. Uh oh no. Oh, I almost did the chicken. <laughs> Nothing reeks quite like the stench of losers. I hate it. That might be a little challenging. A little bit. That's what they're there for though. You wanna try the boss? Yeah. <laughs> you have to run. You cannot walk. For this is a race against the clock. The, the, the clock. Oh. Well, at least we had some practice, fuck. <laughs> oh god. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. This fat ass. <laughs> Help. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, no. Uh. Oh, that was pointless. Uh, no, nothing? Wait, what is the point of this? Oh, up there. And then it teleports over uh, there. Okay. Wait! <laughs> go, go, go! Yeah. Ow! Okay. Ow. That's just where our bodies go. No. Fuck off. We all die. <laughs> oh my goodness Here, go. Whoa! Pressing all the wrong keys. Off, cat. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, for some reason I'm ahead of you. Go. 
Uh, 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 I'll get the one down here. You get the one up there. Oh, no, no. Woo. <laughs> Are we good? Let's go. Oh, no, there's still more. Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Why though? Okay. Oh god. It's fine. Sorry. <laughs> Go with it. Go with it. God. Ow! I almost had it if I didn't flinch. Did you jump off my dead body? <laughs> Take me up to you. Oh god, okay. Fuck off, cats. I'm going. Oh god. Thanks for hitting me down. Gotta keep going, gotta keep going. Ah! <laughs> Oh. Oh, <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Why though? You just go, please. Please save us. Checkpoint. Thank God. Oh no! 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 <laughs> oh Jesus! I got a shiny crown and I need a little help. Oh, hey, Captain. Oh no! Yeah, I can't say that. Got to put it on. <laughs> Famous. Yay. You sure know how to make the best of a confusing and hopeless situation, but boy, this place is quite the enigma, wouldn't you say? I would. And you know, a little warning would have been nice. You know, before they threw us headfirst into this gladiatorial prisony place with its perilous oh, medley of I can hear yours. <laughs> productions that shred the silky fabric which weaves together the fragile blanket of sanity that keeps us sane. But you know, whatever. Either way, it's safe to say we're in quite a graveyard here. We gotta rescue our friends and get back to Mr. Boat. I mean, they do the same for there you. you. And adventuring just wouldn't be the same without, I don't know, this guy. Best chef in all the land. Food so stupid, delicious, one oh, taste would blow your face through the back of your head. Like bang, splat. And who could forget this quirky fellow? You know, he owns a bat farm back home, and his lifelong dream is to breed a terrifying race of super bats. None of which makes any sense, of course, because he's absolutely terrified of bats. And this lovely ass always tells the best bedtime stories. Hands down, Yoshi always smells like chocolate. So that's good. And then there's this guy and this handsome fellow and that thing. All your best friends imprisoned. And they don't like it very much because it's bad and horrible. And then there's Hattie, the best friend of all. Why did he stab us in the back and twist the blade? I mean, just this morning he gave everybody flowers and presents and now he goes out of his way to hurt our feelings? Oh, I think not. You can't fool me. Hattie would never betray us. B betray us. Never. Something fishy's going on here and I think I... I don't like it right now at all. It must have something to do with that scary, albeit fashionable hat. Sure looks evil. I mean, it's glowing red and stuff. Glowy red stuff is always bad. Everybody knows that. So what dangerous treats lie in store as we continue to unravel this treacherous sweater? I don't know. But use caution as you continue your gallant endeavor. Don't, don't like, fail and die and stuff, because it's all up to you now. What? Why did, why did it do that? That was, that was scary. <laughs> oh gosh. <clears throat> Jelly? Oh. Uh, get on top of me. 
No, no, on top. Oh, stand on top of me. I can shove you up. That would have been useful. <laughs> Fair enough. That would have been helpful. Yeah. If there's more tips as you keep going down. Uh, we can't open the doors until we're done. <laughs> Where? Where'd my. Oh, here it is. Uh, there we go. Alright, sorry about that. Meow! <laughs> Shall we find some sparkly gems? A sparkly gem. Have you good. <laughs> Ow. Some yarn, yay! I'm just gonna sit on him. The elusive dream check. Oh. What? I don't know what happened. He got you. Hi. Was there another thing down on the bottom? Toast. Toast. Why did we trade spots? Oh god. No. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't like you. been hit in one we couldn't see. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my god. So fucking bright. Uh, okay. You use these on vending machines in the store. Okay? Bye. <laughs> That's doing so well. <laughs> oh. Wow. Ah! Where am I going? What? I went up like an elevator. Why is this one green? Ow. <laughs> oh, fuck me. No. <laughs> up, up. Why? Why do I do these things to myself? Whee. No! Oh, I jumped too different. soon and then I feel bad. <laughs> Get on! Are you oh fucking <laughs> kidding me? It's Fine. Oh. No! no try again. <laughs> no! <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Okay. You do it. I'm bad at it. The yarn was invented in 1984 Ooh. by Stanley Yarn. Back then it wasn't all yarn. It was called catch string. People used to use it to lure cats to their homes because meat was very expensive. True story, the end. That's the most beautiful gemstone I've ever seen. 
an interesting one. Mm. Bit difficult. I'm just bad at games, though. No! Where was someone hiding? <gasps> There's two of them down there. Oh. Fuck. I don't know. I gotta throw you. Oh, wait, but maybe not. There we go. <laughs> what? Apparently, the tree blocks you from jumping. Oh. I stood on you mid air. Oh, hello! Nice. How do we get that gem? Mm. Where did that Again, oh. Just... There we go. Oh, there you go. Oh, Jesus. If your head was not there, I would have fallen in the water. Got you. Get him! He has a gem! Why would you do this? <laughs> Got his ass. Oh, but... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> A hundred percent. According to Kate Kaiku. Uh, oh. Wait! No! We have all gems, I think. That's what the glow means. Ow! Fuck. Wait, where does this one have been? Oh, my back oh. Uh, go to the left. And then go that one. There you go. I was just wondering where I was. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> so I jumped through the other portal and then I was back up there. I'm like, where did that go? <laughs> yeah. He's been practicing. Gift shop! Get you some new hat. Cause I don't know how. Oh! It has the option for me now! Oh, I was reading... <sighs> okay, I think I figured out the issue. I was reading the 1 as a 7, so I thought I had 74. I had 14. This still isn't registering, though. And it says you only need five. I like the robot. Okay. I got one for triangle, I think. I haven't played it in so long. I don't know which one is new. Uh... I 
I could be a snake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I want to change that one. There we go. So now I no longer have that fireball. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you bought it. Apparently, yes, I can. What the hell? I have more than five. And where I am. No. There's no prompt. Buy another one. What the fuck? Oh, you have fire now. Goodness. Sorry, I'm really gassy. <laughs> Why? Goodness gracious! How do I switch to the other one? Uh, in your player settings. Choose well, your favorite. It's at the bottom. Pick your favorite stuff. There's two weapon attacks you can have. They're the ones underneath your head shape and the style of head. Huh? Oh, that's the other one. Okay. How dare you. Fum. I need to figure out how the hell I get my other one. I think it's left bumper. Oh, I'm not Just... using controller. Why have you done this? The one that does this. <laughs> My goodness gracious! I think you can stick those on walls. Ow. And climb on them. Got, anyways. Maybe not these walls. Anything else you want to buy? Uh, nope. That was everything I could buy. Okay. Why have you done this? <laughs> Why have I done this? Help! Smells like beef stew in here. It's making me sick and hungry at the same time. Why would it make you sick? Beef stew is delicious. Ah, oh, it is. Yeah, I knew it. You have to be really close. Uh, get over here. <laughs> I thought I needed to jump on your head. Oh no! <laughs> blocking me. I think you could shoot it off, maybe. Yeah, there you go. I see. I gotta move this one. Oh. Oh no. Um. Oh. Please. What's going on? I'm trying to make it so it's blocking that spot. The foggy spot. But it makes you jump and then drop it. So it's very difficult. Here. I'll stop it. You can land on it. There you go. Now we have to check. Jesus! Oh. Why though? Okay. Careful, this is really hard. Got it. Oh god. Woo! And it wisely. Your best yet. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> Turn on my head and you can pull the other one. Mm. That's the ticket.
Uh oh. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty sure I punched him into the um, spikes there. Mousy! Thank you for gifting a sub to Nishi. That's very sweet of you. Oh god. Why would you do this though? Oh god! Why would I do this? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Are we missing? Oh, we I think. Yeah, that's. I, okay, well. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. One moment, I need to change the sub counter to ten before I forget. Nice. That's right, not just any hat, but <gasps> a golden hat. Whoa. And it's worth a it's ten gems. But that's good, go get it. Where is it? Huh? Oh Jesus. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to get down to get the gem, but I'm in the wrong area. We can't go down from the foggies. What? Oh, please! Oh no! Wait. Is this a reference to Mega Man? I died. Hi. Oh God. Come on, this is easy. Is it? Really? They split apart as soon as I was gonna go on top of them. Oh my goodness! Gracious. I thought I was you. There's no boat, Goober. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> uh. There's the hat. Oh no! <gasps> Did we lose it? I think we lost it! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh wow, how fucking rude. Go into the water. Oh well. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> no, wait, 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 I'm panicking! Oh. Ah! <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Fuck off. Maybe you should invest in some clothes. You're awfully naked. I don't think we got them all. No, there was the one that we missed at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Let's go get it. There, there's a portal there. We need to find another one. Oh! Found it! Oh, wait, but there we go from there! Shit! Where do you go from there? What year is it? 2022? Did you get amnesia? 
I mean, I know The Dark Descent is a great game, but... Come on now. <laughs> I boat. Fuck. <laughs> no, my bow. <laughs> well, you don't see that every day. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> please let me out of this hell. How did we get that one? Oh! Duh. You can use the thingy beneath you, honey. There you go. You gotta get rid of your- Able to have multiple at once, no? Too long. <laughs> well, look at you go. <sighs> How do they float like that? Huh? Electromagnetism. No. We need one like right here in the air. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, 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 oh. Joy! Ah! What a dick! Be right in the water. Eat a sh. Eat, eat a sh. <laughs> So do it twice. You're in the boat. Oh, that's not what I intended. Eat a shit, Cage. <laughs> Your salvation lies in that tiny green package. <gasps> Where am I? Okay. You <laughs> went down. Why are you like this? You can just jump across. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
sucked. I wasn't expecting to get shunted back for some reason. Eat shit. Eat a shit. Fuck. Fuck. No. No. Yeah. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we actually need to be over here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, got That's a new one. Stuff. Okay. You're a lot of fun to watch, isn't it, guys? Yeah. Yeah. I love you, Snamper. Never change. Didn't give up. Fuck. Oh. I'm okay. <laughs> can't complain, can't complain. Okay. Up and up and up we go. Gems of three will set you free. No. Oh, I will wait. Wow. Oh that piece of shit just slam dunked me into the water. Fuck off. What? Uh. That. Okay. Can you even... Break that? I'm gonna go ahead and say no. <gasps> Again? Where am I? Oh, down here. Why though? Wait, no! You took mine! <laughs> Fuck! Okay. All done. There is a yarn ball fire. No! I need a I am frozen. I think I need to throw you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help you. We can get up there, Jesus. I'm, I'm frozen. I'm just refrozen. Oh, I'm frozen now. <laughs> nope. I'm <laughs> trying so bad. You can move. I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh. Yeah. I was trying to, like, do things. Get out of here. Okay. I need you back in the bottom corner. 
past me. Not yet. No. Okay. Now we're done. Fuck. Okay. Thought I was gonna go in the water. Uh oh. Um. We didn't get the hat! I don't know. Where's that? I don't know. Fuck. I wonder if it appeared behind us. You're doing it wrong. Do it right. Nope. I refuse to do it correctly. Doing things brighter for nerds. Good job. Prisoner number five, two, three, two. Oh yeah, that asshole. Forgot about that. I can't. Ah. Uh... Okay. Wah! <laughs> Okay, pull it back. That way I can go this way. Oops. And now you can just drop through. Or not. <laughs> Wait, uh jump on top of me. Yeah, there you go. Move it forward. There you go. <laughs> Well, um... Hmm. I oh! Prisoner? Wow. Oh, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Beat his ass! Yeah! What the fuck? <laughs> no, don't die. Goodbye. Fuck. He was right. Oh god. What the hell is this place? Oh. Well, <laughs> wait, I'm inside. No, no, wait, come back at her. Come back at her. Catch me. Hey, okay. Master of the floating Good night. I'm back here. <laughs> Spawn point. It is really weird. We don't have everything yet. Oh god. Oh god. Fuck. I Shit. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> Why is that my spawn point? Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Back. What's going on? I don't know. Okay. That's still not everything. What are we missing? Spam. Spam the key. Spam the key. Fuck. Get up there. <laughs> Get up there. <laughs> I... Oh no. Okay. Well, I don't think we can get back up there. Not unless you use that. <laughs> Fuck. 
Wait, why am I running to the right? <laughs> I'm not the wall! <laughs> well, at least it'll catch me if I fall. Quickly, quickly! Fuck! <laughs> Okay. Clear up the space for you. We're doing this in the most awkward way, but <laughs> shit. Oh, okay. Well, good night. Is this better or worse than Spunny inside of them? I, I wonder. Don't know if you can actually get back up there. Oh, oh no. no. You got it. You got it. I just run to the right first and then jump. Oh. Yeah, you did it! Okay, I kill myself. Maybe I'll spawn up there with you. Nope. Yeah, okay. No, wait. Come on. Wait for me. We did that in the most weird way. Yeah, there's this side we didn't look at. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, fuck! <laughs> there we Here, go. I'll, I'll stand. I can't move. There you go. That's everything. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. Do it right. Where is he? Yeah, I'm trying to find the exit. You were right next to it. Was I? Yeah, when we turned around. Yeah. Go. That was close. <laughs> we both fucking died. Yeah. Fucking boat. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that plus is so close I can taste it and it tastes oh. good. Why do I hear someone vomiting? I don't like that. The first of many. You're winning. I hear like someone vomiting in the distance. Oh, him. Okay. Okay, get ready. He's gonna st He's gonna try to start running with that gem. Why? That's not. <laughs> Don't hit me. Hit him. Well, never mind. <laughs> he hit himself. Ow. Not these shits again. I mean, that kind of worked. I don't know how to get up there. That's not good. <laughs> got it. I would just die by it. Or do that. You got it. You don't need my tricks. Get it over there. Hey, doesn't this look like a whole lot of fun? Fuck. <laughs> no, wait, that's not what I wanted. Okay, sure. I'll just lift them up into the sky. And then fucking block myself out.
Careful! They explode. Wait! <laughs> I fought it! Okay. Up here. Up to daisies. You gotta come up here, honey. There you go. Uh, to the left. I think I have to toss you. Meow. Lift me! <laughs> that makes sounds good. Drop me. Oh, you're so good. Give yourself a round of applause. You found a gem that was just sitting there. Now drop you. Now you drop. <laughs> now you go. Oh! Um, we haven't gotten all of them yet. Mm. Ah, there it is. Uh, get on to my head. Oh, wait. No, uh, no. It was D and up, wasn't it? D and up. Up and D. There we go. Well Order yeah, matters. Yeah, up and successful. D. Let's go! Something smells so good. What the hell are they making? Oh, <sighs> uh, uh, hey! Boss time! Do you want to try another challenge we're on for then? Uh, boss one's fine. Okay. Oh, they aren't even unlocked. Guess you gotta complete the first ones first. It's really simple. Do this as fast as possible without dying or messing up. Fuck. <laughs> I immediately fail. Got it. Uh, you good? You gotta go back that way. Fuck. I want to push it. There you go. Got him. Um, here. I need you down here. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Wait, no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. Oh. <laughs> you make that green girl. Make it. Oh. I kind of was just letting it go, but uh, that was a bad idea. I couldn't move! The other one was still lifted! No! <laughs> I'm safe because of you. Okay, we just need to get to the exit. Fuck. Just to the exit. Just to the exit. Up, up. Up, up. Oh no, <laughs> Up, Dean. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck. Ah, we were close. Mm -hmm. 
We can do it. We can do it. You stay here. I'll fix this. You go. I'm gonna die and come up to you. Okay, maybe not. All the way back there. No. There we go. Please. Wasting so much time like this. Being the dummy. Oh, we have to get this again. Yes, I know. I was just in that hell. <laughs> So if you launch, then jump up. Jump on my head. So oh, we do have to get it again, you're right. Mm -hmm. no. Yarn, yay! Fuck off. Milk, milk, lemonade. Find the hat and go get paid. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, your body saved me. What, an amazing jewel. what a phrase. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, I'm dead. Die now. Uh, <laughs> I died too, but it's okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, I need you to jump. Oh, God. Just jump. Just jump. It's safer that way. Oh, God. Please! Just jump! Just jump! Oh, fuck. No! Get up! Get up! No! <laughs> what? Oh, no. oh, it was on the button. Oh, okay, that's why it was there. Now I understand. <sighs> okay. What's more of a feeling? Let's go. Okay, dumbass. Step off the thing early. Oh, oh, I don't know how that works, but okay. I'm trying to press. Oh, what did you do that for? I didn't. Okay. Up, 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 uppies, uppies. Fuck off. Okay, we were just shunted into the ninth dimension. Okay. Get up. Work. Oh, <laughs> um. Congratulations on dying. Die, I guess. Or just, just get up there. Oh. Mm. <laughs> uh, no. Go up. Yes. <laughs> Holy shit! I oh no, there's more. Up. 
Oh god, I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's the yarn up there. Oh, that's just water. Okay. Go on. Okay. Oh, uh, I might need to go up there with you. Um, how do we? Do you have to hit the bottom of the block to come along, turn it off or something? Oh! I didn't know that was a thing! Whoa! Oh, we got it. Well, I. Yep. Let's keep going. Fuck. Oh, the key! It's right there! I thought it was you again! Yay! You're all tiny oh my god, my legs! Eyes, you didn't win. <laughs> stretching. Famous. Ah, now we have another very long and good Way to bite here. the bullet so far. You don't even complain about the prison food, which is shocking because that stuff tastes like doo doo casserole with a side of butt salad. But best of all, your riveting performances have the theater bursting at the seams with excited patrons. And with all this extra cash you're raking in, the theater can afford some serious improvements and really start beefing up these horrifying shows of murdery death to appease the fickle crowd. So, so that's good. And what's the deal with Hattie? He just creepily looms around the theater all day. Look at him looming. It seems like he's been forcefully forced to manage this place. Well, it looks that way. He just sort of sits there. Just as productive as one can be. Yep, living life to the fullest. Bo, slow down, buddy. Yes, sir, full of salt and pep. Full of pea and vinegar. Overflowing with youthful energy. Say something, <laughs> Hattie. <laughs> Cat got your tongue? Shut up. No, people really Shut seem up. to be a precious and rare commodity <laughs> in this strange part of the world. Seems our little boat wreck was a delicious gift from the heaven gods, and these bizarre cats are taking full advantage of us. What bizarre cruel cats. fate left them to roam the grounds of this scary old theater, desperately ruling these bleak premises with an iron f paw? And just how long have they been orchestrating this sinister scheme? I mean, avert your eyes, children. Avert them. There's bony people skeletons everywhere. Scary, right? Now, I'm no genius, but I definitely know how long it takes for a body to decompose. So this must have been going on for at least... Oh, wait, scratch that thing I said. <clears throat> so do you possess the courage to soldier onward and uncover the mysterious mystery behind this grim world? Or will your hilarious death screams be drowned out by the sound of your own hilarious death screams? We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. You see? You see? <laughs> uh, let's see. Choose your favorite head face and weapon tool. I guess I can't change it now. Eh. Eh. Why do they have urinals out here? Just in the hallway? Yeah. Ah, no more hint. Oh. Wait. Where does this go? Is there like a basement? Are you so full of rage? Okay, you are. <laughs> that, answers <laughs> my, you, that answers my question. Are you full of rage? Is immediately punched. I sure hope you find Looks like I haven't completed the game on this file. Maybe who I was playing with last, uh, we didn't get it finished. But I have finished it. Hi. <laughs> I'll move. Um. <laughs> the most gentle of shoves. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. No, get back on top of me. I think I gotta throw you.
Or maybe just jump off of me? I don't know. Nope. Those fans are fucking strong. Alright. Oh, I guess we. That's what it is. Oh. Angelings. I want those. Come back over here. Okay. What is. Oh. Yeah, you you right. You fucking right. <laughs> ah. What? Yeah. There we go. That seems concerning. Hmm. Here, jump. Maybe you have to throw you on top of it. Oh, maybe. There you yeah. Go. Oh. There we go. Help! <laughs> Help! Oh, no. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Lift. Okay, jump on me. <laughs> My favorite thing. Let's see. Oh, okay. I can't. We can't. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was gone. <laughs> what? We gotta make them equal. Hey! Yeah! yeah! Oh god, I'm sorry. My my rage just explodes. Oh <laughs> yeah, you want to trade spaces? Oh god. No, it wasn't. Thanks for doing that. Wings. Oh, up here in the middle. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my God. Fuck. Oh my god! I think we got everything? I don't know, I didn't glow green. Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to look for any hidden paths. You, uh, jump up. Keep spamming fly. Oh, okay. I will. Man, if only he said that the first time. No! Oh my god! You got this. Nice! Whew, we finally got a hat! <laughs> Explode now. There you go. There we go. 
Oh, but he oh, was but holding the... Hmm. Shit. Pass me. No, wait. <laughs> Maybe not. Um. Hmm. Fuck. Not be able to do it. <laughs> okay, I, I think I see what I need to do. Hang on. No. No jump. No, no throw. There we go. Oh, hey. Nice. Just needed to jump correctly. Fuck. Why am I getting launched that way? It's uh, probably the fans. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> ah, okay. You gotta turn them off. Oh, God. <laughs> Just jump on my head. Nice. Um, got it. Well, get zapped. Most people poop themselves and die in that order. You didn't even touch the checkpoint. Because I was flying. No. <laughs> I was busy looking at the one that keeps inhaling. Fuck off. Oh! No, 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 you want that off so you can get in. Oh my god, there's just a train of them. Keep punching! Keep punching! Okay, <laughs> keep punching as in you. There's one more. One more. Do you think it's over here? Is it hidden? Let me up. There it is. It's Hit? underneath. So ah. Fix it. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. Fuck. Oh my goodness gracious! No, no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, take that out when I get over here. I could have sworn there would be Did like a hidden me? wall. Yeah, probably. Wait! <laughs> okay. Could it possibly be on the side of it? No, I checked. You already checked up here? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, that's what it is. You just have to fly the other direction. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Ah! Uh. Uh. Nice. Yay! Yeah, you found them all. Yay! Nice. Clean and simple. Success. Yeah! So sleepy today. Very, very good. Oh, oh goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, thank you. Here. 
Uh, no, put that back. And then stand over here. I right, gotta wait. There we go. Meow. <laughs> 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 Oh, Jesus. Oh <laughs> okay, clear your mind and be careful. Clear your mind. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I got the achievement for traitor. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't even jump. I pressed jump, but I didn't jump. <laughs> it ate me. No, no. There you go. Get up. Yeah. You got it. You didn't. You clicked it twice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the? I'll have to wait to get that, I guess. Oh, nice. Wait, wait. One more, Wait, where is it? Missing one still? Mm hmm Fuck. I think I might know where it is. Um come back down here. An extra bundle of gems to the little oh. champion who brings that hat in. Oh. I think I saw it go up there, so we'll get it when we get back. Yeah, I'm gonna put there. Hey. Um. Oh, you can't get you there. Oh, but that can. <laughs> uh, okay. Ah! Come on, Brett. Please. Nope. Okay. Um, I thought it looked a little off over here because these fog clouds were up there. Um, I wish I could take that out. So I'm thinking there might be a hidden path connecting those fog clouds and these fog clouds. Death. Dismemberment. Fuck. They just gave me claps! <laughs> um. Hmm. Oops. Sorry. That would have been much easier than jumping up there previously. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Can't hurt it. 
Okay. Where, oh where would this last gem be? Where, oh where could it be? Nah. <laughs> I was scratching my leg. Rude. Oh, there's the hat. Oh, hey, there it is. Oh, God. Oh. At least it doesn't disappear immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think it. it was just because we went into the water last time. Well, we have a hat. So that's ten gems. And we still get an A no matter if we get Please. I'm trying to be delicate. <laughs> go. There we go. Gift shop. 51, let's go. Do you only want triangle shapes? I like the triangle head. <laughs> oh, okay. I really like the star head. It's pretty unique. A skull! A little skullman. Maybe I already bought them all. Could be. Hmm. Can I trade you my yarn? I can. Oops. You could just put nothing, I think. How do I select nothing? Uh, mm, the same button you use to interact with the TV. I'm not sure what it is on controller. For me, it's just the W. Huh. How do you? Wait, no. Shit. How do you confirm? God damn it. <laughs> it's the jump button for me. Oh, okay. There we go. Press it twice. <laughs> I have taken your goggles. Did you want to give me those? No, I did not. I did not select nothing, apparently. You should be able to hover over... Hmm... Blank spot, no? Dub, 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 dub. <sighs> there we go. I can 
offer you zero gems. Hey, perfect. Hog. Go see if you can't buy more uh, weapons. Gotcha. Outfitted. I think you should customize this little guy with all your favorite stuff. To know which weapon to use now. Suck up my little ball. <laughs> Ow. Oh! I have figured out how to use my second item. I have to hold uh, to the right instead of just pressing. Oh no, wait. Ah! <laughs> how do I change? How did I change that? I don't know! Help! I, I'm not aiming for you, I swear. I, I'm very much trying to figure it out. Help! Oh! That's how you change it, okay. <laughs> I'm running away. I'm a little stinker. Ribbit. Is baby gonna cry? Nah. I did want to see what it did, though. Apparently it just explodes, right? Well, it explodes the person who listens to it. It's that old-timey frog where it sings and dances with a cane. <laughs> oh, it smells like beef stew in here. It's making me sick. And Every time I see that the the bit, it always reminds me of, uh, space balls. <laughs> Ow! I'm being surrounded! What, you blew me up! And yourself! <laughs> no, I got hit by the cannon. You deal with the cat, then. I can apparently freeze myself with my own weapon. Thank for the redemptions. I'll get to them when I can. I see where it is. You got them all. You got them. 
get that yarn and I'll get us out of here. In the meantime, I will take a hydrate. I don't think you'd need to exit, but if you want to. Nice! Wings are super useful. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would know! <laughs> the point of that <laughs> Oops. Why don't you treat yourself and go out for cheeseburgers and chocolate milk and take me with you Shit. and treat me too I guess that works <laughs> Oh god Take me to you. Thank you. I think you need to get off. There you go. It doesn't matter if you win or lose. It yeah, it does. Don't lose. You'll be a loser. Uh, this one needs to be on. There. Now you can stand up and pull it. And then that one needs to be off. Push it. Oh god. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops. I had made it the first time, but it worked. Oh, that. You gotta pull his. Here, come down here. You're scaring me. <laughs> there. You can make it up there, and then I'll put it back once you're up. Okay. Wait. Yeah, just go past him. Oh. There are jetpacks down there. Go oh, down below or? Mm hmm. Oh fuck, got I it. almost got it. <laughs> I almost got off, uh, jumped off your dead body. No! Fuck, always. Oh, you already got it. I'm dumb. <laughs> I said I got it. <laughs> I didn't hear you. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> that frog is dangerous. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Woo! Uh oh. Okay, good night. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I I was about to say I almost pressed the wrong key and then I let go of the correct one. That's gonna be annoying. <laughs> Shit. That's not good. This keeps killing me. <laughs> go go. Get in. Go go go. <laughs> Okay. Okay. No, I 
why would you do this? Wrong again. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Moody. <laughs> you can't kill it. This is gonna be running around till one of us gets there. <laughs> you've, you've ruined us. It's running in the sky. <laughs> it just keeps going. Oh god. Oh, it ate the cat. And it ate me. Did we get everything? I feel like we missed something. No, I think we missed one. I think there's an empty spot underneath us. That might be where one is. I don't know. <laughs> we'll get out of here very easily. No, we go. We open this can of worms, we lay in it. <sighs> yep. That's weird. Uh, I got a news article about a self-playing piano that can talk English. Okay, um... Here. <laughs> Let me use you. Frozen <laughs> <laughs> corpse is a stepping stone. It's not a corpse yet. You're still alive. I keep hitting myself with ice. You did so much while I was struggling. <laughs> oh, okay. Why would you do this? Please no, please no, please no, please no, this is a nightmare. <laughs> wow, what a dick. Uh, you need to fly down there. way to get to the exit but we still need to go down because we need the wings for this area down here uh, do you want me to help you with that first Oh, you can't kill it. Where am I? Oh god. I was thinking we could lure it onto the spikes, but it doesn't seem to want to move over there. Mm-mm. Yeah. Okay. Can I not be put down here anymore, please? Thank you. You go. You're gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh. It takes so long to climb. I'm facing the wrong way, dumbass. There Let's we go. go. Hi. 
Um... Joke. <laughs> How many times must you kill me? Paul keeps sending it back. You killed yourself! <laughs> we need the wings over here. Okay. There we go. He jumped up! What? What the fuck? Here. No, come back down here. Maybe I can launch you. Now that he's gone. Are you good? <laughs> you are floating midair where the fan wasn't. There you go. Okay. I still glad to be of service. <laughs> now do we get back up? Up. Up wrong way. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow! All <laughs> that effort! <laughs> you die! <laughs> Do we need the uh, wings? No, I think Did I. get the last thing. I don't even know where the last thing is. Oh, I found a fantastic replacement for <laughs> climbing. Uh... Oh! Oh, it's right there. Oh. <laughs> Nobody saw anything! Oh my god. <sighs> nice. Amber isn't saying anything anymore. Oh. You're able to pace it Those better than I am. Oh no! <laughs> Got it. Oh, that was still going. Hi. Oh. There we go. Keep clicking and it'll work eventually. Okay, if I got wings. You grabbed bulls. <laughs> Fucking knew that would happen. No, no flaming toast. Wow. All right, with their help, I got up here. <laughs> You got it. Nice. Um. Oh. This is a bad idea. <laughs> is that everything? I think so. We didn't get a green glow. Wow, I died on two spikes. It. Where? Hmm. Oh, maybe behind him? <laughs> I used you. Um, okay. There right, we go. No, I already got that. That's where the yarn was. 
Uh. Okay, you're an asshole. I get it. <laughs> you just killed us. You can't kill it. Fuck. Eh, it's whatever. Still making progress, it's good. Yeah. At least it was only one. Wow, he really isn't talking anymore. Stamper? Uh. He's on Blabbermouth still. Board. Come hither. You say come hither? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah, that works. Click on it again. Oh, it's for that one with the boulder on the left. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck. Can't believe it on this. Wait, what? I spawned immediately. Okay, I'll just die. You're up there. Okay. Interesting. I was waiting for you and trying to be polite. <laughs> I hate these damn things. Just keep hitting it. It'll get it right eventually. <laughs> a broken clock is right twice a day. Eat him. Get his ass. Thank you. Oh god. That was terrifying. There's two gems up there. Can't lose two. Is there anything to the left of you? I don't think he'll go through. Nah. Hmm. To the uh, to the right. Is that wall anything? No. Oh. I was trying to keep him lured over there so you <laughs> could get out. <laughs> Wait, how do you climb this? Oh god. I can't. Oh. There we go. See, there's a portal there. Hmm. Ah! We both found it at the exact same time. That was both of them, yeah? Damn, they can't just jump over him. No, he liked to bite. Okay, but what was this for? That was to get the lasers to drop the boulder earlier. Huh. Ooh. Ow. 
Oh, good. More flying. <laughs> Which one do you want? <laughs> Let me up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, sure. I'll accept that. What? Go to hell. Oh, God. Not you, not me! <laughs> Fuck. Okay. I don't know why I didn't just jump. Careful. Too late. Off, <laughs> Fuck. It's gonna be hard to drop in that spot. Oh. oh. Fuck! <laughs> Really? God damn it. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to take both. Uh, you can get further if you take both, that makes any sense. Yeah. Did it. Just make it to the exit. Fuck! <laughs> I don't care if it's only one of us, we have to make it. Hey, we both did it. Good job. Woohoo! God, it smells good. I want whatever it Oh, God. Okay. Accidentally deafened myself again. I want whatever they're making. Nice! Boss time! Is it fair to call it a boss if it's just a stage? It's true. It is, there's no actual boss. No. You just have to beat it in time. Uh huh. Challenge run. He's not saying anything anymore! Did we break him? Weird. He said the blabber mouth. He should be talking all the time. Okay, that thing. What? Wait, you got stabbed. What the hell? <laughs> I set it off without getting stabbed. Huh. Oh no! Oh, saved myself. Oh god. I got him. You've doomed no, us. Fun. <laughs> he turned around. I took him out with me. <laughs> Why? Jesus. I 
At least he's still singing his little heart out. Why is there a fog here? Okay, jump. You walk to safety if you can. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Oh god! Go back! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Oh, we're not making it! No! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we figured it out at the end, though. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry! the iron price. Why? What? What did I bounce off? Why am I down here? Fuck! <laughs> this game can be really weird sometimes. Yeah, they are. Okay. This way. Careful not to go into that. I'm trying to look around first. Come here. I think you, you want to go in there. Hmm? No, I know. Come here. There. Underneath. Oh, yeah. something up there? I don't know. I'm trying to check. Okay. Gotta make sure. You fool. <laughs> <laughs> No, the top one. Yes. Second part. I was thinking I had to run back, so I was putting it on it. This way. Trap apparently. Making great time. There's a button on the bottom. Too fast. Okay. 
You got it? Okay. Oh, there we go. With one person above you, it makes it easier not to get bounced all the way back Oh, up. God! We got all of them. Success. Let's go! Oh, God! <laughs> get it! Get it! Quick! <laughs> oh, okay! <laughs> I love how it still has the sound effect of it eating you. Go, go. No! <laughs> Yeah! You look so upset. <laughs> we keep suiciding ourselves into it. Did a little worse, apparently, than our previous attempts. <laughs> You've really got the crowd eating from your delicate hands now. There's never a dull moment with you at the helm. Except for maybe like twice. But I gotta hand it to you. Mm -hmm. You've got quite the unbreakable spirit. I mean, I'm not nearly as brave as you. If I was in your capably nimble shoes, I'd say to heck with Hattie and my friends. They'll be fine. And then I'd pack myself a nice bag lunch, show these cats my favorite finger, and then I'd make like horse turds and hit the trail. But I'm not you, and you're not horse turds. No, sirs. You are the very definition of the cat's PJs. And speaking of which, these cats are truly bizarre. Why are they here? I mean, I've got my theories. Perhaps they're aliens from another world. Maybe their genetic experiments gone awry. Or could it be that they were once normal kitties. Normal kitties who evolved into the strange, unpleasant creatures we see before us. These hideously adorable abominations with their beady eyeballs, giant, bloodthirsty, tiny mouth fangs, slashy paw claws, and stanky funk breath. Plus, they're awfully rude and crabby. I think they all need girlfriends or something. I'm a cat, see? I'm grouchy, see? I like to run around all day and hurt people's feelings, see? Don't take them lightly. Although sassy and lazy by nature, cats are awfully crafty, and finding a weak spot in that bright orange furry armor might prove difficulty. M uh, minus the why. They're always watching, children. I see them lurking in the shadows. Lurking hard! Or hardly lurking, see? On that note, this whole theater's like a bad joke. But how did things get so bad? At one time, this theater was a nice place, with flowers in every vase and smiles on everyone's mouth faces. Can you believe it? I wouldn't believe it. I mean, if you told me that, I'd more than likely call you a liar and walk away. And, um, should find some place to get ice cream to replenish the innocence you blackened with your filthy deceits. I like strawberry. Just keep your wits about you as you descend deeper into the belly of the beast. And perhaps you'll find a way to put an end to this madness. <laughs> what was that? I said stamper. Hey, Amber! Thanks for the raid. Everybody's raiding today. I'll give you a quick shout out when my keys are not caps locked. Baby Wade! I appreciate raids of all shapes and sizes. How was Fantasy Star? How'd that go? Where are you going? Get back here. <laughs> um, <laughs> and blow up the guy painting. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Gems of three will set you free. He's talking again. <laughs> PSP games to make myself feel better after a day of technical difficulties. Aw, Han, I'm very sorry. Oh. What the? Just shove it. You don't need to do anything extra. <laughs> I have been flattened. I have been iced. Mm, bring another one. Pull another rock over. Uh, it's the usual 
W key that I use. Whatever you use for actions. Why have you done this? <laughs> I can't grab it. <laughs> Why not? Make me do all the labor. <laughs> no, wrong way! <laughs> Move it. There you go. Other way. Fuck. Oh my god! Why did I do that? <laughs> Were you having difficulty getting up? Really? I am. <laughs> <laughs> Walk into it. Okay, come here. Jump on top of me. Go to the other side. No! <laughs> Don't be a goober. You know how to go. Oh, maybe I should be over there if you can't figure out how to... It's the usual key that you used to pick me up. You're doing everything, but... <laughs> there you go! <laughs> this one over here. On this. I think you'll block the, their attacks. Yeah. Okay, good. That's close enough, but um. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're leaving. It bounced me into the exit. It's okay. <sighs> we always do it again if we really wanted to. That's okay. It's a hard stage. Ah! Ooh, a bee. No! Ugh, and they're forcing us to continue. Oh! I was just like, yeah, let's go! <laughs> Some goofy goobers fun. Gonna get some food. Get some food! Also, I hope you're excited for tomorrow! Tomorrow's D&D day. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. You have to let me toss you. Okay. I'll stay up here. What? <laughs> <laughs> no! Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> <laughs> Just walk into me! <laughs> Why is this so... <laughs> Don't 
us. They no. I saw that. Why am I over here? <laughs> Jesus. He's dead. That was what the frog was for. Uh. You lit me on fire! <laughs> We found everything! I think the... The yarn is over there, yeah. I need you to be over there with me. You... The toast is dead. Come here. <laughs> okay. 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 Just keep running! Keep running! <laughs> Yeah. No! Huh? How did I get up here? Oh, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Weird. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well then. Shut up. Cool. Fucking fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Stop with the frog! <laughs> uh, okay. Go! Go! Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, that works, I guess. <laughs> Gonna wait until the last second, I think. Or not. I didn't really hold it all that long. Oh god. We're gonna get a time one. Oh god. Oh god! They're bullying me in air! Ah! That works. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> You try. No, you can't go back that way. You have to go up the middle. Did it! I die! Oh my goodness gracious! Okay. Ah! Are 
you fucking kidding me? No, that pixel! I don't understand! I went inside. Check for secrets. Okay. Can you fuck off? <laughs> Get iced, nerd. We need to bring one of those rocks with us? Yeah, that's what I'm grabbing. Nope. Nope, not in the thing. Where do I throw it? Ah, that's okay. Not right. <laughs> you killed yourself! <laughs> you killed me. <laughs> Amazing. I got it. Oh. See if it goes through. Huh. I don't okay. Nice. I can get this one. Uh oh. Are we locked out of the yarn? Uh wait, hang on. They wouldn't do that to us. That'd be silly. No, I wanted. I want to go in there. Heck. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, that's where the exit is. Okay. Um. Shoot. Well, that's annoying. Why would they do that? I keep throwing more blocks down there. Oh. You very dearly killed yourself there. I killed myself. Where are the rocks? Oh, did we use them all? Cool. Good job, genius. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't jump with it. It's it's stuck here. Fuck. Here. Body block it. There you go. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to pit, hit you. Sorry. Okay. Where does it go? Oh! Down? No. <laughs> no? Hmm. Not. Oh, it was meant to go here first. I no, see. There's one more. <laughs> we can... There's one more? Yeah, but I don't know if we oh. can get through it with uh, walking the way. Can we, we can res restart? Reset level. Do you want to reset level? Sure. Okay. No. Reset level. Oh, we have to start at the first one. Or is this the same one? Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, the assholes. Let me up, please. Oh my god. Let me up! Thank you. Did it. Okay. Da -da. Oh shit. Okay, they're all right here.
Uh, did I glitch these? Um, I think I glitched these. Oh, there we go. There go. Oops. Just let those two fall and get the thing. Fuck off. Uh, no! I iced myself again! Okay. No! Wait! Oh, I'm stuck well, down here. It, so just don't come back up. Well, thanks, but we can't put a rock down here now. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we... No, that wouldn't even work because I would have to be able to drag it backwards enough. Reset! <laughs> this one's hard. We just have to make sure that the other rock doesn't hit the little bouncer thing to launch Dooly it. Dooly dad, yeah. Oops. <laughs> Works. Fuck off. No! Shit. Have a trouble. Ow. Dude. What a prick! Eat shit. Oh. Got him. I can't. I can't get up. Help! 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 Ah! I can't get back. Up. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Good thing I didn't say anything cocky before I tried doing that. <laughs> I was gonna be like, let an avian show you how to do it, and then before I even <laughs> open my mouth. No! <laughs> no! I stop. Oh. oh my goodness gracious! Your turn. <laughs> Can't believe a non avian is showing me up right now. You know what? I'm not even gonna go and die. I'm gonna keep trying until I get it. Ah! Bling, bling. No, please. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize there were two! <laughs> mm. <laughs> um. There you go. Oop. Okay. Okay. We need to take care of these guys first, because otherwise they're going to keep knocking me into putting it where I don't want it. Ah, murdered me. We're good. If you're too close to those blocks and pick them up and they kill you. No! Oh my goodness gracious! Did it go in the wrong one? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> God damn it! It's so hard! Ugh! <sighs> Do you think we'll ever get it? Your silence is deafening. <laughs> <laughs> be fine. 
Oh, okay. Well, I got one by doing that. Bitch! <laughs> Why did I hit you and not him? Too early. Okay, good. Just die. Faster. Oh! <laughs> I am a fool! Alright. Oops. Oh, that was neat. Um, I can't get out. <laughs> Leave those for a sec. Oh, never mind. Alright, that one can stay there. You go kill them. You're better at it than I am. What are you supposed to do? Oh, I see. Nice. What? I don't know. <laughs> uh, this one's stuck now. It's fine. <laughs> I will not touch anything. Throw it, but carefully. The jump. No. Oh! Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, that one goes cool. to that gem. It doesn't block the uh, other one. So just go get I'll that get first. Jump first so that we can... Mm-hmm. Is there anything over here I need to grab? No. Nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, try to grab this one on my left. Uh, yeah, I'll get that one in a second. I'm just mm. making sure to figure out where to drop it. So the one next to the question mark, all the way down at the bottom. Okay, so throw it down, and just make sure that I catch it and throw it over this thing. Mm hmm. Uh oh. It's fine. Uh. What? The. Um... Now we can grab it at least. <laughs> no! <laughs> Thief! For now. God, I'm so scared I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Here. Wait, I'm gonna go down and protect the spot. Mm. Okay. Let's throw it over. Good. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I saw nothing. Thank you. Got it. <laughs> Do you need help? Can you just come this way. It leads to the exit. Well, don't we? Oh, is that everything we got already? I don't know. I didn't see the flash of green. Did you? I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Honestly, we've been here long enough. Fair enough. There's probably something in there. Oh well. You <gasps> Try this one again for the Yes, air. please. <laughs> <laughs> I have standards and they must be met. Okay.
Why did I do that? Oh, 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 oh. Are you okay? I am stuck. <laughs> You're fine. More damage to you than it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you're supposed to wait until it moves here and then you drop it on this side. <laughs> How do we get the yarn? hidden. Nice. Uh, I thought it was you again. Jiminy. Oh, hi, Hattie. Still can't. It's potato soup. <laughs> she just texted me. said, I'm not saying I, I made the best potato soup I've ever had, but I definitely made the best potato soup I've ever had. There's plenty if you want a bowl. I said, God, yes, please. I smelt it earlier. I was like, man, I want some. <laughs> wow! I wonder if that'll work at levels. I can just launch you like that. What the fuck? <laughs> Lion head. I guess. Oh, he's seen some shit. 
It's like a warhead guy. It does look like <gasps> that, yeah. <laughs> Attack kitty, jeez. <gasps> Speeder. Wah! Ah. Oh, I have no more to spend. Whee! Never lose hope. I know I did. Really? We're seeing if it launched you. Okay, but why? Light you on fire. Oh, you know what? We could probably grab that. And I ice myself. Uh. Really? Of all places, you died there? Come on. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Hi. Jump on me. <laughs> I'd say that was for earlier, but uh, that was actually genuinely an accident. Try gooder. Grab the golden hat for a gem bonus. And a kiss from a very handsome man. Me. Me. Smooth. Where do we want it? Oh, there's another one. I fucking love this music. Okay, we need the other one now. No! <laughs> On the right like corner right here, <laughs> just stay from the spike. Fuck me. <laughs> Green and shiny, just like baby poops. Where are we? Where am I? Oh. Eat shit. I didn't mean you. Get out of here. They're on top of each other. Cute. Oh, there we go. Just a couple more. Piggy. Oh god. Oh god. It's all good. <laughs> Block them for me. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make it soggy. Oh no! You stop that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh. Fuck off. You die too. <laughs> Please. 
Nothing? Really? I had a thought. Bribery. Got it. Oh, I meant to do that. <laughs> Um, here. A toss. Go to the left. There you go. Or not. I <laughs> didn't see that. Uh, come down a bit. Let me jump on you. Lower. There you go. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh. Jesus! <laughs> Okay, up. Uh, up, up, up. Any higher? No? No! Okay, you try. Oh, uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth! How do we get that? It has to be a drop down spot. There were quite a few. Throw up, uh, throw up one. Huh? If you can jump over here again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Try the other direction. Uh. Oh wait, what if you launched me with your like ability? Not that way. <laughs> Oh, try being over here. Because it does curve a bit. Oh. I'm too good at dodging. No! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we don't have like a wall jump or anything. Why frog again? Wait, why does this have the bar over here? Drop me. Me, jump. Drop me. Why is this here? Hmm. Oh. Mystery. Now oh, I gotta hit a button first. Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> it's okay. I'm oh, here. Oh no! My wings ran out. I'm here. Cool. need to go over here. Yeah, you see all that? Good luck with that. Oh. You did say good luck. Ah, you need to stay there. God, it's so hard to see. Okay. 
Okay. Right. I wait. Oh, I need that. Okay. Your me. corpse made it. <laughs> Amazing. You. You're supposed to jump. <laughs> there you go. Woo! <laughs> um, wait! Wait. Go. Okay, there's two. Nice. Uh oh. Can't go through clouds. Darn, I was hoping I could put it in front of later. Got it. Oh, well, where are we go? This way. There was a whole right side. Come to me. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, help. Hey. Why? <laughs> That's what you deserve. <laughs> okay. Oh Took him out with me. I was trying to get him. Where am I? Oh god. Wow. <laughs> that was impressive. <laughs> and I shot myself midair. Are you good? There you go. <laughs> Uppies. Help. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there you. That was my own fault there. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch off of that. <laughs> I cannot believe. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Where did he jump? He went back here. He got shunted. Okay. Go, 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 go. Well, he's consuming me. Really? Why is this one block here? Smooth. <laughs> oh. Hello, Linkers. Okay. <laughs> Note to self, don't 
jump with linkers. They can jump in their so their own. Okay. They can survive in the water. All done. Oh, sweet. Because it's hidden behind the tree, I thought, when we were coming around the corner. Gotcha. Sorry. Oh, keep yawning. Let's go. Find the gems and put them in your pocket. Then find the door and you can unlock it. <laughs> it's funny how you kill yourself with those rocks sometimes. Yeah. You nearly killed me. <laughs> uh oh, I probably wasted it. I can check back in a second. Okay. Shush. I'm bad at timing, okay? As you can see. What a beautiful gemstone for a beautiful prisoner. Ugh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I was rubbing my ear. <laughs> I didn't think it would get me. Yo, red oak and beard. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh god. How the heck? Oh, we need a rock. Oh, uh, there's one in there. Oh. I, mean, I think we need another one for the. Oh, never mind. Eh? I don't know. Did we just leave? No, we haven't even gotten the yarn yet. Get away from me! <laughs> <laughs> it cheats me all the way! Oh, there it is! I just saw it. Why, though? You can! Oh, gem down below us. Yeah. Oh, you can just stun them, I see. Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me! <laughs> oh, I see. Yep, right here. No! Okay. Oh you stun him? Go beat him up. Oh, okay. What'd you do that for? <laughs> 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 no! Why though? I just want my wings. Why? No, no, no. Get away from me. Get away from me. <laughs> I'm not having it. Wow, you're very thorough. You did it. Oh, Yay. Gems, now we just need to get the yarn somehow. It's to the left. Oh, that doesn't seem up. Okay, now we can leave. Go, 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 go! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we did it! Yay! Good. Good. All right, I probably have time for one more level. Oh, perfectly fine. For a little bit, but mm -hmm. I can be back later. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Okay, you have to toss me. This has been a lot of fun. Oh God! <laughs> it has been a lot of fun. Climb. I was not pressing the right keys. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Now you come up from using that as a jump pad. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent oh. skill. There we go. <laughs> Just as planned. <laughs> wow, you scaled that so quickly. How did you do that? Oh, those two are being held hostage. It doesn't matter if you win or lose. Wait, yeah, it does. Don't lose. You'll be a loser. Okay, I think I need to be tossed. Ah, where'd he come from? Uh, I oh pressed the button, goodness. which released him. Drown. Oh, toss me! No, the fan. Oh god. Okay. Good. Uh, what now? I don't know if I need that anymore. I don't either. Wait. Um. Trying to think. Can we move that? I don't think we need it. Oops. Ay ay ay! Okay, I'm trying to check in here in the nooks and crannies. See if there's any secret walls. Okay. Really? Of all places, you die there. Hush, damper. You have to toss me. That's not tossing. There we go. Oh, Jesus! Ah! <laughs> what is this? Oh. Ow. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wait, where are you? Works. Oh, you're up there! How did I get down? I, I try and jump off the thing to bring me back down there. I don't know if there's anything down there, but that was kind of neat. Uh huh. I don't think you're supposed to get down there. Oh, oh I can drive. Right you can down. glide okay, through there for some reason. Oh, it opens this. Step on it for uh, step on it. Yeah. What did that do? Okay, that's that. But why would you need to get over here? Let go of it. Ah, it's for those ones over there on the far left, you see? Oh, interesting. Mm. So I guess you head over there and I stay here? There does seem to be another button at the bottom. You can jump up with the rocks underneath to the left. Which one? Here? Yeah. There is that thing down under there. I don't. Oh, it's just the pallet. Okay. You can just go this way. There's no need. I think. Oh, and it's possible that they weren't expecting you to toss up through this hole. <laughs> That's why you had the other thing. Mmm. Okay. So all that we have left is up, right? Fuck! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Jesus. There you go. <laughs> oh Christ. Uh 
No. 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 I got the gem at least. <laughs> mm -hmm. We still need more. Oh god. Are we ready to go? No, we still need more. We didn't get the green coloring on the screen. Ah. Nope. Die. <laughs> 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 uh. That was pretty quick. I probably can do one more. Hmm. Go up to the boss front and save that one for later. E. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't take us a bajillion years. Oh no! Consolation prize achievement. Uh oh! Don't, don't press on those, because you can't make it to the gem otherwise, or not. Toss. I think I need to toss you here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to me. Yeah. Because if we were too high, then you would get hit into the spikes. Um. Nice. Wow. Good job, me. Fucking stellar. Grade A. Oh god. Nice. Really? <laughs> no, 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 no. I thought you the wrong way. Smooth. Oh, I see. We have to make staircases this way. You put it on me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you're doing much better. You keep putting it on yourself. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps killing me whenever I pick one up. Uh... Okay, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Fucking stop it. Nice. Oh <laughs> Smooth. Just keep pressing, just keep pressing. It'll work eventually. <laughs> gem, 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 gem. I should have... Okay, I know what to do. No. Oh god. Nice. He killed himself. Oh no. Uh, how do we... Oh, down here? Keep pushing. Yeah. Then I'll grab it. Yeah. Grab this side. Ooh, Jesus. Ah, right, am nice. smart. Oh, you guys, thank you. Oh, am <laughs> 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 smart. Ah, <laughs> uh, karma. Oh, this looks like a. Yep. Baby spot. Here, get on top of me. Where? To the right? Oh, there it is. He said there's one more. Oh no, go in. Oh. How did you not die? It gave the rock death noise. I 
can't jump. It's all you. So otherwise, it'll bring the back. Uh, go to the left with the. Yeah, trying to. Yeah. I need to stay on the button because it'll open up the path on the far left. Oh, there you go. Just walk. <laughs> Nicely done. Yay! Great success. Almost in A plus. Almost. Ah. Alrighty. We'll go ahead and save the boss fight for another time. Thank you for playing with me. It was fine. We'll have to play more later or try another game or yeah. whatever else. I'm up for hanging out whenever. Are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> That's giving me uh, permission to bully you. Are you sure you want that? <laughs> Sounds great. Cool. <laughs> All right. Catch you another time, Moon. Moon. <laughs> Later. Bye bye. All righty. So that'll be it for uh. Woo! <laughs> Oops. Um, uh, that'll be it for uh. Battle Black Theater. I completely unplugged my tablet and dropped my keyboard. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, no, no, no. Exit, exit, exit. Alrighty. Um, it's pretty late already. How do you guys feel about just watching some videos while I grab some food real fast? And... Um... We just chill out for the next few hours until bedtime. You're down? Okay. Let's do it. Uh, let me pull up my tabs if I can find my damn mouse. I swear, that's the most common thing I've said repeatedly. Bye bye, Mumun. Thanks for playing. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, 200 days we build a modern bamboo resort. Uh, fish pond, swimming pool, and fire pits for cooking. Let's do some building videos. Let's see. Um, quickly move this back over here. Take this tab, back over here. Oh god, this is a 10 hour video. This was live streamed? Hmm. Let's do this one instead. I'd rather not watch a 10 hour building video. I don't have that kind of time. Alrighty. Babushka it is. The cow said, back the fuck up. Back up. He 
<laughs> Cute, they're sharing food. Whether the cow wants to or not, I suppose. Brushies, cow brushies. All right, I'll be right back while I get some food.
Kuzu. Lamu diye, lamu.
return with potato soup and pieces of steak with sour cream and some chives and apparently my landlord's father is offering me a coupon for some pizza that if I buy brownies I will get a free pizza my mic away a little bit. I'll turn this down a touch. Oh yeah, I added mozzarella to my potato soup as well. I'm excited! right about the steak being tough but if it doesn't have a good flavor my god the soup is so pulley because of the cheese I added <laughs> you want pizza I want pizza I don't know what I would do with the brownies, though. I guess give them to Sean or Julie? I don't eat chocolate. I apologize if my lip smacking is very loud. <laughs> it is so stringy, it keeps getting caught on my lips. <clears throat> also, she added turmeric. Paints the fingers yellow. Tomato paste. Using the whole pot?
<clears throat> mm. God, if that doesn't look good. Gotta grind it a little bit so it opens up the scent and flavor. <laughs> oh, what a pretty, pretty mat. Such a small table. Firstly. Pizza. It's like a pizza. Wow. Are we here? Yeah, yeah, it's like sweet for the rest of the Sweet for the rest of the Yeah. Damn. Solid use of the bread. Pushing it down so you can carve it off the bone. Give them nice and toasty. <laughs> wonder what these are. <laughs> I love this cute little family. Poor cow's like, oh man. <laughs> That's a lot of oats. Or whey. Oats and whey. Sawdust?
The girls are fighting! <laughs> Man, I love how relaxing this channel is. Seriously though, what are those? Did it say? I must have missed it. <clears throat> Thank you. I just hydrated, so I'll just give a good stretchy. I wonder if it's food for cattle? Yeah, because they seem to be liking it. They're like, oh yeah, this sounds good stuff. Those are cabbages. Yeah. Has to be feed for cattle, right? It's the only thing I can think of. I was like, I sneef. Oh, hi, Raffi. Uh, awkward time for someone to raid. And yet, we've had a lot of raids today. My goodness. Cows and chimkins. They're making a feed for some cattle, I think. I don't know. We've just been chilling and watching them. They finished making their chicken stew, which was fucking phenomenal looking. Oh. Hey, it still worked. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, bud. Here goes. We had some Binding of Isaac today, we had some Battle Block Theater with Munian, um, and we just settled down to chill for right now, because I'm eating the first meal of the day. 
It is potato soup with bits of steak, bacon, uh, 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 um, uh, 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 green stuff. <laughs> Chives. Chives is the word I was looking for. And um, mozzarella cheese. Can't imagine this is cleanest water. Actually, it's cleaner than the water we have. It's a flowing river. It's not entirely clean, but not a whole lot of water is. And if it is entirely clean, that's not really healthy to drink anyways. Bubby! Bubby, bubby! I call this the Babushka channel because it's just an Azerbaijani couple cooking and taking care of their farm together. And it's wonderful. They end up and they end off their videos with tea. Sometimes. Not every time, but sometimes. Oh, excuse me. The second channel was? Um, this might be the second channel. Nope. Maybe that's their cooking channel, and this one's just extra stuff. Oops, sorry. Oh, puppy resting. Wheat. Hey, I was right. Giant stew. Oats. I was right on that one. Corn flour. That's what I thought was sawdust. <laughs> I was like, where are they going with this? <clears throat> lots of salt. Lots and lots of salt. It is a giant ass pot, though. Nice piping hot water. Must be a cold, cold day if that kind of steam is coming out. Or steam. Uh, you know what I mean. I guess it would be steam. Right? Ow. Good old chai. Hi, clockwork. <laughs> huh. 
How you doing, Clockwork? T. I always end up their videos with it. It's so cute. Back, 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 back. Sounds like the baby we have. My landlord got a new puppy and she's literally biting everyone's feet and being a fucking menace. Okay. <laughs> Yummy, yummy. Oh my god, the giant mouthful of food. Gato! Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. What a polite little cow. What noises? Oh my god, this one's a messy eater. Oh, so polite! Gentle licks of the food. Yeah. So polite. They feed their cows well. That was a lot of potatoes, that was a lot of cabbage, a lot of fruit. Oats, wheat, corn flour, salt. What a lovely video! Let's see...
Yes, I mainly watch food videos. Don't laugh at me. I love food. <laughs> High of 97. And that's cool because uh, <laughs> over the next few days, uh, let me read you the temperature for us this week. 104, 108, 109, and it'll just remain there for the next four or five days. Let's go you Filipino food. What really gets you in those countries isn't the heat, it's the humidity. Wow, this place is hot. You guys know what you get if I sit in this car too long in Las Vegas? Chinese barbecue! <sighs> Sorry. Because I'm about to eat barbecue. Let's go. <sighs> So this place is a Hawaiian slash Filipino barbecue. Just as I'm about to eat, place is getting filled up. Let's go eat on the hood. You know, this is good. This will uh, keep my barbecue warm as I'm eating it. <laughs> you know, after it melts through the styrofoam. By the way, they're so nice in there. Like the nicest people. <laughs> and this looks just so, so delicious. I'm just gonna dump out the adobo here. Oh, God. God, this is tender. Mm. That's so good. <laughs> I think that's the first bite of adobo I've had since coming back to the U.S. Melt in your mouth, tender pieces of pork cooked in that gray sauce and vinegar. I cannot believe, I cannot believe, I'll say this again, I cannot believe how tender that is. That is just the most incredible katsu. Wow, this is so tender. I don't think I've had anything as close as tender as that in a long, long time. And then this is their famous fried chicken. Wow, this place. We just had food. Make this place your must visit. I want more if you're food. For some great Hawaiian slash Filipino food. I want that food. You are gonna <laughs> love it. Just like the katsu, the chicken is so tender on the inside, Ugh. perfectly crunchy on the outside. What did we eat? Um, oh, there's a slight. He's gonna keep talking, so I'm gonna pause it. Uh, potato soup that my landlord made. Um, with some steak bits that are a bit tough but it's fine um bacon bits inside chives mozzarella uh yeah that's about it yes that is the first meal i've had all day my sweetness to this as well and every bite just leaves you so happy hmm everything's great with the katsu sauce as well i'm just gonna add some sriracha a little heat to my chicken <laughs> wow. My favorite is still the katsu. I just had chicken katsu yesterday. Where I thought the meat was incredibly tender. Don't even come close to this. This is the real deal. Mm. Oh, look at this. That, that makes my mouth water. Beautiful piece of coffee. Oh, smoky sweet. Bursting with umami. Such a beautiful char on this thing that you can see and taste. My phone overheated. I've just been filming for like, like less than 10 minutes. My phone temporarily succumbed to the Nevada heat. Teriyaki chicken. These people in there 
They're like the chicken whisperer. Any chicken they touch, they're able to extract the maximum amount of flavor and maximum amount of tenderness. What is this? I think this is a piece of uh, beef. Ah, so good. Barbecue beef, sweet, and just that char. Because they have the sugary element in here, the fire just sears and caramelizes the outside of the meat, giving you that slight bitterness with every single bite of sweet, tender beef. This is really worth it. So much food. You won't need to eat for the rest of the day. All right, I'm pretty sure my styrofoam box, my water, and I'm melting. So I'm gonna hurry and finish this up. The more bites I take of this, the happier I am. I call this take a break from eating, eating period. It's funny, when they gave me this cookie, I was asking them if uh, it was warm. I really didn't need it to be warm. I could just throw this in the sun for like a minute. It'll warm it right up. But this is a peanut butter cookie. God, this looks like it's stuffed. And apparently this place makes new cookies every week. Oh, just by picking it up, it fell apart. Oh God. Feels like I just took a massive bite of peanut butter. It's so soft. And, and oh my gosh, look at that. The wind what? blew it apart. This is almost more peanut butter than cookie. I'm not complaining. So in Texas, there's a place called HEV. Um, that's like a, the big grocery store there. Um, and there was this type of cookie. It was like a almost vanilla or peanut butter outside with caramel stuffed inside. I have never been able to find it ever again. I don't think they even sell it at HEB anymore. And I miss it every day. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it had like white chocolate chips on the outside or something. It was just really sweet. And just, oh, my mother and I bought them any chance we could when we were there. We just, we found them one day. We were like, oh, let's give this a try. And then it, we were like, we should never stop eating this. <laughs> Custom order or something for that? Oh, I want, I want that. Oh, God. It's, it was so good. And, like, you have to have them hot. That way that the caramel is, like, really nice and melty. And it just... Ugh. The problem is, is that I can't remember exactly if it was vanilla or, like, a peanut butter outside. I'm pretty sure it was just, like, a regular vanilla cookie. Like, like the normal brand cookie. Uh, maybe a sugar cookie? I don't know. Probably vanilla, yeah. But either way, I miss it. I miss it every day. And that that cookie that he's eating, it looked incredibly similar, minus like the drizzle on top and how fat it was. <laughs> but like, it's so close, and I I want it. I want it. Although I love peanut butter, I feel like I'm gonna have peanut butter stuck in my teeth for the rest of the day. I was talking before about. Uh, potentially going to Taiwan, maybe going back to Asia. All those plans are kind of shot right now because I did not end up getting my uh, visa to Taiwan. So not going to be going there. To be honest, I have no idea what I'm doing for the next month or two. So I think I'm going to go back to New York for uh, a week, see my parents again and just get some stuff in order. And then I'm just going to go back to Texas and, and stay there for a little bit. So go to San Antonio, maybe go back to Houston a little bit, Austin, a lot of cities to visit. This will probably be the hottest summer of my life. This place I'm going to, look at this. Every grain rice and noodle, coffee and tea. I need myself Chinese food at least once every two days. Oh, tea is good. I'm a big fan of tea. So you guys, in my old age now, all I can do is drink sugarless tea. Old age. Scallion pancake. He's like in his 30s or something. Onions, Maybe yeah. lower. Those are. Give this a nice little mix. Those are a lot. I had them once. And I. You really have to have some sort of thick topping on them. Because otherwise it's just so dry. This is really good. Key to a really good scallion pancake. Is Hong the Kong French toast. So you see many layers of flakiness here. Ooh, yeah, this send that to really me. Really good combination: chili oil, French onion dip. 
a little creaminess mixed in with the heat. This is actually really, really good. A lot of places do frozen scallion pancakes. Now this is fresh right here. You can tell by the different layers. Mmm. This thing is just so amazingly flaky. This is one of my favorite things to make in the kitchen. It's so easy too. But they did a really good job here. If you want to make it really flaky and airy, that takes some skills. Anyway, for those who've never had this before, uh, I'm going to Discord, link my please. recipe in the description box below. How many times have I said that I will link something I never do? I don't remember this time. If not, remind me in the comments. Gotta say, this is the most beautiful bowl of dandan noodles I've ever seen. With the noodles nicely folded, scallions on top, minced meat. There's a very soupy rendition of these noodles. You can see little bits of chilies and peppercorn throughout. Even though I had done the needles for a long, long time now, there's so much anticipation with this ball. I mean, it's fitting that you find a bowl of needles like this in Sin City. Thank you, dear. It's so full of like oh, I should probably and leave the Discord call. and addictions even. This thing fits right in. The soup, first of all, great body. Mm, we'll Just watch that next. For all the news. I'm gonna say this is one of the most dangerous bowls of dandan noodles I've ever had. Especially if you're in LA or Phoenix or somewhere around Vegas where this place is not conveniently located for you. Because you're gonna to wanna to make that four hour drive here just to eat this. By far one of the best bowls of dandan noodles I've had anywhere. This is crazy good. There's garlic in here, scallions, mm. tons of meat. The sauce is spicy. It's got the gray aroma from the sesame. I mean, somebody should give these noodles a residency at one of the casinos, because trust me, people will come for this. I mean, this, compared to that magic show I saw by David Copperfield a long time ago, in terms of appearance, price, enjoyability, the fact that I didn't fall asleep, in all those categories, this wins. This is the most recommended dish in this restaurant. This is one of my favorite dishes when I go to Taiwan. It's basically, Fatty pieces of pork belly melted over a little bowl of rice. Like this right here. This stuff, when you leave it on the rice, will just start to melt and the juice will kind of soak in and go deep into every single grain. So you kind of just leave it for a little bit and let it melt. You come back to it and you dig deep, you'll see how much the juice from the fat has penetrated the pile of rice. Let's try this. Eminem is playing on the radio inside that building. Come and get this. You're doing things right here. Wow. Oh, that meat is so good. Tender, melt in your mouth, and just extremely Xiong. I used that word a lot. I mean, take a bite of something, but you're not just tasting out of your tongue, your aroma, all your other senses are getting involved. Yeah. You won't be able That's to me internally See, right now. I'm just like, he does all the oh, cooking. this looks like a cup of so everybody just amazing. follow me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> One of my favorite udon places in Vegas. He just ate. He met with a friend, and now he's going to eat with his friend. I think it's like six dollars for a bowl of udon that is really really good and plus they make their udon fresh here before you could kind of go in and just like have stations you could get the noodles you know, you could order i wish that right over me there. again i used to eat like that when i was younger well, I can't do any of that right now but you know Ow. Really, I'm not here for the wudon. I'm here for the all-you-can-drink capical. Did you know they have all-you-can-drink capical? I don't even drink this when it's not unlimited, but when it's unlimited, I'm gonna drink a lot of this. I don't know, it just triggers something in me. Look at Jesse's wudon. Fresh bowl, $6. Mm -hmm. You wanna try yours first? I wouldn't say I got Go old. It's more, I'm poor. Mm. <laughs> They're nice and bouncy. I can't afford groceries. I love a good udon with a simple broth. Yeah. That is good. Mm -hmm. Itadakimasu. <laughs> oh, oh no, sorry, sorry. What well, were you attempting uh, there? My guy. Like, what? This is awesome. You made a mess. Good, huh?
This is so good. Right? You got fruit regret? Mmm. Oh, this is so good. It's got so much great seafood flavor. And it's creamy. Noodles are beautifully chewy. Scallions are really nice, too. That was good. That hit the spot. What is this? This is the Hiyashi ramen. Oh. So, Japanese uh, traditional tom noodle. All right, so we got some eggs, some imitation crab meat, some shrimp, tomatoes, all right, some mustard. When you kind of dig the noodles up, it's a lot of noodles. I've never seen like mustard in a ramen before. Quite an interesting I think combination. These noodles are gonna be really good. I mean, they feel really bouncy. Mmm. Noodle texture is insane. You're gonna like this. Mmm. Yeah? Mmm. These are like super They're chewy, so bouncy. Super al dente noodles. I would bungee jump with these noodles. Shrimp is really good. I love the sauce, the sesame. Really aromatic. Mmm. Is there a seafood tomato cream? Whoa. <laughs> I don't think I've had this. This is the tomato. Um, it's got seafood in here, bits of seafood. Scallops. Mm. Scallops, shrimp, I think fish in here. And I just want to say, this is like double the size of the, the mintai ko udon. Delicious. Jesse, you're gonna like this. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm good. Japanese Italian fusion. Right. Cheesy, tomatoey. The sauce, what I like about that is not overly tomatoey. Mm. It's very balanced. Mm. And the seafood is great. Udon noodles are my favorite, and I love Italian food, so perfect. Mmm, squid in here too. This is delicious. The seafood is super fresh. Mm -hmm. I hate it when it's too tomatoey or not enough tomato. This is great balance. I think I'm ready for a refill on my Calpico. So on top of the stratosphere, this is what I used to come and do every single time I was in Vegas, because there's roller coasters on the top. Uh, I think there's one that spins you over the edge, another one that kind of drops you over the edge, another one that kind of shoots up and go down. Jesse's never done it. I've never done it. You want to do it? Yeah, I kind of want to. Okay, let's go. Really? Let's, yeah, let's go. All right. So this is all closed. All right, we'll, we'll come back a different night. All right. all right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Yeah. I guess the food adventure and uh, Vegas venture ends about now. Gonna go back, go to bed. If you haven't guessed already, we are at our second attempt of all-you-can-eat sushi buffet because there's so many across Vegas. Like everywhere you go, mm -hmm. it's just all-you-can-eat sushi. Our first experience wasn't the best, so we thought we'd try another really popular place, and this is called Umami. So far, so good. Everyone's really nice. Uh, you get an hour and 30 minutes here to eat as much as you can. So we're gonna get our sushi fill on. So lunch is $21.95, Monday mm -hmm. through Friday, and yeah. all day, weekends and holidays is $26.95. Okay, pretty similar all across Vegas. Again, tons of these places so gonna review a couple for you and hopefully next time you come you want to go to all you can eat sushi buffet you'll know where to go it is confirmed we are eating fresh wasabi none of this neon green stuff the, <laughs> you know the alien blood this is already better than the last time this stuff is made in area 51 did you know that <laughs> that's why it glows it neon like green. It. you're the sushi expert here does this look better or this does this look better way better than what we had yes way i'm gonna start with the cajun tuna I want to start with the salmon minute. belly. Mm. How's the Cajun tuna? Delicious. Fish just melts in your mouth completely. Salmon belly. Mm. Salmon belly? Good? It's good. Oh, I love this fresh wasabi. This is so good. I have to be in the mood for sushi. I've noticed. Good, Whenever I go to the I like store, the, uh, the grocery Christmas store here has like a shrimp sushi cream. section. I really have to be in the mood for sushi. Otherwise, I'm just like, I don't, I can't stomach it today. And honestly, 
if I went here, I don't think I would have to be in the mood. It just looks really good. Cream <laughs> cheese, spicy tuna, crunch with 300 and eel sauce. It's not so fresh, it looks like You haven't tried sushi? Mm. I'll take you out. We'll go out and we'll have a good time. Is it spicy? <laughs> no. Well, yeah. Maybe for you. So crunchy on the outside. The inside just melts. That is absolutely mm. spectacular. Fish colors are best. I that. Think the salmon one's going to be That. I want and that. Hey, you got a dipping sauce here. Oh, it looks like baramundi. I've had that once and wow. it was so good. good. Not to toot my own horn because I, I cooked it. Love but this. Like. <laughs> and we are going to get like 50 more of this. Oh my gosh. Right? I can't believe this is included. This is oh, included, right? Yeah. No, we got we gotta get way more of this. Seared perfectly in the outside. The fish is just a bite of pure tenderness. It looks like chicken. Like it's so beautifully cooked. It, it tastes like us standing outside in the sun. Sushi looks so good. It's Melting. very good. Melting. Of course. I would personally recommend that you get like a big platter of like one type of eat sh sushi. And then you just test out which ones you like and don't like. Um, most places in Japan, you're supposed to eat it whole. But like in America, obviously it's not that taboo. If you eat it and don't like it, then it's fine. <laughs> That's actually what we did um, in Florida when I went to go visit some family with my father. And uh, we had like a huge party of like various food places a lot of them were sushi or fish related some barbecue places um but we just got a huge sushi platter like two of them and we all just tried different types i know that i like a lot of them but conch is not one of them i hate conch i love eel eel is my favorite which is funny because when I was a kid, I remember my sister telling me that she loved eel until she had a really bad experience. I was like, eel is so slimy, though. Why would you like it? And then I had it and I was like, oh, I understand. <laughs> eel is very good. Conch is too tough for me. It's You have to chew it quite a lot. And I feel like... Some people, my uncle liked it quite a bit, um, so I gave him mine, uh, but I just, I could not get behind it very much. It was very hard to put down, like, in my stomach. <laughs> um, my favorite roll to get is a volcano roll. Um, usually, whenever you go somewhere that does it right, it's wrapped in tempura. It is, like, in a, um, a perfect half cut like a, like a diagonal cut on a sushi roll and sometimes they'll add cream cheese inside and that is the bomb i love it it is my favorite so much so that my landlord anytime she orders sushi um she often asks me hey what's that roll you like again that you always get whenever you get sushi i was like volcano roll <laughs> i love it it's so good Highly recommend it. Oh, that's even oh, better. This is the greatest thing. Wow, we're gonna get we gotta get a couple more of these. They're this both is incredible. so good. Wow, okay, this is heavy. What is this? Eel, salmon, and tempura. Tempura. I like the fact that yeah. the rice is perfect for me. Wait, is this paper? Yeah, it's soy paper. It's soy oh, paper. you can eat it, right? Paper, yeah. <laughs> I thought I just ate paper, which paper. I'm not complaining. I was like, huh, paper tastes nice. Texture-wise, you got that extremely melty salmon and that ridiculously crispy tempura all over. Just perfect amount of rice. Baked mussels. Heck yeah, baby. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. so happy here. And the amount of rice, <laughs> seriously, is not that much, right? Mm. This place is way better than the other place. A million times. Like better. way better. Oh, that is colorful. It's like getting a sushi rainbow. Thank you. Seared eel. <gasps> Got some salmon. What is that? Oh. White tuna? There's this crazy amount of stuff. Oh, 
seared eel. Let's go. <laughs> I've actually had a bad experience with um, tuna, so I'm not too fond of it anymore. Um, at least in a sushi roll. It's, not filling, it's probably she... just like a raw thing where my body was like, uh, no. Because I still like tuna like on crackers and tuna salad sandwiches and stuff. But, um... That yeah. stuff is hefty. I mean, all this is going down for sure. We might have one last meal today to eat. Alright, we're gonna have to go to battle for a while. See you in a little bit. Alright, we might have to call Uncle after all this because things just keep coming. We, we definitely, like, iceberg in his stomach. We got more of the collar, which this will go down easy, but let's finish everything we have here. This might be the end of us. Okay, what's the lesson here? We should have got more in the giddy mm -hmm. than the rolls. I would say just eat the heck out of the fish collar. This is amazing stuff. Surprised so he hasn't shit himself. Having such a good time. What do you time. mean? Right, this is fun. He's not allergic. You're halfway yet? 30. Oh, yeah. right. I need a safe Why aren't you saying that about her? I'm going to feel Filipino food after this. <laughs> That's going to be hefty. Time, right, right, let's concentrate. Camera off. Concentrate. Ice cream included. Oh, ice cream included. Tempura ice cream fried ice cream. Bring on the fried ice cream. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Awesome. Thank you. How much he's been eating? He does this fairly often. He does it for a living, literally. That's good. You was so light. The skin is so crunchy and light. This is a pretty good way to finish off this meal before we go get our seasick for hollow hollow. Mochi. Mochi ice cream. Craving satisfied. We're gonna go for a run and uh, go eat our food. Plus, they walk a lot of the places they go to whenever they can. This is gonna be our last food place because I got something to do tonight. She's got something to do tonight. You love Halo Halo, right? I love it. This place got a flaming Halo Halo. Flame, flame shooting out of it. Mm. Oh, look at that. I want. These are burrito tacos. We have burrito yes. tacos in LA. Uh -huh. Not at a Filipino place. No. This is crazy looking. So, I think inside is seasick. I'm not sure. It looks like it's seasick inside. It is seasick. Two layers of tortilla, seasick, and I think what? Cheese and yeah. onions, all that stuff inside? It's like grabbing the concrete ground on the outside. You're elbowing her. <laughs> You're gonna love those. Oh wow. That's so good. Mm, I love good. the two layers of the shell. Yep, super crunchy. Mm. Do you get that nice charred flavor from the onions with that slight bitterness? You got cheese inside, you got tons of meat and filling. This sauce is great. You see all the bits of uh, fatty pork and onions. I think inner is in here as well. Cheesy. So these fries are kind of crazy. So I think it's some kind of uh, sriracha mayo on top with an egg with crispy pig skin. This is the garlic fried pompano. This is a uh, fish. Something I had in the Philippines. Shit. That's one of the most tender things you'll put in your mouth today. And the outside is so crispy. The mm. fish is so soft and tender. Mm. Love it. So this is basically lechon fries. So runny egg on top, french fries, bits of lechon fried pork belly. You see this? Right on the bottom with some chicharron as well. Oh, here we go. Thank you, star of the show. The sizzling mm. sea cig is here. Jesse, yeah. you gotta try these fries. This is so good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Try the skin. Try the skin. I love the skin. You know, skin's my favorite. Mm. And the truffle flavor here, too? This is marvelous. Must try when you get here. I love the pork, honestly. Wait, I it's thought so carbs good. were your favorite. Did you just have like a new favorite every week or no, something? No, I love carbs. What kind of pizza should I get? 
Everyone Ellie's dad is apparently bringing me a pizza well, tomorrow. To get a sea <laughs> I have to get a sea sick too, but sometimes when I go to a place and they recommend other stuff besides sea sick, I'm like, yeah, I'll get the other stuff. But you're like, let's always get a sea sick. <laughs> Which, good excuse for me to always want to get sea sick because I'll be like, oh, well, Jesse uh, wants a sea sick. Two toppings. What oh. toppings should I get? I don't care what kind of Filipino food I'm biting into, it always comes back to a sisa. Like it's just mm. the comfort level, the um, the familiar flavors, oh, the vinegariness of this dish. It always makes me so happy. I'm so happy. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Sugar on top of the sugar milk crystallizing right now. So it's like a creme brulee. I don't want to yeah. just settle on like a regular yeah, yeah, pep just because I can't think of anything else. Let's Some see. Chilies, and I think that's uh, banana over there. Uh, While we're waiting for that, let's try this though. Well, this is their lechon. Well, you love this stuff too, right? I love lechon. Because I usually just get a margarita. Like that's my favorite, easiest, simplest type of pizza. But if it's just reduced to like two ingredients, then I don't know. Oh. Get some crispy skin, I get some fat, I get some meat. I get a little char, you dip it in this great sauce. Mm. Mm. Now, how long you gotta mix everything? So let's just let's mix it. Oh, Where's the milk? Oh, we didn't put the milk yet. Oh, I, I should have poured it first. Oh, I messed it up. I should have poured the milk onto the tower. That was what was supposed to happen, and I just. I feel like I messed the plot up to a beautiful movie. So good. So good. Yube ice cream, the pudding, the banana. Good last meal. It's good. Wraps up a fun few days of feasting around the city. Great place though. Favorite time of the day. Sitting back here, helicopters in the air, flying over this trip. But this is really beautiful and peaceful. This is what I like to do. A cup of tea, sit by myself, think a little. May not seem like it, but a lot going on here. Every day I spend in Vegas, it's just surprising how much good food is around here. Seriously, you people that live in Vegas, I'm really not jealous of this heat, but you got some really good food here. And as always, all the places I went to, list it down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later. Alrighty, let's watch that Hong Kong style French toast. Deep fried French toast, please excuse me. Ooh, it has subtitles. Today, we want to teach you a modern Hong Kong classic, fried French toast. This Cantonese version is crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside, and commonly stuffed with a variety of tasty stuff. Now, for those of you that have never eaten around Hong Kong, your very first question might naturally be why there even is a Hong Kong style of French toast. After all, why a dish that was originally Roman might have a French variant or a Spanish version is probably pretty straightforward but a Cantonese one a little less so. See, Hong Kong style French toast was born out of the Cantonese tradition of bingsa, or ice rooms, which originally were eateries in Guangzhou that specialized in their own style of Canto Western fusion. Post 49 though, a good chunk of that bingsa tradition ended up moving across the Delta into Hong Kong, where they were greeted with a very British system of rigid business licensing requirements. The bingsa generally didn't have the capital to swing for proper restaurant licenses, so instead, they operated as so-called snack shops, which limited their menu to relatively humble fare like tea, sandwiches, and toast. So when it came to making a French toast, those snack shops ended up developing a much more economical in Asia variant. For the coating, they'd skip the milk, and for the bread, they'd use that more chewy sort that you can find at Cantonese bakeries. Mm -hmm. But to counteract that bread's intrinsic sort of softness, they'd shallow fry it till crisp. So if you didn't already know there's actually many different styles of bread and in america majority of them are so hyped up with sugar that they actually taste different than a lot of other countries bread then serve with butter honey or condensed milk so then for you when it comes to bread to make this dish you want something cheap chewy and mass-produced 
save your homemade or bougie artisanal bread for some other use. Bougie. Something with a bit of chew like potato bread or Wonder Bread is absolutely perfect. And while this can be a bit stale, oh, unlike God, the Western not Wonder style, bread, it doesn't please. have to be. Now, using that pre-sliced bread, we will need to add a bit of verticality to the mix. And this is where our stuffing is going to come into play. We'll be sticking three slices of bread together using that ultimate sandwich glue, that is, peanut butter. Here we used a tablespoon's worth for each toast. Now, when frying, the crust ends up getting a bit overly hard and tough. So just cut those off, munch on them as a snack for the cook, and this toast is ready to go. Of course, while peanut butter is the classic stuffing here, obviously it's far from the only choice. Another common site is Ovaltine toast, which uses oval maltine spread for the stuffing. To balance its sweetness, though, we do suggest adding an eighth teaspoon of salt to your tablespoon of Ovaltine spread. And for us, we also like to smear a touch of peanut butter around the edges to help everything stick a bit better. Now, to fry, I do know that whenever we deep fry in a wok, the percentage of you that actually end up making these recipes plummets into like the single digits. So fear not, today we'll be shallow frying in a pan with about a half inch of oil, which is another classic setup for this in Hong Kong. So just heat that up over a medium flame. And as that's going, toss in a half teaspoon of salt in with three or four eggs and beat that real well till no stray strands of egg white remain. Then add your prep toast to the egg, leaving it there for about five seconds so that the egg will absorb a touch. Then twist it all around, being sure to cover and absorb each side with egg. Then once your oil's up to about 140 centigrade, or when it's bubbling around a pair of chopsticks, toss in your bread. Now, you'll want to dip each of the sides in at first for about 10 seconds or so to seal up those edges. Then you can drop the bread in. Keeping everything at around 140, let that go for two minutes, then flip it. This side is going to be our show side, so your goal here is to get the top there evenly golden brown by continuously spooning the oil in that pan basting sort of hand motion. Then once that side is nice and golden brown and everything's starting to puff up a bit, after about 90 seconds, optionally further brown those sides there for good measure, then take it out and toss on a baking tray. Now, to serve, we really like smothering it with condensed milk but honey or golden syrup are two other classic choices. Then just toss on it a looks like a toaster strudel, that, but like giant stuffed French toast is good to go. Then for that Ovaltine stuffed one, a common move is to serve by dusting it first with a bunch of Ovaltine powder, then hitting it with condensed milk or your syrup of choice. And of course, that mandatory knob of butter. Now, peanut butter and malt chocolate aside, if you've been to Guangdong any time in like the last decade, You'd know that these days, one of the most popular stuffed French toasts is a gooey salted egg yolk version. So we wanted to teach you that one too. It's not difficult, but it is a bit more involved because you will need to make some of this salted egg yolk filling in advance. Now, if any of you have watched our dim sum custard buns video, this is basically the same thing as the gooey filling over there. Just start it off by mixing in a half teaspoon of Cantonese rose wine in with two salted eggs and steam those covered for 10 minutes. Then just take those out, toss on a chopping board, and smash those flat. You want to do a real nice. bang-up job, making sure that this is nice and pasty, though. You want to make so this? take your time with it. You're looking for something much like this in the end. Then next, to a bowl, toss in 20 grams of sugar, look necessarily 5 grams difficult. of instant custard, 10 grams of milk powder, just, half teaspoon you gotta make of sure starch, 20 grams not of fuck up milk, the first part 20 with grams of condensed milk, uh, and mix well. Then on your stove, toss 65 oil. ml of water to a pot, and to that, add in a half teaspoon of gelatin powder. Mix that over a medium low flame till it's dissolved, then add in 30 grams of butter. Once all your butter's melted, add in your bowl of stuff from before and continue to cook for a minute or two till that's all combined. Then heat off, add in the mashed salted egg yolk and give that a real good whisk together until the egg's evenly incorporated. Then just transfer over to a plate, cover, and let that set for a couple hours in the fridge or 30 minutes in the freezer. Now. We should say that what we just made there ends up giving you a more gooey salted egg yolk filling. But if you get this outside of Chan Ping, the filling's generally much runnier. We prefer ours gooey, but if you disagree, just cut out that cornstarch and knock the gelatin quantity in half. Now, to assemble this one, we'll be cutting out a hole in our middle slice, then sticking these together with the peanut butter. Then just toss in as much salted egg yolk filling as will fit in your hole, then cover and cut off the crusts just as before. Then dip that into your beaten egg just as before and fry in 140 centigrade oil just as before. 
The only real difference here is that you really gotta respect the fact that you do have a lava-like cauldron of liquid goo nestled inside your toast that's frying in your non-insignificant quantity of bubbling oil. Mm -hmm. So don't push it. Once it's just starting to puff, take it out and don't bother further browning the sides. Just smother it with some condensed milk, hit it with that knob of butter, and your salted egg yolk French toast is also ready to devour. So right, uh, over the years, for the glues that are used to Dougie. stick the bread together, besides peanut butter, there's also jam, uh, butter, or a mixture with butter and peanut butter, and even the kaya sauce from Malaysia and Singapore. So just play around with it and find your favorite. So we'll be off for Christmas and New Year. Uh, we may do a little Q&A video when we're traveling. But anyway, hope 2021 will be a better year for all of us. And of course, thank you for everyone that's supporting us on Patreon. And don't forget to subscribe for more Chinese cooking videos. I, I do hope that the uh, peanut butter they gave to that dog is uh, not aspartame. Xylitol, I think. Xylitol free? Needs a top hat. <laughs> it really does. And a little tox. But uh, make sure you double check the ingredients of your peanut butter before giving it to your dogs. Because um, there are some not so nice ingredients in them nowadays. Apparently they've actually renamed some of them. Um, to one that starts with a D? I can never remember. But once I see it I'm like, oh, I think that's that's the one. So. Be careful what you do and what you give. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, look at that. I'm in the zone now. Yeah. I think I know why. Just look up, um... What's bad for dogs and peanut butter? It should come up right away. Is that fat that he's putting on a little brioche? Ugh. Oh. Bone marrow. Mm. plan is really simple. Check in and head to a buffet as soon as possible. Luckily the buffet I want to go to is right downstairs. Alright, like I said, let's not waste any time. I'm starving and I'm here at this hotel for the Wicked Spoon Buffet. This is one of the most popular buffets in Las Vegas, and as many times as I've been in Vegas, I've never been there. So I'm gonna go try it out, let you guys know what I think. Dinner starts at three on a Saturday, so this is the best they got right now. This looks so fucking good. This is making me... I, it's not even remotely, remotely close to in quality of food, but like this is making me want to go back to Golden Corral because it's a fucking buffet. Upon first, uh, first look, I just want to go there and stuff my face out. full of beef stew. 
I don't know why this one here serves beef stew, but I love them for it because I've never gone to a fucking golden corral that serves beef stew. Like full on beef, like large chunks of beef, potato, carrot, celery. Oh, so good. Salmon I've ever seen. I mean, that thing looks like Vegas. Just a desert. But I am absolutely starving, so. Got my pineapple juice, which fruit juices do come for free at most of these buffets. Trust me, as for some juice, ask them to mix in some sparkling water with it. Pineapple juice soda. Okay, you know what? This thing might not be as dry as I thought. But, oh, look at that. No idea what that used to be. You know what? Surprisingly, pretty darn good. Nice and juicy salmon. A oh. little bit of sour cream. Mmm. Maybe I'm just hungry, but not bad. I don't really taste any of the pepper or chilies or spices on this, but fish is cooked well. Normally, you don't get pasta <laughs> at the fish, but this stuff I'm looks deaf. good. Pasta is definitely good. We can taste that. They actually make this here. Nice fresh pasta. Pretty big fan of this pasta with meat sauce. Gotta say, this pasta is really top notch. A creamy, spicy, nice subtle tomato flavor. I just knocked that out. Like I would a bowl of uh, duck wing. In general, I love duck way more than chicken. Oh. This thing, good job, Wicked Spoon. Cause this tastes wicked good. Crispy, slightly sweet, nice sesame flavor. How many doubts about this? This was sitting in a big serving tray since I got into the restaurant and I didn't see anybody else touch it. But the words chili and duck caught my attention. But I'm glad it did. <laughs> oh man, this is where it's at. That goes perfect with rice. That sauce, in Chinese we say, it's very sharp, but it means it pairs great with rice. And that definitely would have. Spicy, a lot of great beef umami flavor. Not a bad dish. Roast pork, just okay, but so far, pretty good first impression of this place. I had my doubts coming in. A lot of dishes were kind of dry looking, but if this plate was a first date, there'd definitely be a second. Really don't recommend getting pho at buffets, but I, whenever I see the word pho up here anywhere, I want it. So they don't have the typical Oh, that's noodles, so cool. Just some Did you enjoy working noodles. at the salad bar? Can't imagine there's terribly a lot to do other than, um, you know, maintaining it. It's kind of an unconventional bowl of pho. Hundred percent honest, that's really not bad pho. I mean, <laughs> for a buffet? That's pretty fantastic for a buffet. Chicken. All right, this this is the God, I love part buffets. of the lineup. Though so I have station, no self-control, so like chicken is roasted whenever I'm around a lot of food, because I naturally fire, don't have a lot of food, nice usually. This is a cut of top oh, steak. So I'm not talking over him. Because I don't have a lot of food, usually, I tend to just overeat. And a lot of the time, I get to the point where I feel like I'm going to fucking throw up. <laughs> but I love buffets because it's just so much food for dirt dirt cheap usually like golden corral i have to drive like 26 almost 30 minutes depending on traffic to get there but it's only 13 dollars for like an entire meal that would settle me for the the rest of the day if i went there like at around early lunch i would stay there until about mid to late lunch and i wouldn't have to eat for the rest of the day i'd be golden it'd be well ha pun not intended uh <laughs> but like buffets are so good i never feel the need to like bring jesus need to bring anything home but um i sometimes wish i would so that way despite it being more money obviously um 
I feel like it would probably save me sometimes in the long run, long run where I just take a whole thing of beef stew and just have that for tomorrow. Just heat it up. Whatever. Or various bits of foods that I don't usually have because it's fucking expensive otherwise. <laughs> Despite the quality there being poor. It's whatever. It's food. Looks a little overcooked and dry. We'll see. But the bone marrow as the star of the show here. <gasps> oh yeah, baby. I have a love affair with bone marrow. Depends on the day. Really, we made a lot of items in the bar. The hardest was keeping up on the holidays. Oh, of That's course. So bone marrow is one of those things. You can have the worst day ever. Bone marrow will make you feel better. And the only thing better than bone marrow. Holidays is when people it's feel you can eat bone marrow. so oh fucking. Best thing I have so far. <laughs> Just meaty butter. What is the term I'm looking for? Demanding. People are stupid. A person could be smart, but people okay. are stupid. I mean, anything following that bone marrow is just kind of unfair. I'm not feeling so hot about this prime rib here. That's definitely on the dry 100... side. I mean, you can have that piece. I'm sorry. That's a dry piece. 1,200 deviled eggs, eggs in one day? That's actually pretty tender. Good I mean, lord. Juicy, but it is tender. I'm sure you never wanted to see another one ever again. This top steak, that's pretty darn good. It's definitely dry aged. You can 100% taste the age in this meat, and it is tender. Nope. Mm. <laughs> the lamb is okay. That's probably my least favorite cut of meat on here, but in general, yeah, I highly really have I love the dry so much steak. respect Absolutely for people who work in industries like that. Everything I would never be able to, to and I fully understand that. To have that. I would never be able to do that. Came out. Little samosa. Beautiful samosa. This thing is definitely a little doughy for me. Potato's good, but man, look at that thick dough on each side. If you went inside the samosa and scream, I guarantee you nobody would hear you. Ooh. All right, round three now is getting busier. There's a mac and cheese bar. Can't say no to that. That's good. And that is really heavy. Only complaint, a little liquidy. I got some mushrooms, some spinach, some shrimp. He's so quiet. Oh, this is great, though. Love the heat. Whatever Mikey has is not picking him up very well. I hear the background more than I hear him. Shrimp and grits. I love shrimp and grits. Anytime I see them on a buffet, can't resist that either. And they do it very, very Those aren't accurate at all. Smoky tender shrimp. And a carnita taco? This came out from Mexico, so I don't feel like this is really going to impress me much. The pork looks juicy. There's some chicharroing here. A little pineapple. Definitely need to satisfy my taco craving since I've been back. I make a damn good taco, uh, chicken taco. Like, if you ever have a craving for chicken tacos, I am your girl. I will make you the best fucking chicken tacos you've ever had. Looks okay. Like a giant pile of seafood. Crawfish looks kind of small. Okay, so the seafood selection is pretty poor all they have is that crawfish boil and this is the poor little crawfish that they give you i kind of supplement it with some uh, surf and turf more bone marrow which is by far the best thing on this whole buffet the dungeness crab is probably the best thing on that seafood pile it's okay you know that seafood break i always take so i can eat more hell yeah Hold on. I can't use that strategy here shredded marrow, the chicken today. tacos big one Light seasoning of salt, pepper, some paprika, lime juice, lemon juice. They really should um, give the bone marrow like its own little buffet stand. Some guys. cilantro, fresh if you can. Place. If All not, right, then dried like works just fine. Everything there is to eat up um, there. a bit of this garlic seasoning, either salt or powder, either works. Um, have it like slow cook and then right. pull it apart oh. here actually top it off good. with some, some sour cream, cream. you're tea, fucking golden pistachio, bourbon bread pudding lava cake and some kind of matcha cake that doesn't look like matcha that looks like key lime pie this looks promising 
Orange sherbet. My cake looks good. Real passion fruit. No oh, passion fruit. Shell, not overly sweet. Mm, I adore bread pudding. Take the bread pudding, mix it with some uh, ice cream. Oh. Not to keep talking That's about awesome. it, but Golden Corral, really nice they had this most flavor. gooey, like, cake. um, cinnamon roll, like, bites. I thought it was undercooked, but my god. Ah, this lava cake, it, it's, it's I had so a drool emote, or at least I should. Oops, that's not how you spell drool. Huh, I don't have a drool Overall. emote. I guess I know what I'll be doing Those later. I had were very flavorful. The meats, apart from the top sirloin, were a little dry. But the I can make that one an animated emote greens, to have slots greens, for it. Even the fun noodle soup. Flavor was on point. Best thing on the buffet, like I mentioned, not a surprise. I guess it really just goes with the hungry emote. Goes That's what I um, pretty much makes this tied it in with. Worth it. As you can see, with the seafood, it's pretty much non-existent. So if you're a seafood lover, you want to get a lot of If you get real up close and personal, you can see a little bit of drool. cheaper than the Bacchanal. But it is quite a bit smaller with less selection. So in terms of meat, I give this place a four out of five. In terms of seafood, of course, maybe like a two out of five. So it's tasty. Fair amount of selection. Give it a 3.5 out of five. Overall, I feel like this would be a 3.5 stars out of five stars kind of place. And it's not bad. You're going to enjoy yourself. Just keep going back to the bone marrow and you're going to feel really, really happy. It's a pretty good buffet for what you're paying for on the strip. Oh, one more thing about this place I absolutely love is the staff. Everyone's just incredibly friendly from the servers to the managers to the chefs nicest people now overall I, I don't think this place is as good as the Bacchanal buffet but haven't been there in four years so I, I feel like I need to refresh my memory a little bit Hungi. Last time I was at this buffet, over three years ago, three o'clock in the afternoon, dinner just started already, massive line. Let's see if it's still great. Right, this is the place I always come to whenever I'm in Vegas, so people have been messaging me telling me this place went downhill a bit. So I'm gonna check it out, give you guys an honest review, and we'll compare this to the Wicked Spoon. I think I saw a dinosaur being carved up over there, so let's hit up. First of all, this place is way bigger than the Wicked Spoon. Oh. oh my god, it looks so good. No, oh, get rid of that. I'm not big fond of... I'm not really fond of, um, oh my god. Look fried at rice, Pretty but sure that... They brought a dinosaur over and they cut it open. Give me some red meat and I'll right, be fucking happy. I've seen, I feel like this place might even have gotten better. Let's taste the food. First place, I got some roasted pig skewers, drunken noodle, short rib ravioli, and this uh, watermelon salad. Oh man, so this is short rib over mashed potato. Oh my good lord. I don't even want to talk loud because this thing is so fragile. I don't want to hurt its feelings. I mean, all the sections look good, and the roast pig looks really juicy. Oh, 100% at the dinosaur leg all day. Mm. Fuck, I would never leave. Holy He'd be like, you, do you want the whole thing? I'd be like, yes. Let me know when it's finished in. cooking. I'll eat it. You can watch me if you like. They killed this. Knocked it out of the park. Crispy skin, beautifully juicy pork meat. So far, it's like this place knew I was coming back and it just like made a welcoming meal for me. And again, I don't advocate getting noodles or rice on a buffet, but drunken noodles, like, it's my favorite time noodle. It's okay. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty good. I mean, the noodle, I think, has been sitting out a little long, so it's not as chewy as it should be, but that heat is unmistakable. Mm. This is just all right. The shot tastes a little like jerky at this point. Oh, it's a watermelon a salad with some chilies on top. Sweet, spicy, salty, almost everything I had. Amazingly delicious, especially that, sh that short rib. Man, you got to get that short rib when you come here. Oh my god, you got, they got bone marrow here as well. The one thing I really loved at the Wicked Spoon, they have here as well. 
That was a very thin rib. Hmm. Alright, this place is just all about the pork. Except for the beef bone marrow. That's that's not about the pork at all. That's that's beef. This is a popular Mexican soup. I first had this in Mexico just like a couple weeks ago. From the big sad roast rib cake, indeed. I got some ribs. Like <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be really thin, but I also think this is gonna be very flavorful because of the meat right off the bones. And I got the couple orders of the bone marrow. Look at this baby. Give me the cracker, a little pickled onions. Oh my gosh. I've had a lot of ribs in my life. Uh, like, is awesome. Have you have before? when I was growing up, it was my job, my own personal job, to taste test every single restaurant we went to when I was growing up, all of their ribs. I tried so many ribs when I was younger. I have consumed a lot of ribs in my lifetime. I don't give a shit if that thing is super flavorful. You need more meat on it because you are not getting your bang for your buck otherwise. I prefer dry rubs. Now that I'm older, I more appreciate dry rubs. But uh, sauce is perfectly fine, too. Um, but, like, that is a sad-ass rib. I don't care if it's super flavorful. <laughs> you need more meat for what you are paying for. Mm, a little lime here would be amazing. Mm. Oh, I missed this. One of the first things I ate when I was in Mexico. It's so good. It's good here too. It has some slow roasted, tender tasting pork. Eh, that sounds chewable. All right, this is not so great. Unless you're eating that thing within the first like 10 minutes, it's coming off the fire. This meat is gonna be dry. And I thought like maybe because it's so close to the bone, it might at least have some good flavor. Yeah, it is not good. That is such a wet cracker. If you're wandering around the world, you don't know what you're uh, searching for in life, kind of lost, yeah, you're looking for this. You're looking for some good bone marrow. It's one of those food items that you can fall in love with over and over and over again. And they did something really smart here. Not only is the bone marrow perfect, they put these little sauteed onions in an abyss of delicious fat. So it makes the fat even better, like even tastier. The best thing I liked about the Wicked Spoon was the bone marrow. And Bacchanal also has the bone marrow and they made it better. Not looking so good for the Wicked Spoon right now in terms of a uh, head to head competition. Ray was with me at the Wicked Spoon. Um, hey buddy, hey, so this is better. This was our favorite thing at the Wicked Spoon was the bone marrow. I'm sorry Wicked Spoon, it just, I, I gotta tell you the way it is. All right, let's, let's keep going, round three. Another dinosaur leg. In this place, That's a dinosaur some thigh. Brisket. I mean, it's not as sweaty as the ones I got in Texas, but this thing cut like butter mm. with my fork. This is the slice of Wagyu. You can I just own Texas style like barbecue out of an old air tank. Now, course, I can't believe how good his barbecue wagyu. is. It's the love, baby. <laughs> it's all about the love. The time you put into it, you just let that shit go on its own at a low, low heat. You season it, you baste it every few hours. Fuck. I mean, I was just in Texas. It'll love you right back. And this is still a bit ways from Texas brisket, but for a buffet, this is some top-notch stuff. A smoky, juicy, remarkably, remarkably tender. That wagyu is awesome. I mean, it's not gonna melt in your mouth like a Japanese wagyu will. But this thing... It's American this Wagyu, awesome. probably. Juice. This thing would fail any sports drug enforcement test because it's that juiced up. I mean, I've had American Wagyu. This is awesome. I mean, a lot of people message me and saying this place quality has dropped. At least from what I've seen today, I think it got better. I mean, the additions of the new food items Ooh. are amazing. So, I yeah, want that. I still think this is the number one buffet in Vegas. All right. I see food over there. So, <laughs> seafood. Get, I'm gonna, so, I'm going to get, get some seafood. His friend laughed. Again, I've only had like I some good river really bad yeah, crab. Good. I want seafood. to try crab well, again. Fresh, not near any water. And lobster. So I've never had frozen, lobster. Still, not bad. And also, what's good about seafood here? If you don't like ice cold snow crab, 
they'll boil whatever seafood you want. Oh, 100%. Like a big boiling tank over there. They will heat your seafood up. Also, if you feel like your prime rib is a little too bloody, you want them cooking for you, they'll do that as well. This buffet is very customizable. Snow crab is pretty good. And lobster claws. Red bean paste? Mm. Oh, this is really good. Creamy red bean. Mm -hmm. This coffee jelly thing has like a golden coffee bean on top. Too of bloody, it. no such thing. Some people are getting uh, are a little oh, nauseated oh, at the sight of I too like bloody. I so I understand. Either that or they've been trained to think you know what? when it's that red, it's not cooked thing. enough and you therefore not it safe. Is? It's like a mix between a jelly and a jam. That's not bad. At this point, I've been to pretty much every single Las Vegas buffet. The most popular one after this is the Wicked Spoon. I've been to the Wynn a few times. Not even close to the Bacchanal. This is still the king of all buffets I, however, in Las Vegas. I, have 100 learned to really adore bloody meat, and more for I don't want anything much, else. Much the superior uh... <laughs> buffet. And I'm not trying to pick on the Wicked Spoon. I don't want anything uh, else to try, personally. I will have it if the it's the only too. thing, which I still make my fine. Way through. Food is food. Some of the other buffets, like the Bellagio but is one of my favorites as well. Do you really want to make too, me happy? Yeah, guys. Bloody amazing. red meat. This is where you go. Here, tons of selection. Most of the stuff they have, very, very mm, good. Especially look at that, pork belly. The short rib, the carving station, the uh, brisket, the wagyu. You're going to love the desserts here. And that's why this place always has a line. It is 100% medium rare is your amazing, limit. Mm. Amazing buffet. You know, what's funny is that um, if you look back in my videos, the Bacchanal Breakfast Buffet from like four or five years ago was, I think, my first ever on screen food video. It was a long, long time ago. It was right here. And to this day, still, King of Buffets is the best buffet in Vegas. You never forget your food memories. You never do. All right, guys, as Ooh. always, all the information we'll have to for test that. is listed down below. I'll give you my watching. tacos. You again. give me a uh, super good, rare. Rare red meat food. Like I said before, love me good fucking pot roast. You give me a bloody ass pot roast, I will, I will love you forever. <laughs> I'll do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> want me to go fucking punch a dude? I'll go punch a dude. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, what? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's watch that one. Let's do this one. This dumpling is way too what? much. Oh, no, 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 no. I just That's a stuffed dump. Hey guys, another thing I love about Singapore is the Michelin star scene. Michelin stars are awarded to food stalls that sell roast chicken. But what I love about Singapore's Michelin star scene is that it includes everything. You could go to a Michelin star hawker stall that sells noodles or one of those fancy schmancy places I was talking about and basically everything in between. And typically I don't go to restaurants just because they got a Michelin star or two or three, but it does make you curious. So in this video, we're going on a Michelin star food tour. The first place I'm going to is called Burnt Ends, and this is a, a location near Chinatown. This is an Australian style barbecue place with one Michelin star. I love barbecue, and Australians are supposed to be some of the best at it. I think this is a great place to start our eating adventure. A few moments later. All right, couldn't get a table till later tonight, so I figure I go grab some tea. A lot of tea bars in this country. He loves his tea. This is a really pretty tea place. Oh my gosh, you guys sit right here. So you take your shoes off first. The place is so pretty. Oh my goodness, look at all these different types of tea. Wow, this just so much. 
chili platter. So this is a book of snacks. So there was just Tony. Sister worked with this lovely lady there. from the Philippines. She made the best food I've ever had, and I really wanted her to teach me. That's lovely. And this is my. There's nothing better than finding someone you want to teach you, especially with food. Like those are some invaluable skills in there. So cool. Now the tools for serving tea is very important. It's a little back scratcher. I, I'm just kidding. Seriously, don't, don't scratch your back with this. This is to scoop the tea from the tea bag. This is to pick up these little smelling cups because they're going to be really, really hot. And this is used to scrape the tea from the tea pot. And this little guy is to unclog the spout. A little snack before we go to Australian barbecue. into this because if you just leave it in here it's gonna not be equal and then you pour it into your smelling cup make sure to sniff it then you can drink it you gotta hold the tea like this two fingers and another finger middle finger on the bottom and you're supposed to sip it three times this was the one ordered by Queen Elizabeth you get it it's royal tea I order some snacks. Gotta go. I gotta go. Special. You guessed it. A tea egg. Oh, that's awesome tea egg. <laughs> oh, this is really good jelly. Everything in this. Oh, it's so fragrant too. This place is so good. I know this is like a Michelin star restaurant video, but come here and oh, this jelly is hard. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is, this is really, oh jeez, did I break this? This is really hard jelly. The reason why it's so fragrant is Puar tea jelly and the hard one is lychee jelly. Still good, not as good. Oh gosh. So you got one that's really soft. You got one that's hard and this is elastic heat. It's like eating jelly at Goldilocks house. It's okay, still, I think Puar. This is the clear winner here. So eat some jelly, drink some tea. You know what, this is the life. I could just sit here all day and just do this, but now I gotta go eat like barbecue, food problems, you know? Most of the seats are on this huge bar and everyone Ugh. is just cooking right in front of you. Turn off the motion blur, you're making me sick. So what's cool about this place is that if you're as indecisive as me about what to I'm order, the chef will create something I'm incredibly indecisive. The they'll ask your dietary restrictions and he'll make something for you. They use charcoal grill, which brings out the best flavor of anything barbecue. And this is caviar over quail egg. Well, I'm not a huge caviar person, but that was just like the softest little quail, soft boiled egg cooked in everything that's good about the ocean. At the same time, smoky and explosive. <laughs> this is Australian Wagyu he's chopping up, and it's so cool because you can see everything happening right in front of you. There's not a boring moment. So it's great if you're on a day or something. I would love to have, have that as my issue. Just enjoy the show. Second, 21st is World. Uh, flat, what is it? The white on top is fish roll and uh, sourdough bread puree. Problems, 21st World, whatever. You know what I mean. Wow, Word, phrases, the idioms, they're not working for me right now. I'm tired. Onions and dill. I've been tired, like, with just a for years. <laughs> it's creamy, slightly sour. You definitely get to I think it's more accurate to say that just my brain doesn't work anymore. Like and that's okay. Who the fuck needs a brain, am I right? Other people seem to be getting by just fine without one. Hey. <laughs> As I'm dragging this chicken around, you can see all the juice that's leaving behind on the stone plate. First world problem. Thank you. My brain kept thinking 21st century problem, and I don't know why. Was just the amount of smoke that was in there. Again, that char brings a slight hint of bitterness to it. And that chicken, as I expected, any juicier, that would be chicken soup. This is meal over bone marrow. Look at this. This couple of pieces of buttery Ooh. fat. Sesame seeds, green onions. I thought those were sliced the bananas. Not gonna lie. White toast, which they bake the toast here themselves. Bon appetito. Bon appetit. 
They should call that dish snowman in the summer because all that thing does is melts. They eel. Found it right until you mentioned it was not. <laughs> yeah, I have a habit of that. Could have played it off. Shit. <laughs> because it's just as soft as the ingredients on top. That bite basically melted my heart away. This is my touchy mushroom with uh, soy cured egg yolk on white porridge. Eating that, it's like watching that part of the Lion King where Mufasa died. I think I got tears in my eyes. Mushroom is delicate, grilled to absolute freaking perfection. So you gotta change up texture here from the crunchy mushrooms to the creamy kanji and yolk. Mm. Transcendent. Kanji's okay. Not my favorite. This is ultimate. King crab, white truffle on top, butter. So this is what they were cooking over the charcoal at the beginning of the meal. So you got capers, scallions, and alba white truffle on top. There's a little lemon juice on top. Hail to the king. I just had a piece of the crab meat, and even that on its own, without the papers, it's just the sweetest, juiciest piece of crab meat. This thing is soaked in butter, but it's not greasy. It's just the perfect amount of flavor and creaminess. The truffle brings such an earthy flavor to this dish. The capers does a great job of bringing another dimension of flavor, that sourness to this buttery king crab. So every bite is never boring. So we got pork loin with homemade ramen sauce, a little bit How of dare you? Then, how dare you? Australian Wagyu. <laughs> And you got the it makes me mad the that they give you well. those teeny ass wagyu. two slices, probably for like 50 bucks. <sighs> I'm offended. It's because we're high end. No, because you're a piece of shit and you upcharge this everything. Melting your mouth type of pork. There's a lot of chew, and I'm glad because every bite. It's like the flavor doubles. So clean, juicy, and melty, slightly gelatinous. And the sweetness of the raisin sauce highlights the nice, porky flavor of the bacon. I don't think I could ever go to a high-class restaurant like that. I would be very, like, not only uncomfortable, but, like, this is like the food equivalent hungry, even after eating. The way they cook this, there's so much smoke, and that makes this so much better. And there's fatty pieces here as well. I guess the burnt ends, if you will. <laughs> I love this so very much. It just tastes char and smoke and then just fatty liquid gold. I can't get over how good this steak is. This thing tastes better than most kisses I've had in my life. Last dish, and this is a roasted pineapple sabayon. I got it because the guy sitting next to me, he took one bite and he started going crazy. He's like, this is the greatest thing. I've ever had in my life. Of course, I had to get it. So this is roasted pineapple. The sabayon is basically eggs, and they whisk it over steaming hot water. God, this is beautiful. If you think your life's complete, not yet. You need to have a five wagyu steak, and then you need to come and try this. Roasted pineapple, first of all. That's already marvelous. The egg and custard is so light and creamy and it's accented by the citrus flavor of the pineapple chocolate fondant with smoked ice cream and they smoke it for six hours oh look at that river of chocolate you can see the smoke floating on top of the ice cream Oh, this absolutely. I'd 100% be complaining I that I wasn't getting enough food. Like, I need I had were very a lot more food place, than they provide. I like way more than one Michelin star. Because supposedly Michelin star, one is pretty good, two you should make a detour for, three you should come specifically for. I feel like you should come Smoked ice cream? Yeah, they place. have that. I like most of my meals to be very Tempura ice cream, smoked ice cream, really fried ice cream. dinners I've ever had in my life, this is by far the best. Look how ridiculous this is. It looks like something that should be deciding which house kids go to in Hogwarts. It's an orange cinnamon marshmallow. Oh. 
Oh, I so like this thing is the ultimate <laughs> marshmallow that should be sitting between a graham cracker and a piece of chocolate. I feel like that would be too much, considering it apparently has sugar, so it caramelizes. So this Michelin star adventure is off to a deliciously fabulous start. I gotta go home and hibernate, but we'll continue tomorrow. Hey, good morning. This next place I'm going good to, night. I, I filmed it a little bit on my <laughs> vlog channel um, a long time ago. I want to give it another try. This is a Michelin star noodle. And there's always a line. Don't be fooled. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of people online. But this is going to be a day. <laughs> so while you're waiting in line, there's a guy over there. Did you guys have a good day? I got mm -hmm. everything on the menu. <laughs> it's only like five things. I think I remember this being the, my favorite from last time. They have different types of meat in here. Minced pork, sliced pork, you know, crackles of fish, liver, crackles, wontons, fish crackles. I love them. Eggy noodles soaked in what I remember. I love crunchy, crunchy, sauce. salty and this is favorite. The soup version and it's served with rice noodles. Did went for a nice walk in the woods. Nice. Oh, my way, boyfriend does it I've often whenever he needs to seat. and. He always sends me pictures of the flowers and stuff. And it's nice. I to come here again for a of feel like I'm going one. on a walk with him. This represents the other <laughs> spectrum of the Michelin scene in Singapore. I mean, there's also Hawker Chan Chicken. I did a review on that already on this channel, so I'm not going to go there again. But this country is one of the few places in the world where a stall like this can receive global recognition. I'm just going to dig into these noodles first because I don't want them getting soggy. So, same thing in here as you will find in the dry noodles. Wontons, meatballs, pork, kidney. It's just a soup version. A little mix of pork and seafood flavor. It's a pretty mild soup. The chilies actually make a huge difference. Otherwise, I feel like the flavor could be a bit not exciting. The flavor of the broth has not sinked into these noodles. You have to eat them with a scoop of soup. Otherwise, it's a little bland. The meatball is really nice and bouncy. Love the meatball. A little vinegar and a little soy sauce. Much better. This is one of those noodles. You kind of just got to mix all the ingredients in and eat it all together. But overall, the flavor is a little too one dimensional for me. And that's why I got an extra meatballs and soup. Got an awesome extra meatballs. In. Actually, the soup from the meatball is a lot more flavorful than the soup from this noodle dish. Flower season is starting. I need to read my book on edible plants again. Oh, edible pants. This is a lot better now. Mm. These are egg noodles, same ingredients. I don't recommend pork, wearing them, spices, but. Liver, <laughs> and I remember this being the better of the two noodles. Dandelions are one of the most common edible flowers. They're very good as a, as a tea. This is your thing. But you can I just like eat them soup. outright, I think. Very I double check that, nice but I'm pretty flavor. sure. I love the organy of this from the liver, and the crunchy fish works here much better than it's working in the noodle soup. I think I made a mistake. I don't think I should have done this. I think out of everything I've had, my favorite thing are these meatballs. These are fantastically delicious porky meatballs. And another reason I wanted to come back here was that Last I'm the first time eating here. My impression was it's good. It's a solid noodle place, but I don't feel like it's really worth the super long wait. In every place that's very popular and I get that kind of feeling, I want to come back and try it again. Just to make sure like I'm not mistaking or maybe the first time I ate there, um, there was just something off. So I've been wanting to come back and try this again. And I think my assessment is pretty much the same as the first time. These are good bowls of noodles. I would love to have them again, but I wouldn't wait an hour or two hours for it. Again, just my own personal opinion. You might eat here and feel completely different. And if you've never been here, I really encourage you to come try it out for yourself. I mean, a food stall getting a Michelin star, that's not an easy thing. And I'm very happy for how well this shop is doing. All right, I gotta finish up because I'm heading to another Michelin star restaurant. And this place is known for one of my favorite dishes in the world. Only problem is it's booked out for two weeks and uh, hopefully from the blessing of the food gods, I can actually get a table. I've been wanting to try out this restaurant forever. Shinsen Haten. This is a, a chain actually from Japan, but this location has two Michelin stars and they're known for, like I said, one of my favorite dishes in the world, the Mapo Tofu. This is food wars all over again. The Mapo Tofu here 
is supposed to be exceptional. I mean, it's a traditional dish. I'm always curious to see like who can make a traditional dish that's been around for, I don't know, over a thousand years and make it even better without making it into some sort of fusion thing. And apparently that's what they did here. Can't wait to try this. And I feel bad um, wearing this because uh, I actually had on a nicer shirt this morning, but then on my way to my first food location, I was drinking a bubble tea and spilled it all over the shirt. So this is the only thing I had in my bag as a backup. But if you do come here, <laughs> Dress, dress nicer than this. And there's usually two ways to make this dish. One is without the breading on the chicken. Uh, so this one is breaded first, fried, you see the peppercorn, chili, scallions, garlic all over it. If you want it spicier, just give it a stir. There's more chilies on the bottom. First impression, very well fried. Oh. It's probably the most sophisticated Chongqing spicy chicken I've ever tasted. Perfectly crispy with a hint of sweetness. Usually it's not in this dish, but it's not overwhelming, very subtle. And it kind of does a lot to highlight the other flavors as well. This is the same thing I had in the Philippines. It's basically really thin noodle wrapped around a crispy shrimp and mango filling with mayonnaise on top. A little caviar. Mm, this is so good. This thing is so light and crunchy inside. Just the most tender piece of shrimp coated with creamy mayonnaise. This is a pork dumpling without... You're a pork dumpling. Wrapper. I'm a pork dumpling. Mm. No, I'm Came beef stew or tofu, beef braised curry. Something that may be even better. We may just have to anoint this to king of all dumplings. I am shocked <laughs> at how good this is. This is some transcendent flavored dumpling. And just gonna dip it in a little bit of hot sauce and see what happens. It's the Kurabuda pork. Just think about how good regular pork tastes in dumplings. Now switch that for the king of all pork. And when you take a bite, first impression, you're like, hmm, this dumpling is way too mushy on the inside. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the Cinderella of all dumplings. That is such a beautiful bowl of tanda noodles. If you see that on the dating website, you'd be swiping right for sure. Miraculous things happen when you have a Japanese restaurant create a bowl of dandan noodles. The aroma that's floating from this, it just screams Sichuan. Peppercorn, chilies, scallions. So besides checking off all the boxes of what a great bowl of dandan tastes like, it has to be very nummy, spicy. I know there's different types of dandan. Some are a little soupier than others, but for me, mine's gotta be saucy and dry and, and not too much just soup. What kind of blows all the other dandan noodles out of the water is that they make their own noodles here. The springiest, chewiest, al dente noodles, cooked it and made it into a dandan dish. Oh man, that mapa tofu is a sizzling. This dish is usually never sizzling when it comes to the table. Oh my god, it's like stirring into the world's most delicious volcano. Oh man, look at that. You see how soft the tofu is right away. Red, green, white tofu. So incredibly saucy and thick. This is the consistency you want your mapa tofu to be. And you cannot have mapa tofu without rice. This goes together like a horse and carriage. Oh, that's good. That is a great bowl of mapa tofu. It just tastes luxurious. It tastes like the finest soak in the land. Because one thing I love about mapa tofu is that I want it to be saucy, I want the tofu to be silk and soft, but also I want the taste to linger on my tongue. And that's what the numbing portion of this dish does. Another box that this dish is supposed to check off is the Chinese word guoying, which means it's, it, it satisfies a huge <laughs> Go on and get yourself the food. Spot, it's important. And this thing get yourself definitely fed. hits the spot. I'll still be here. Every spot, every spot you want is gonna hit it. I can see why this place Hope is get some good it's though. Beautiful, beautiful restaurant. The environment, ambiance is great. The staff is so incredibly friendly. Usually at a 
fancy schmancy restaurant cooking very traditional dishes. Most of the time, it's not gonna taste as good, but this place, they didn't do anything crazy to the dishes. They just made the traditional Sichuan dishes shine on their own. I think my favorite thing in this meal is the dandan noodles. That was just, I mean, I'm still reeling from that dish. And then mapo tofu just made perfectly. I mean, it's the mapo tofu all other mapo tofu wants to be when they grow up. Pork dumplings, oh, overall, just a great place. I think of the three Michelin restaurants I've been to, I love Fernand's and I love this place. It's, it's completely different menu items. Burnt Inn in this place really just exceeded my expectations. And even Hawker Chan, the cheapest Michelin star meal in the world, it's a pretty good meal for like $3. That's what makes Singapore's Michelin star scene so uniquely fun and interesting is not only do they have like, you know, the really posh restaurants, but also the cheapest meal. Of course, Hill Street noodles kind of missed a mark for me a bit, but overall, this was such a fun food adventure. So 100% recommend this place, Burns Inn. Check it out. All the information for all the places I went to is, of course, in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, bye. Hmm. Let's see. There's nothing but food videos and two all <laughs> live video options. Oh, God. Well, you know what I do in my spare time. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like you watch maybe two or four of his videos and all of your recommended is his videos. <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing. I just don't know if you guys want to keep watching food videos because, um, it's all I do. I'm very boring. I stream, I maybe eat, I maybe take a shower sometimes, I'll read majority of the time, I might do some art, and then I go to bed. <laughs> I'm boring. So sorry. Uh... <laughs> I know these are wind-down hours, but I feel like I should be doing something else. <sighs> if anything, they're educational at the very least. Let's see. Pizza in Italy. Since we're getting a pizza tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Hello from Rome. This has been an incredible trip to Italy so far. My first time. It's just such an amazing country. Beautiful people, and of course, super, super delicious food. And uh, I actually just got into Rome um, no less than 20 minutes ago. I'm starving. All I had to eat this morning was a croissant, but I wanted my first meal here in Rome to be some Roman pizza. And coming to Italy, I knew that there were two locations where pizza reigns supreme, Rome and Napoli, and they are completely different from each other. So I'm gonna go and find out and taste the difference for myself. Let's go pizza in. I get off the bus to eat pizza, and this is what I'm greeted with. This is the National Monument in dedication to Victor Emmanuel II. And it is majestic. This whole square is just so, so Reminds me beautiful. of... Almost made me forget about the pizza for a second. Washington, D.C. Okay, almost, actually. Set. Gotta go get some food. Then I'll there was a big area before. like this when right, I went to go visit place, some friends. Across the street from an ancient square. And next to an already can eat Chinese restaurant. I'm here at Pizza Florida. So a lot of the pizza places in Rome are very casual. You go in for lunch, you just grab these rectangular slices. They cut for you with scissors and they usually sell it to you by weight. And I could be in trouble because my, my, my pizza will probably weigh a lot. So here, all the pizza, different types of flavors. Now, Roman pizza has way less rules than Neo Neapolitan pizza. So there could be all different types of flavors. So there could be all different types of toppings. 
Yeah, I'll take the margarita. Um, I'll take a slice of anchovies too. <laughs> French fries and mushrooms. Nothing good. makes That's me happier. That looks great too. So margarita. The biggest distinction between this and Neapolitan is going to be the crust. The dough is like medium to thin crust. In this pizza, they add the olive oil. That's why you get the crispy crust. And of course, Neapolitan pizza, that is not added. And this is definitely a huge variety of, of flavors. Just start with the basic margarita. I don't know if it's because I'm like super hungry. But this is so, this is really good. I don't know if you guys can hear the crunch. With a slight bit of char, and you can taste a little bit of the fragrance of the olive oil. I mean, the color of the bottom of this pizza, that's absolutely perfect. The margarita slice, cheese is fresh. Tomatoes slightly sweet. It's not a fancy pizza by any means, but the dough is crunchy. It's robust. It's fairly light. It's just a simple, no nonsense, but incredibly airy, delicious slice of pizza. I mean, it doesn't look like much. We're cutting it and toasting it in the oven, so I figured that the dough might be a little hard, might be a little overcooked. Not the case whatsoever. Oh, this should make everything better. This is the anchovy slice. Never had anchovy pizza before in my life. Actually, the first time I ever heard of anchovies on pizza was in the Ninja Turtles movie when Michelangelo threatened the pizza guy. I mean, I love anchovies, but probably just because I've seen that movie, I just never want anchovies on my pizza. That's Ninja Turtle influence. Mm. Same crunchy margarita slice. Little bits of saltiness sitting on a bit of cheese. Oh. I can't believe Michelangelo made me miss out on this thing for all those years. These are little cherry tomatoes with uh, chili, then no cheese. I love how I said all those years, but that is probably the most recent style of tootin' me oh, nature needle teetles. <laughs> the pizza dough, without any cheese, it just highlights how crispy and chewy this pizza dough is. This is so interesting. Potato and mushroom pizza. Yeah. Keep your mushrooms. I'll take the potato though. That's probably not my favorite slice. The flavor is a bit um, one dimensional. This is the pizza I'm most excited about tuna pizza. Tuna? This is my favorite one. I'm sure this is probably a personal preference. This is so wonderful. I'm about to cry right now. It's like a tuna salad on top of the pizza. A little arugula, a little bit of tomatoes, and I don't know whether it's because I love tuna salad with a passion, but this is creamy. It's got tons of tuna. The dough is doing its beautiful thing. That is such a beautiful crunching this sound like a though. tuna melt pizza with fresh veggies. And this, this is my favorite slice today. I could eat a whole pie of this. Mm. Oh, the tomatoes. Those tomatoes are so fresh and sweet. So good. There's so many things I love about this pizza. Not just this tuna pizza, but the Roman style pizza in general. I love the crispiness of this crust. You know, though it's not like super thin crust, it's not thick, kind of medium thickness, but it's, you see those air pockets? It's so, so airy. And then I'm just falling hit over heels with all the crazy toppings. I mean, margarita, simple, delicious. The tuna, that's something I'll remember for the rest of my life. Pizza round two. Um, had to sell some bacon, so I had to get some bacon. Porcini mushrooms is the most popular type of mushrooms in Italy. I love these mushrooms. I'm and drooling. Course, I just had to wipe my mouth, and it took me a second fish. to be like, oh, I'm actually drooling. <laughs> this is cream cheese on this slice of pizza. All right, I, I think I figured out the rule for a Roma style pizza. You get the crust right, you get it perfect, then with the toppings, just go crazy. Those are so creative. Mm. But heck yeah, does this ever work? And you guys can see right here the bounciness of the crust. You see that? Like a little pizza crust trampoline. And this is the end part of the pizza. Don't be afraid to get an edge slice. Just got off the train at Naples, the mecca of pizza. I can almost smell it in the air. Of course, Naples is really known for Neapolitan pizza, which is like completely 
completely different than the pizza I had back in Rome. So right now I'm going to a couple places that was recommended to me, and one of them opens at 9 a.m. Yeah, pizza for breakfast. Pizza places, and my first stop is here. Di Matteo. Apparently this is one of Clinton's favorite pizza places. When you're eating Neapolitan pizza, you gotta go for the buffalo mozzarella. Neapolitan pizza is, is crazy because it's the only pizza in the world that is regulated by, by almost a police-like entity called the VPN. And it regulates the pizza size, it regulates the topping, it regulates the oven that is cooked in, the heat of the oven, how long the pizza is cooked. We're gonna time this. And it came out of the oven exactly one minute. This is it. True Neapolitan pizza, right in the heart, right in Naples. This is like eating pizza at its home base. I got one margarita with buffalo mozzarella. This is, Yay! of course, you have to get this any place you go. That's a beautiful and margarita. See, it's kind of soupy and centered. And this is what you should expect with good Neapolitan pizza. And I got a second one because they asked me if I like meat, and of course I said yes and this appeared in front of me. As I mentioned in, in my New York pizza video, there are a lot of rules. If you wanna make a pizza that can be called a true Neapolitan pizza, it has to use specific ingredients. In this case, this cheese topping must be buffalo mozzarella. The olive oil used must be extra virgin. And all the ingredients must be from the Campania region of Italy. And like I mentioned, you need a customized oven. The oven must be wood-fired. The air temperature needs to be around 800 degrees, and it has to cook in under two minutes. And this one, as we saw, cooked in exactly one minute. This is completely different than, than a typical New York pizza. Obviously, you can't cut this into slices and, and fold it and eat it. It's, it's not gonna fold right because the tip, as you can see here, it's just wet and full of sauce ingredients. So this is one of the pizzas in the world you gotta eat with a fork and knife. The dough, look at this, it's, it's just like a, a soft, airy bread. And it's kind of have almost like a, like a kind of like a leopard print on the bottom, slightly charred in certain areas, and the crust, airy, almost melting your mouth. You get that slight taste of bitterness, which goes perfect with the sweet tomatoes. Oh, I'm probably not even cutting this right. Neapolitan pizza in Naples. This is like a foodie's dream right here. This is like one of the ultimate bucket list if you're a pizza lover, and I'm about to check it off mine. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe how good true Neapolitan pizza is. The dough, I can't believe that's pizza dough. It just tastes like a really, really tender piece of bread with a slight bitterness from the char, counterbalanced perfectly by the sweet, sweet tomatoes. The buffalo mozzarella, which I feel like they actually pour more on the pizza for you than in New York, is much milkier and creamier than any of the pizzas I've had before. Basil is so aromatic, the most delicious dough that I will happily wrap any food in. And see here, all the air bubbles. This is a sign that this pizza is cooked in an incredibly hot oven. And this helps produce a super airy crust. And the part where it's considered wet, I feel like this is the best part of the pizza. Here the dough is basically in a dance of love with the tomatoes and basil and cheese. And this to me, this is my favorite bite right here. Get a piece of the basil in there. Seriously, I'll tell you guys. I thought Neapolitan pizza was good when I had it in New York. I mean, I went to some of the best Neapolitan pizza places in New York. Saying it doesn't hold a candle to this would be too much of a compliment. It doesn't even come close to the flavor of this pizza. Mm. Also, this pizza, it's not even filling me up. This is the meat pie right here. This is obviously is not a traditional pizza. Slices of tomatoes, bacon, it looks like ricotta cheese, and a ton of mozzarella. <sighs> she did not guide me around here. Mm. The dough has the same wonderful chewy texture. I like the burst of sweetness from the tomatoes. I'll tell you what, guys. I like this pizza. Love the meat, but I still prefer the original. Come here, get the margarita with the buffalo cheese. It's gonna make your pizza-loving heart explode a little bit. All right, I'm gonna finish this up, but there's a couple more pizzerias I'm dying to try on the street. That was a pizza meal for the ages. My, my pizza bar is officially way up here right now. Um, the next place I'm going to is, is, is an institution. Oh my 
God has had the scare of my lifetime. Um, came here at 12.30, this place opens at 12. And this is my like number one targeted place coming into Naples. And then they told me it was sold out. Like, I couldn't get in. And then <laughs> I think I just stood out there with the saddest puppy dog look in my eyes, like just staring at the pizza oven. And they, 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 and they let me in and they gave me the last table here. Oh. Counting my lucky stars right now. Okay, I was just gonna get the margarita, but the waitress, um, who is so nice, she also recommended that I get the Esserina, which is smoked mozzarella, ricotta cheese, salami, black pepper, and basil. But I had at the other place, but whatever. Hey, I'm not gonna turn down a recommendation. Ah, thank you so much. Got my two pizzas. I just ate a couple of pizzas. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how excited I am still. Look at this, perfect. Honestly Buffalo though, <laughs> me. <laughs> you can smell. If I was on a train of eating different places margarita pizzas, I would, I could die happy. <laughs> but not until I ate them all, of course. Of the yeast from the pizza dough. I feel like after a bite, you gotta just soak all that deliciousness in. Like take a moment, let it wash all over you. The mozzarella, just as creamy, just as milky. I feel like taking this bite, just like seeing the Colosseum for the first time, walking by Duomo, you just know, you're in Italy. And this pie is very different from the last one I ate at. There's obviously less tomatoes on this pizza, so it's, it's less sweet, less soupy, but much more olive oil. The olive oil flavor is sort of pronounced, like I can really taste the olive oil. I feel like the crushed is airier, it's softer, and it's got a more fragrant flavor. Personally, I really love all the tomatoes um, from the last pizza, and I almost wish there's more of it on this pizza, but this dough is absolutely perfect. Even eating it on its own, and I think it just melts. My second pizza, Esterina. Again, beautiful crushed. There's some ricotta cheese on here, some salami. It looks like some zucchini uh, with a black pepper. Ooh, it's nice and crunchy as well. Oh, man. You get a huge hit of pepper. That's a lot of pepper on here. Just look at that dough. You can hear a lot of pepper. Virgin olive oil. Chicken noodle pepper. and garlic bread? Oh. Please tell me you have, like, butter coated over that garlic bread. And if you do, please share. I love nothing more than a hot baguette of garlic bread with the butter smeared no, on top of it. But I feel like it was, the toppings were kind of heavy. Um, it was okay, it wasn't the greatest, but this, they did this pizza right. I mean, love the crunch from the little zucchinis. The black peppers give it that slight spice, slight little crunch from the salami as well, and then nice porky flavor. <sighs> oh, hot as cheese. Heck yeah. There should be a movie called It's a Wonderful Pizza starring this guy right here. I don't know how to do Yay, it. Yay, I would love that. I'm not overwhelmed <laughs> by the of it. For some reason, it doesn't I feel want, heavy at all. I want, I want bread. I think also one reason um, for the pizza is not feeling heavy. I really wish I could do cooking dough. streams because I would love like, to just, just make things so airy and then and just chewy. have them while we're doing so much, the stream. Like, like just some like garlic there. bread. This is really or the pizza experience. peanut butter pizza bread, experience. zucchini so bread. Um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. And a as meal. I was leaving, the owner also told me, uh, as far as I can understand, because he was trying to speak Italian, I'm, I'm speaking English. He tells me this dough takes 40 hours to prepare, and that's what makes it so special and so chewy. And you can definitely tell that dough is something special. All right, I'm gonna walk around um, Pizza Alley over here, and then on this pizza tour, I still got one more place to try. And what's also really cool is that you can get a pizza to go if you don't want to sit down. And this is also a really popular pizzeria, Del Presidente. So <laughs> I want to see what it's I like. I would love to do nothing to more than one, I want to just a fuck ton of cooking. Two, just one more pizza before I leave. Settle here. down, one do a mukbang maybe. Before I probably just eat my food, scroll through before. Twitter, oh, oh, chat with I you guys. Like a I really hope that I can get enough money to get a decent like place so I can do that. It, I want nothing more than that. So good. Let's go. Already I can smell the basil and tomatoes. <laughs> That's a soupy pizza, but come on. Ugh. This beautiful pie for three fifty. You can only find that deal here. Mm. Oh, also one thing. Uh, I forgot to mention about the colors of the margarita pizza. Green, red, and white. The three colors on this pizza also symbolize uh, the three colors in the Italian flag. Making this probably the most delicious example of patriotism. Um, 
I kind of don't know what to do now. I told you I was expecting like a, like a folded pizza. So this is, man, you know what? Don't think less of me, please. Never. Tell me that tomato sauce doesn't make you want to beg for mercy right now. Hmm. I'll beg mm, for something. In an alley in Naples, the pizza. <laughs> Absolutely I didn't want that to come out of my mouth because of the cut of the way it could be taken, but to clarify, I, I'm begging for the pizza. Much more efficient. All right, like I said, one more piece of flesh, but we're going to go back to Rome for that. My last uh, pizza restaurant in Italy. This one, La Protolina. It's a sit-down pizza place, and like I said, I tried to get a reservation, and it took me like two days, so let's go get some pizza. Reserves, 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 reserves. I'm really looking forward to this now. First page of the menu. This is a very popular place. A lot of attention is paid to the maturation of the dough. Good. Aged minimal 48 hours, wow. Olive oil, little calories, and little spoons. Lower, whoa, that's great. Emiliana, this, this you think is the best pizza? Wild boar mozzarella, oh sweet. Yes, and the pistachio. Pistachio? Pesto of pistachio? Yes. Yes, I will take this. Okay. 100%. Emiliana? Yes, and then one more. The second is you're recommending Geno Genovese. Yes. Pesto buffalo mozzarella. Oh, that looks great. So this is Roman style pizza freshly made. The only problem I had at Florida's was that it wasn't like freshly made pizza. They reheated it. It was still great. But this, I'm getting this straight from the oven. I'm so excited. Guys, you gotta check out my pizza right now. So right here, I got the Emiliana, which is wild boar mortadella. We got mozzarella, cavallo cheese, and pistachio pesto. So this is the wild boar. Let's I'm not too up. fond of pistachio, oh, but I love pesto, so I wonder how it would be. Cheese. Can you look this up a little bit? Oh, there it is. Pistachio pesto. I never seen pistachio pesto before. What a treat. And then on this side, I got the Genovese pesto buffalo mozzarella, my favorite. Ch raw cherry tomatoes and ham. Thinly slices of ham, almost translucent. Oh, raw cherry tomatoes. So the cherry juice is just popping all over this pizza. So Roman pizza, the distinction is their crust is gonna hey, be- I took you one of everything. <laughs> Let me just tuck the cheese and the pistachio pesto back in here. Time to dig in. I, I feel like I've been watching the previews for, for a much anticipated movie I've been wanting to see for like 10 times straight. Finally, main attraction, let's get to it. it smells incredible. I don't know if you just felt the love that was shooting through my eyes. This you just look like you're mad. Emotional right now. Or you're constipated. One of the two. I have two. no idea where pistachio pesto has been all my life, but now that's in my life, I'm not letting it go. By the way, this is the most melt in my mouth, crunchy pizza crust I've been into here in Italy. Gotta see the crunch, right? That's magical. This thing should have its own Vegas magic show. The crust. So I much love. Like album of love songs. There. <laughs> When I put that in my mouth, I swear I hear angels singing. This is the most crunchy slash melty piece of crust I've had in Italy so far. Melting your mouth doesn't even begin to describe this. You did get that nice flavor of olive oil. It's the most amazing pizza. Yeah? Really? Amazing. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. Sorry. All right, I gotta get into the <laughs> My keyboard fell it. onto me. I need to get a new one. The little sticky thing that's supposed to be on the back mm. that like holds it up higher on the back right uh the, the same time, one on the right fell like off and now it no longer holds funny. very well but it's happening it's a love story that can endure the ages let me try this again oh, that's a beautiful trifecta you got the porky salty fragrant ham hard crust just a little bit of pesto the creaminess of the buffalo mozzarella with the sweet juice of the cherry tomatoes this pizza will haunt my dreams and my memories till the day I come back and eat it again. Mm. Pistachio pesto, seriously, if you never had it, 
Oh God, you need to have it. It's nutty, fragrant, a bit creamy. Oh, there's certain foods you'll meet in life and it's not, it doesn't happen a lot, okay? It happens every once in a while. When you take a bite and without just even realizing what it tastes like, the emotions hit you, you know what I'm saying? Like when you see someone you're destined to fall in love with, like you get the feels, you get the butterflies, everything, everything, you feel it before you taste it. I'll tell you guys this right now. If you are in Rome and you miss out on this pizza, that's one massive food regret, I promise you. I really wish like I somehow could have got into this restaurant first night I was here when I tried to get a reservation because I would have ate here every single day. My last bite. Excuse me one second, let me check something. I'm just checking whether it's legal to marry a pizza because I wanna be with it always. It is over way too soon. Make a brick oven I feel like pizza, at least from twice, ham? One of the highlights of my I wish you good luck. I tried I'd love to see it if you post pictures at all. Melty crust and array of toppings to the brick ovens are lovely. Delicate Neapolitan pies. And to end my journey here tonight, man, I wish I could hit the repeat button and do all of it over again, but what a great way to end this trip. My favorite Neapolitan pizza. I have to break this one down because crust, I love sorbillos, but I love all the sweet tomatoes and creamy buffalo mozzarella that Di Matteo put on their pizza. And again, it's far better far better than any Neapolitan pizza I've had in New York or anywhere else outside of Italy. And finally, Roman style pizza, you gotta come here. I mean, hit up Florida pizza, grab a slice of tuna, that's my favorite thing there. It's cheap, it's convenient, it's tasty. Then come here and just have the Roman pizza of your dreams. Because guys, in the world of pizza, this is a gladiator. All right guys, I, I gotta take off, go to bed, got early flight tomorrow, but thank you all so much for watching this video. All the places I went to is of course listed for you in my description box below. And again, by the time you're watching this, I'm not in Italy anymore. If you wanna know where I am full time, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, it's listed right here in the description box below. Hello. Thank you all so much. I wasn't expecting the ding. See you later. Yes, please send me pictures. Ding. Alrighty. I am very tired today. Um, <laughs> It's been a long, long subathon and it's only been five days already. I'm not very much used to it. Um. How about we do something a little different before we go to bed today? Um, how about we try some yoga before bed? Something to get our blood moving a little bit because I've just been mostly sitting and laying down majority of the time. When I do get up, it's to go to the bathroom or to grab something quick out of pantry or whatever it is that my uh, landlord wants to give me. Um... So how about how about we do some yoga or something? Some some relaxing exercising thing. For beginners. Fifteen minute calming yoga stress relief. Okay. Let me set down my tablet. Oh I don't know. Break it accidentally. There we go. You're down? Okay. Give me like two minutes to make some space for me to uh, do some yoga and then I'll start the video.
Okay. Hello. I have given myself some room. I could probably scoot this recliner back a little bit more. Yeah. I am now on the floor. Hello. Move this over here. I don't have like um a yoga mat or anything. I could go borrow my landlord's, but I'd really rather not. I don't mind just doing it on the floor. Alright. Let's do this stress relief one. Welcome to the 15 minute yoga for stress relief and flexibility routine. This video will calm you down and stretch you out. So let's get started in a belly shavasana on our mats. Come to lie down on your belly. Turn your head to one side, arms down by your sides, palms facing up, and let your ankles fall open. Completely and totally relax. Been hard to do with the headset. This means your eyelids soften. I turn my head this way. Your jaw releases. Shoulders roll open. Upper back rolls open. And as you breathe, notice how your belly presses into the mat, gently massaging out your back. Without moving anything else, just lift your head and turn to switch which ear is down on the mat. Sorry for any noises. Any and all sensation within this pose. As we explore deeper postures throughout this class, remember that it's not about pushing or straining to get a deeper stretch within the pose. It's about relaxing and trusting your body listening and honoring your body by finding a range of sensation that you can still breathe into. So even in these first couple of postures, practice that. Relax, breathe, and just let go. From here, Turn your chin to center, plant your hands underneath your shoulders, and take your time as you press up and back into extended child's pose. Separate your knees as wide as comfortable, and then relax. Shoulders drop, face softens, and come back to your breath. Allow each inhale to become a little deeper, and each exhale a little longer. Make your way to downward facing dog and feel free to pedal out your legs or take any other movement that serves you. As the postures get more intense, remember to relax any unnecessary tension from your eyelids to your jaw, shoulders and hands, down through your hips to your toes. Bring your right knee towards your right wrist at the top of your mat and lay your shin flat on the mat, right ankle working its way up towards your left wrist. It doesn't matter that your shin is parallel to the top of your mat. That might happen someday. Right now, huh? what matters is oh. that your hips are still square. I was to the like, top what? So you're not shifting your hips open and sitting on your right hip. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> so finding the half pigeon that serves you, walk your hands forward and lower down onto your forearms or even all the way down onto the mat. You can do it sideways, that's fine. Just to breathe, to let go, and to soften.
great. Walk your hands up towards your hips as you make your way back to your downward facing dog. Let's set up the left side. Half pigeon, bring your left knee towards your left wrist, your left ankle towards your right wrist, or anywhere in between. As long You're going as a little right fast there. Right Maybe stay at downward dog for a second. <laughs> Take your time as you walk your hands forward, slowly lowering down. I'm putting my leg to the side, minute, and it kind of is still a little extra stretched out to the point where it hurts a little. So I'm... I'm doing the best I can. Remember, just don't strain yourself. Do whatever feels the best in the closest manner that you can get. I like to feel a little bit of that stretch, that pull on my thigh, because I'm, I know I don't move around enough. And I, I want to know that those muscles are still being used in some way, but I don't want to hold it forever. So I just carefully lift up my leg just a touch to where my knee is not incredibly touching the ground. It's just hovering over it lightly. Just enough to where I no longer feel that stretching feeling. And I feel like that's enough. Of course, I have now some rise. extra issues with my knees, so... Coming back into your down dog or tabletop. Gently and mindfully, take a seat on your heels, hands in your lap, close your eyes, find your breath, and ground down. Oh, I can't sit on my knees like that. I'll butterfly. Like I was saying, um, I get Charlie horses in my kneecaps to where it like, it essentially pops out of the joint and I have to wait for it to like eventually move back in and it's incredibly painful. And I don't think you guys want to hear me screaming bloody murder. welcome to give a gentle bend to your knees if it allows you to walk your hips out from underneath you. So, doing everything I can to prevent it. Then inhale to lengthen your spine. And exhale to hinge from your hips to fold your long That's what happens to you? I've never met anybody else that that happens to. I'm so not happy that you have to deal with it, but I'm glad you know what I'm talking about. Hi, Khaleesi. Good to see you. We're doing some restful, mindful yoga before bed. Because I've been doing nothing but sitting on my damn chair all the so, time and then laying in bed. You come to lie down on your back for a full wing pose. With your hands on your shins, hold your thighs towards your chest and feel your lower back relax. She said hands on her shins, but they're on her knees? Oh, I guess Shin would be, like, th the front of the calf. That makes sense. I can't see chat very well right now, so... Bear in mind that if you're saying something and For you want me to respond, I might not be able to. Straight, long, down on the mat. And then adding a twist, extend your right arm straight out from your side, Using your left hand, pull your knee across your body. Huh? Oh, I see. Relax into place. And feel your inhales lengthening out your right side body. Exhales allow you to soften further into the twist.
Make your way back to center and pull both knees in for full wind pose. Take a big breath in and out. Then switch sides. Extend your right leg long down on the mat. Reach your left arm straight up from your side. Then pull your knee across your body into your deep spinal twist. Focus more on your breath than on the stretch. And trust your body to just melt into place. Inhales lengthening your left side body. Exhale softening and melting deeper into the mat. and make your way back to center. Pull both knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your legs and squeeze yourself in nice and tight. Even tuck your chin using every last ounce of energy that you have. Then take a really big inhale, even one more sip at the top of that inhale. And exhale, release into your final Shavasana. Extend your legs long, allow your feet to fall open. I have to be careful. Arms down by your sides. With your palms my, facing up, so your shoulders Power cord open. is at the bottom of my feet. <laughs> Gently close your eyes. They've been closed. And relax all the muscles in your face. Around your eyes. Mouth. <sighs> tongue. And feel your body melt into place. As your muscles soften. And your blood flows. Your skin tingles. I think you should see a doctor if your skin tingles. For the next two minutes before we seal our practice. I'm gonna end up falling asleep if I'm not careful. Which You're I guess to stay here for as was long the point. As you like. But if you are ready to come out now, invite some movement into your fingers and toes. Gently rock your head side to side. Then one at a time, bend your knees and curl up on one side into a fetal position. And sob. Using your hands, press yourself up to a seated position. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> then settle in. Just you fucking call. start bawling. Eyes still closed, and take three more deep breaths that connect you to your body. And thank yourself for committing to your practice and for committing to your body. Thanks. I thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Well, that was nice and relaxing. Well done, Yogi. You know what would be really perfect right now? Not 
not listening to that. <laughs> uh, did some of these yoga classes that I took last semester. It's Kripalu yoga. Kira yoga is do not do it if it hurts. It should never hurt. Lightly pulling is normal though. So where every time we did this in class, it felt like dissociating, but in a good way. Yeah, it, that's basically meditation. It's like acknowledging your thoughts and just letting them go as they come. Not trying to banish each thought as they arrive, but gently acknowledge it and just pass on through the, through the rest of your thoughts. There is no such thing as a clear mind, especially with neurodivergent people. Um, if you have ADHD or autism or anything in that regard, anxiety, depression, it's very hard to even remotely get the idea of an empty head. So the most important thing to do really is to just gently acknowledge each thought and let it go with each breath. I've done yoga very many times in my life. Um, it's it's less that she probably ripped these for her curriculum, though it's always possible. And more, these are the exact terms that you should be using. Um, there's no need to hurt yourself. There's no need to overstretch. This is for your body and not some weird, I don't know, almost toxic masculinity type of overachieving against someone else. There's no competition to it. It's just you and yourself. And you are trying to learn the ins and outs of your body and just honing in on yourself, relaxing yourself. I'm constantly tense. I'm constantly stressed. Now more than ever. I could barely do a lot of the twists and turns that she was doing, much less attempt the hip move that's on screen right now. Um, I can do a pretty good butterfly. I could put the soles of my feet together, uh, knees down on the ground, crawl forward incredibly to the ground and just lay here for hours. It's my favorite position. I used to do it all the time as a kid to the point of where I would actually end up falling asleep like that. <laughs> Um, when I was younger, for some reason, I don't even know where I learned it, but I would often put my right leg over the back of my neck, and I would find that comfortable. I was very proud of it because my parents were always in awe of, like, why are you doing it, and how are you doing that? <laughs> but I've definitely lost that over the years due to joint issues and, um just general decrease in muscle uh, flexibility and whatnot. The hip move is extremely comfortable for you. I'm glad it is. I wish I could do it, but I feel like my knee would absolutely give out if I did that. <laughs> for the one that's going under your body, I didn't even want to attempt just sitting on my knees because the first knee move that she was doing it it definitely felt like i was straining myself so um yeah thanks for doing some yoga with me you guys i know it wasn't very long but you really shouldn't overdo things especially when you're just getting back into them or you're just starting out i feel like we should do this every night from now on if just to give my body some like movement because for the next like two months or so depending on everything i'm probably going to be very sedimentary sitting in my car for hours for traveling um or the u-haul truck that i plan on getting if i can afford it um everything just everything i'm gonna be very sedimentary so yeah. But hey, at least we have this for right now. Future is very uncertain and scary, but yoga is a great way to bring yourself back to the present and mollify that 
extreme distress of just everything that you're afraid of hasn't happened yet. It probably will come soon, but for right now, you're alive and you can take this moment to breathe. Put something under your butt on the side that goes under the body. That's pretty good. I wouldn't be able to do it regardless, though, because as I said before with uh, Red, and apparently he gets that too. Um, this floor is so dirty. I have not vacuumed in a very long time. Um, my knee joints can pop out of their sockets and it's very painful. It's essentially a Charlie horse, but in my kneecaps. And I don't feel like screaming bloody murder after I just got so calm. So, yeah, don't, don't need to do that. <laughs> um, how about we go ahead and get set up for the evening? Um, and watch some, some of my old thoughts. Um, yesterday, we decided on a party, uh, party group video where I was playing various games with my friends. How about we have, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. I gotta see if the money came through from Patreon so I can send it to Sean so I can finally pay for my car to get fixed. Let's see. Hi, Shadows. We're about to get uh, ready for bed. How do you guys feel about some FTL? I did say I wanted to be playing it recently, but might as well just. Um, watch some old VODs of mine, if you guys don't mind. Or we could do a lot of other games. I have plenty. We could do more party games. We could do... Uh... Art videos. Very old art videos. Maybe I shouldn't recommend those. <laughs> um... I appreciate it, but as the artist in question, I really don't want to see my old videos of art when I've vastly improved since then. It is very much an itch that just keeps on itching. Uh, Alright, where are those FTL videos? Come on, where did I just put you? Oh, here you are. Oh, good. Speaking of, my old ass weight screen from 2018. Oof. This was when I had um my old art as a weight screen. Just of commissions I had done and art that I had done. Yay! 
<laughs> Let's see if the volume is okay. Well, when it ever gets there. There we go. How is it not going up? Why is it so quiet for you guys? Oof. I'm gonna skip this. See what my voice sounds Both like. Ah, Jesus. All right. New year, you know. Oh. You haven't used the chorus a lot. You know how you feel weirded out when you hear yourself talking in a recording. I can tell how old, how young I sound in this video. I don't know if it's because I'm just talking at a lower pitch now, but like, baby, fetus, <laughs> child. Oh, you have so much more things to go through, and I'm so sorry. One moment. I'm sorry to hear you had a fight with your mother. Um, actually, I can s explain a little bit of it. It's not exactly like the correct terminology for the science behind it, but uh, I've long since learned um, through choir that whenever you're talking, your ears are right next to your mouth. So you automatically hear the distortions and vibrations that come from your throat. If you have like a barrier in front of your ears, let's say you put your hands on the sides of your face to cover the front of your ears, like palms facing behind you, sides of your hands against your cheekbones, and you talk, you will sound distinctly different because the vibrations from your throat are going around a new surface and it gains distance and you hear it differently. That is in fact what other people hear because their ears are usually not so close to yours. It's why a lot of people sound different in real life versus on a phone or via any other electrical device in any capacity. I will sound very different if I were to talk to you in person versus on the computer because the electromagnetic waves, despite being distorted slightly, I'm reaching you through your ears directly if you're wearing headphones. Um, it might be a little bit different with speakers unattached, but like, it's still essentially the same. Not only that, but electricity not electricity, um, microphones and whatnot, and the compressions that I have set to my mic so you don't hear things in the background or anything like that. Um, it'll always compress the voice of whoever's talking. Um, and it'll always sound different. Um, but that's essentially the bare bones of it. It's just vibrations and waves hitting different surfaces to the point of where it reaches you and it will sound different because what you're used to is hearing it directly no 
surfaces extra or anything like that. Yeah, no problem. That's just basic bare bones of what I've learned in choir. Um, oftentimes, my various teachers would tell us, raise your folders against your ears, and then just try to speak. You will sound differently. That is how you actually sound. What you're hearing is just because the vibrations are going directly to your ears. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Also, ew, my bank updated its mobile app. <laughs> it looks gross. Ah, uh, self-deprecating humor. Never change. All right. Ah, oh, right. Sorry. Uh, I was like, what was I doing? Why do I have the camera off again? <laughs> Come on. There you are. Nope. I can actually take that off. Okay, good. My money did come in. Good. The first one. Good, of course. Doing great so far. That one got two shots off. That's pretty impressive. We win! Yay! That was really easy. Okay. Hey, it's four. Be nice. Hmm. I think I'll go with this one for right now. And then we'll focus on getting um this one up. Yeah, I I thought so. Okay, got it. Cool. Okay. We will work our way up. ship with a conspicuous pirate marking has been ordered in a nearby moon. Broadcasting a simple message claiming they have equipment available to tow. I really haven't gotten any better at docking. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna attack it as you as, like, ship to show. Federation encrypted signal has been broadcast from a nearby planet. Ooh! Says we beat that weird inquisitor outpost that they've been discovered by the rebels and are under attack. If you are still loyal to the Federation, go save them. Oh no! Talus! I'm sorry. But it's good to see you! Hi! I love you! We find the source of the distress, distress call, a small research station. It appears a small labor laboratory. Uh, got out of control. Good night, Khaleesi. Take care. Sorry, it's first thing for someone who's not responding. Yay! It appears to be a losing battle. Look for your fuel in the area of research station. If you find it, you will be safe and distraught. Okay, great. Then I'll drop them off in the next station. I'll be going to the bathroom, actually, and getting prepped for bed, so... Like you're at a rock monster. I'll return shortly. Yeah, Is the happen. volume alright, by the way? It does look very quiet, and the music doesn't look like it's coming through at all. Which is funny, because it sounds very crystal clear in my ears. Hmm. 
you don't hear it? You don't hear it at all. Oh boy. Okay. Let's try this again, maybe. Come here. Come here. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. My ears. What the? Why is that connected? It shouldn't be connected. Okay. Hang on. Okay, that should be good. I don't know what happened there. That's very weird. A hydrate bot's here early. Alright. New game. Let's go with... We haven't used the Taurus robot. Padfoot, you are our captain. I don't understand. And I will be your loyal NGs. Had a fight with your mom, but other than that, I'm okay. Pinned my nails. I don't. It's not coming through at all? That's so weird. Um. I don't understand why it's not coming through. I literally have it set to 183 and it's at 34 on my end. I'm deaf from hearing this. So I tip extremely slow. Oh. Is that better? I'm sorry to hear you had a fight Ow. with your mother. Uh, I cannot have loser. that in my ears. No. lot better okay all right that's so weird um because hmm. i can hear myself with my headphones off oh, that's how loud it is one. for me that of course i don't know why it is so quiet for you guys uh, we gotta your weapons my friend audio is very weird yes but I'm worried that if I let this play, because it's... It's only five hours. I'm it's worried that if it goes so to the next one, you guys will be fucking deafened. So, um... Let's try the next video and see how that works. Hopefully I don't die. <sighs> It's almost like it takes an hour to start streaming for whatever reason. Oh boy. Hmm. I think this is the same day. This one's a lot shorter, but the other one says, I don't know why it did that, which is usually what I say when OBS crashes. So let's go ahead and adjust everything back down. <laughs> Because, oh my god, I don't feel like being deaf. Uh, let's not do FTL in that case. It's so weird. Because it sounds perfectly fine in the recording, but you guys don't hear it well at all. Let's see. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Ah, the other start screen. This is later on in 2020, when I finally got a decent weight screen.
actually want to take that quest. Because that's really... That's not really coming through either, but RimWorld doesn't have a lot of music. Uh, let's see. That's only for an hour. I comment, so that's your good. <laughs> oh, I like your comment, Mousy Snow Woe. Snow Woe. Snow Woe. <laughs> I love Mouse well, so much. Oh, you're so out of Snow Woe. Snow woe. Snow woe. Rose. Oh, wait. What? In here. Joining. Gang. <laughs> oh, I want. I wanted to be Francis. I wait love Francis and I never get to play him. Can I play I'm, him this time? I'm Louise. Oh, god damn it. Hang on, I gotta remake the lobby. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, shit. Go steal it. <laughs> He's gonna get him faster. Uh, uh, uh. I have to get proper skins. Because the other skin that I had was, has was only yeah, the for the other head. one. As long as we're not all Jigglypuff again. No, I was gonna have us as Lucky Star characters, but it didn't register. Which is funny because it says it. Uh, is this better audio, by the way? Or is it still quiet? I can turn it up a bit more. Fine, everybody's gonna be a fucking Pokemon. Take it. Oh. What, which, who's that Pokemon? Which Pokemon in the fuck game? It's Arnold. Arnold, Arnold. Who the fuck is Arnold? Arnold Schwarzenegger. No. <laughs> I was like, there's a Pokemon it's named Arnold. It's a little low. Like, okay. That was about? an ancient YouTube Pokemon dealie, and I can't remember what it was. Was that the MS Paint Pokemon? Yes. That was the MS Paint Pokemon. It's probably going to get like really quiet and then really loud real quick. Where Ash tries to catch Misty because when he first mi meets her, she just goes, Misty, Misty. And he's like, oh, it's a Pokemon. He throws a Pokeball and then she goes, ow. Did he legitimately do that in the show? So yes. Old. That was so old. That's the one where they use Will Smith's head as an air balloon. <laughs> air balloon. Oh, what? God, that was such a good video. Holy frick. Hold on. I'm flashing back hard to like 2003. I think Ash really does try to capture all of his female companions. He does. God damn. Which oh, thank what God. is this called? Exactly. It's just Pokemon parody. You didn't get to the, you didn't get in fast enough. Ago. I you know what? I'm fine with it because I'm like <laughs> There's not much I, I can do to raise it faster. Trashimation theater. Like, oh my god. I could put it up to fucking a hundred if you want. Is that better? Is that good? Can you hear it? Did you? I'm sorry. You're fine. I am deaf. I was just gonna be Francis to I'm make having a little bit sad and then give it to her. <laughs> How did you get in here? Oh my god. I like Will <laughs> He's a good actor. Will Smith is a good actor. He's also a good guy. Oh no. <laughs> Pass me. I'm just gonna post it for later, but oh my god. I know a lot of people Well, then fuck you guys, I guess. I don't know what to do. It's literally never needed this much volume and I literally am going deaf by listening to this.
literally all the other YouTube videos you guys could hear just fine, right? I would assume you would have told me if it was too quiet. At least I would have hoped so. I don't know what the fuck to do. It's not even that old of a VOD. <laughs> I genuinely don't know what the fuck is happening. Why can I hear... I hear static sounds. What am I hearing? Hang on. I think I need to fix something. I don't know what the fuck broke in a matter of minutes that we went from yoga to this, but... I don't know why I suddenly hear... It's like that white screen on the TV that's like snow. It's essentially what I'm hearing right now. Ow. Ow. Ah. Now I can hear myself. Every time I turn my audio on, like my uh, speakers, I just hear this weird fucking noise. It's as if I'm hearing the wind from my own fan in my headphones, but did the audio source change? No, nothing has changed. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck? <laughs> you guys can't even hear that. <laughs> that didn't even come through on OBS. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that environment or equalizer? I don't even know. Okay, that made it louder, I think. I think. Um, hang on, where are my headphones at? On the back of my computer. The top, let's see. It might sound a little funky for a few seconds. I'm actually going to mute your audio, though. Hello? Can you hear me? Do I sound different or weird at all? I've changed spots um, where my uh, USB has been. Uh, put in. Hi.
I sound the same? Okay. Let's see. Let me turn up the volume. Yeah, I still hear that hushed rain-like sound. <sighs> of course there's a fucking issue before I go to bed. It's nice to be seen. And have people come hang out and vibe with us. Yes. And also, my stomach is acting like I'm hungry, even though I just ate a lot of chicken. Corn. It was really good looking chicken. It was super tasty. I made a whole thing two packets of wings, two packets of chicken breasts with corn, or sorry, with carrots, and then I put the short ribs in a marinade with some um, angel hair pasta that I'm gonna stir fry. I'm drooling again. <laughs> I'm super Sounds happy. Good. I am excited. Okay. First! Hi, Malthus. Alright. I'm gonna go in. Oh! Shit. Much no! better? Okay. Press back. I didn't do fucking anything different except for moving the USB, speed. which shouldn't have done anything. Now I have to redo everything. Cool. Rip. But... But okay, I guess. Everything is iron. Fuck me. <laughs> God. I color blue. Come on. Hair color blonde. I keep forgetting how this works uh, for us. Are we going to need uh, an invite? Um, you can just join off me when I'm ready. So when I pop yeah. up, open the cool. thingy, you can just join off. Yeah, you could just hit cool. co-op, and then it should pop up in the list to join. All right, because it's a friend's game. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness gracious. Great balls of fun. That's a good track. It is. Hi, Noah. Thank you, Mousy, for contributing. Yes. No, I'm not gonna press the back button again. Don't do it. Press OK. Don't do it! Hola? And Sturdy Valley is not responding. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Loud sweating. Uh huh. Okay, you guys should be able to join now. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Sleepy girl. I'm. I'm a mess. Okay. So I'm in the top left or top right corner. I'm with the forest. So much land. My game the greenhouse is in the middle. No man's land. Uh, anyways, mm. I'm gonna go fucking. If I need to invite to the you bathroom and maybe. stuff, I I'll be back. We'll invite yeah. you. Fuck. What's the if invite I... code? The game is set to just straight. chatting, by the way, before I leave. Yes? Uh, I did that. Nobody's watching. Nobody's, nobody's watching. watching. Don't worry. Don't worry. Nobody's, nobody's watching at all. Nobody at all. Definitely not future you. Except for Noah, because Noah's a son. I was going to say yes. so. Okay, not thank you. Noah 129. All right. Be right back. <laughs> it doesn't tell me? It just says start local co op. Oh. You didn't do. Ah, you dumb local bitch. Did you? No. No. It says start local co op. Also, it won't let me do the Steam thing. Uh... And do. Yeah, all it says is. Uh... Ah! Either invite ah, to watch stop. or remote play. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You might have to close it out and reopen it. Shit. Uh... Is it not working?
It yeah. looks like it shows up for like half a second and then it disappears. That's weird. That's never happened. Like two close. frames, yeah. Yeah, for like an absolute fragment. I'm gonna close and reopen Stardew. Mm -hmm. We'll see if it's maybe a thing of like disconnect between previously open versions and what all. I don't know. Okay, now think? it's letting me open the via shift tab. Uh, Game broke. I'm still beautiful. <sighs> Butt cheek farm. Opening it up. <laughs> it's open. You have opened the butt cheeks? I have opened the butt cheeks. Spread them cheek. Clap them cheeks. <laughs> interview went well, second one next week, but the second one is a video interview, so I have to knock off the cobwebs off my formal wear. Good luck! Yeah, wishing you luck, Noah. You got this, buddy. It, I see it every three, every single time I go in, I see it for a Let me look absolute it fraction of a second. Friends can't join Stardew. Are <laughs> not your friends anymore? Hmm. Restart and your I can't device? join off you. No. I can't join off you on Steam either. No. Which it normally will let you do. So it's got to be a problem on your end? Maybe it's how I meet it? Because it only says start local co-op. It might be. I might have to remake the try thing Let me try entirely. seeing what it's like to host a farm here. Oh! I know why. What? I'm fucking stupid. I press load instead of co-op. Honey. I am big dumb! Uh. Honey. I am here to be stupid. Do you want me to host? Nope. I got this. <laughs> Are you this. sure? Yep. Are you sure? Because it's already made and I'm now hosting via multiplayer. It should be on now. Could not possibly make the same mistake twice. Is impossible. <sighs> I did. Nor allow. I love just hitting the randomizer button and listening to the sounds. <laughs> yeah. Alright, now that we're actually playing the damn game. Ugh. Gracious. Whoops! Sorry. <clears throat> It is okay. No, I need to be burned at the stake for me. Never! False. But you could be covered in kisses. Hi, Bubby. There you are. <gasps> Join Butt Cheek Farm! <laughs> Heck yes! <laughs> okay, in your opinion, Mouse, is this better or worse than Baja Blast Farm? <laughs> <laughs> Probably worse because a Baja thing. Blast puts a You were smile in Baja Blast. Face. You joined oh, us. That was me, Jacob, and Zeros. Oh, there we go. There's Butt Cheek Farm. Did it take a while to load for you? Yeah, I had to exit out and go back to one more time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to be a stinker. I mean, you are on Butt Cheek Farm. I'm sure it doesn't smell too great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, must you? Yes, I yes. must. It's I part see. of my charm. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Gay, gay, homosexual, gay. <laughs> hmm. uh. Oh right. Um. Kind of little I am up here. I it is I. The Frenchiest guy? Who? Your no, plug? No. Your butt plug on Butt Cheek Farm? Where are you at? What farm are you in? What corner? Uh, 
that looks like bottom left. Bottom um, right. Bottom right. Maybe. What is the one that had the bandana? I oh, want yep, it. There you are. Hi. Hi. I'm wearing protective goggles, as you do sure. when engaging in dangerous activities. <laughs> I just watered you get a rock. splinter in your eye. Oh, I see. So we have our own little farm plots. Mm -hmm. This is the four corners one, so we all have our Neat. different sections. They can all uh, see different things. Yeah, I need to check some of did you have share money or separate money? I didn't have the option to take it off, so share it, I guess. Oh. I think you can go to... Uh... What's his name? The mayor. Can I ask? Was... Yeah. Oh. There's like a, a uh, ledger or whatever in his house. Neat. I'll check that out later. We should all have our own wallets. It's hard mode saving up together. If I get poor, then that's on me. Hello, kitty. Hello. Squeak. Oh, Hi. I love your cats. Hi. I love her too. I Shammy, love you. Well, Shammy doesn't meow. She just opens her mouth and makes faint wheezy noises. And it's not because she can't meow, because mm -hmm. she can. She'll charge in the back of the house and scream so loud that it sounds like she's in distress. <laughs> but when she tries to get your attention from your ankle, she just goes... You hear her little mouth click open. Mm -hmm. Because her lips part, and that's it. And you don't even hear her really, unless you're close, you don't even hear her go... <sighs> it's, just, it's like, honey! Baby. Honey baby! She's so little. And by that I mean she's like freaking 12 pounds. She's a big cat. She's just a hinkin' dinkin' donkus. She's a baby. Whole baby. One whole baby. <laughs> <laughs> Who ordered this baby? You did. Okay. <laughs> Whose sassy child is this? Yours. Okay. Okay. That still gets me to this day. That shit's so old. Who burrito is this? Yours. Okay. <laughs> he sounded so reluctant to admit that it was his. <laughs> Oh, chat. So, I don't know if you heard the earlier conversation, but I have made a lot of food today. And because I know how much you guys love hearing me talk about food, I'm going to talk to you guys about food. Excellent. I made a lot of wings. Um, like, two packs of wings. Um, I made... Two wings. Two, two whole wings. So many wings. Um, Alan's lost and found box. Marriage log. Split the funds? Yes. Oh my god, she's filed for divorce. <laughs> How so? Barbecue fried? Wow. Um, air fried. Or actually, no, I'm sorry. Air roasted. We have an air fryer and it has different settings on it. So you can have air fry, air toast, um, toast, sorry, air roast, not air toast. <laughs> yeah, air toast, toast is just air. some just toast that doesn't exist. <laughs> it's just air rising air off of a hot metal surface. Air toast is when a toast does some sick air flips on a skateboard. <laughs> um. Oh, my house is so pretty. Oh my goodness. You're so pretty. <gasps> wow. Mm. It's a sunny day tomorrow. I accidentally grabbed my rug. This is great so far. 
I'm wearing a really cute outfit. Yes. I'm wearing pink overalls. It's a little pink undershirt because I'm babby. Pink. Beauty pie. Pink. I just talked to Alex and tried to speed run through his text and ended up swinging my axe. Oops. Don't fucking talk to me. <laughs> Way to make a first impression. Mm hmm. That's okay. He's pretty lame, so it doesn't matter. Sure. Savage. And I say this as someone who has married him once. He's pretty lame. I don't know. I mean, a lot of them that aren't very but, like, lame. Just like compared to like when you Elliot or Harvey. See, I don't even like Elliot. His <gasps> taste is sweet. so expensive. No, you uh -huh. just give him beer. I mean, he likes fucking iridium bars. <laughs> That makes but, him the well, happiest. You know how hard it is to get iridium bars? But do you know how not hard it is to get beer? Okay, but like, you don't need... You don't need beer. No, no you beer. You only give it to him twice a week, it's fine. No beer. It's so easy to My make. inventory's full! Enabling alcoholism. Exactly. No, Elliot's not an alcoholic. It's shame you shouldn't romance by giving I mean, him alcohol. That's a, that's a Elliot does not like flowers. He's a genuine alcoholic, and his story is about him getting better. Mm -hmm. Giving him more alcohol is a bad idea. Mm -hmm. The opposite is true with Pam. Oh my god. You scared me. You zipped around the corner. Hello. So, do give mm -hmm. Pam alcohol? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. Maru! Take the flower! Hmm. Jesus. You know what? I'm just gonna go on a grass hunt for now. Frog! I found Maul. I uncovered his hiding place. <laughs> Cheese it! Done it. Alright. Um, so, we need a new I character. I seek glory. Mal says decided to die tonight. Yeah, it's time. Uh, I wasn't done talking about food. Yes. Um, I also made two whole packets of chicken breasts with carrots. Um, I like to cook chicken breasts in butter, but this one was a lot of meat, but I didn't want it to like stick to the ham, so I added some water in there too. Um. Did I talk about the short ribs I was marinating? I don't remember. I don't know. I, I can't did. remember. I think you did. I know I, I told you guys already? before the stream. I have no heard about the short ribs. Uh, short ribs are being marinated. Being mm -hmm. marinated with brown sugar, soy sauce, cayenne pepper, cumin, smoked paprika, um, white powder, or, sorry, white, white pepper, pepper. <laughs> black pepper. Yeah. You know, white powder. White <laughs> not powder. definitely not cocaine. cocaine. It's powdered sugar. It's, it's cocaine. It's um, definitely. <laughs> I'm sorry, flour. Ribs is white new to you. News to you. Okay. So I just told you guys that. Um. Paragon. Um, parsley. What else did we add? I added onion powder. Hi, baby. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. It's me. Hello. It's me. Did we come sleep with me tonight? Sure. <laughs> I picked up some. I picked up some leeks and foraging, so I'm keeping one with me uh, because I believe we need that one of those for the spring foraging bundle. Uh -huh. Gonna be clear and sunny tomorrow. Spirits are very happy today. It's yeah. a fortuitous day for the valley. Mm. I'm gonna work uh, until it's pitch dark outside. You making the taco, taco meat later? Well. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Make gyoza for lunch. Nice. Oh. <laughs> gyoza. Gyoza. I'm gonna gyoza. I've never actually made gyoza. I've only ever just like taken frozen ones. <laughs> That's fair. I mean, if you can get the uh, if you can get the things you need to make the filling, 
um, you can get what's basically, you know, oh, like uh, pre-made. discs of gotcha. pre-made gyoza pastry. And that's the only way I've ever made gyoza, because... Mm, someone go to bed. I don't trust myself to uh, to make it from scratch. I can do the, the fillings from scratch, though. Mm. That's the easy part. Sorry, I was still knocking away stones and my stuff. Bedtime. It's all good. Moose. <laughs> yes. Oh, nice. We used to have 500 on. And we have 167. Per person? Mm hmm. Not bad. She's like, how dare you? Play computer games when you could hold the cat. I love you. I need to rearrange Rain this tomorrow. house. Rain tomorrow? Okay, we all gotta plant stuff. Today. You guys want I've to? You can planted. plant. Oh, okay. No. Hello, individual. Got a uh, cool wheelie. Oh, where do I put my television? You don't need it. Just put it in Cage's house. No! <laughs> I'm gonna make the abomination from Baja Blast Farm. Is that the room nah, that was filled with chairs and. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that I was. Remember seeing that in Iron's like that house. An, an atrocity. Correction, it was once my house. <laughs> oh. Our house. Now communism. it's our house, comrade. Funny, we should have done that on communism farm. I mean, we didn't really need to. No, we just stayed in one house together. The other house is a vacant one. Noah says he buys the wrappers, because they're hard to make. Same, 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 same. See, I don't think I'd be able to fold them properly. It's all about the amount of stuffing you put in them. Mm -hmm. It's like a tortilla wrap or something. Burrito. I would recommend not making gyoza like you make burritos. No, I'm just saying the wrapping process. <laughs> it's difficult. Because you can end up tearing your tortilla. You could fold it incorrectly and all the filling falls out. Also, uh, I cannot recommend enough using a bit of, like, having a small bowl of water to sort of dip fingers mm. in mm -hmm. yeah. and use that to seal. Otherwise, it just will not stick together. Mm. Hi, dark guy. How are you today, honey? That's right, I need to do all my controls here. Okay, um... <clears throat> do you have a dedicated control setup for... Uh, I... Stardew Valley? I have a specific... set of things that I always do. Mm -hmm. um, such a as I'm always... Yes. Um, I lock my toolbar. Finishing bar. up Persona 5 Strikers. I, I hope you're having physically a good time possible. with that. I always show where my tool location is. They can't is. hear me right now, by the way. I'm muted. Um, I can appreciate that. Quality of life shit. Yeah. yeah. I like to see everything. And right now, I'm just waiting for my character to baby. regain energy before I continue back on working on my farm. I hope everybody in chat's having a good time, though. You're all very cute, and I love you very much. Thanks for coming to hang out today. And sorry for the late stream. I was cooking a lot, as you heard. I, I, I definitely lost track of time. <laughs> no, you. No, you! Psst. 
Yes. I love you, Ray. Love you. Oh, love my you. God. Time is a flat circle made up by aliens. You're right. Profound. Hi. You like my pink overalls? Why are you giving me clay? <laughs> I don't want it. Savage. <laughs> Break my heart. Hello! You're so cute! Thank you. You are too. I like your jeans. Thank you. Where's Iron? I want to look at how cute he is. Where's the boy? My, my plot say top so left. So cute. There you are. Hi. Hello. I love your shirt. It's Does that a skull on it? I, it's hard to tell. I think it's. Oh, think it's, it's the it's the one of those tux T-shirts. Oh wow. I, I had expected that. <laughs> that's amazing. You even have a little boot mirror. That's amazing. That's amazing. I love it. See, I, I thought it was it a was Terminator a... skull from the left, that, but then... that's what I thought. You turn and I was like, oh, I know that shirt. <laughs> it's a good shirt. Mm -hmm. It's a powerful shirt. A powerful shirt, indeed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, there's a couple rocks. Oh, hey, I got a geode. Neat. Beautiful. Nice. Nice geode, dude. <laughs> I was I was thinking you were gonna make that joke. In fact, I was hoping. So, if you were to break open a geo dude, would it actually be a geo inside, or would it God, be? Please don't break open an, a, an, a living creature. <laughs> yes, considering that's a living creature, that requires... would it be blood? It, I, I, I would I'm assume it there's a circulatory in... system. Yeah. Okay, but since it's a rock type, is it technically like a golem? They have Not golurk. That's, that's too. That's too. That's too. They have out. golurk, which is a golem type <sighs> Pokemon. Yeah. That shit and flies. A super, that's a super dope Pokemon too. And Girl honestly, looks, um, yeah. Girl looks, looks amazing. amazing. Um. I mean, if you don't cut open the Pokemon, how do you know whether or not they actually are alive? Loud sweating. I mean, there Where were various like Pokemon books? wars. Okay. Hello. Like, Hi. People, when people did you get there? Just Hello. Now. Hi. You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I figured I needed to get on this fishing stuff day one here because I got the pond. Oh, yeah. It's a good one. <clears throat> good choice. Why are you going to bed early, Buffy? Oh, I just, um... Rest. I just went to rest. I didn't oh, okay. want to actually say yes to going to bed. Oh, you're fine. I was just curious. Because I have some wild seeds that I want to sow. Mm. <gasps> I caught a flounder. Nice. Nice. But anyway, on the discussion of Pokemon having innards... <laughs> Must we? <laughs> I'm curious. I mean, okay, so so if we think about the evolution chain of Geodude mm -hmm. to Graveler to Golem, mm -hmm. 
Golem has clearly turtle-esque fleshy parts sticking out of the rock center. So it seems to be that there is in fact a soft bit on the inside and yes it you know the joint it un uncalcified un those areas goal. when it is tough enough aka when it evolves right so it implies that in the center of our boy golem is soft inner parts, which means the Geo Dude and Graveler also have soft inner parts. Now, I don't know where the levitation went from Geo Dude to Graveler, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> something, something. Um, magnetism? Question marks. How do they even work? How do how do magnets even Ma work? magnets? How do they work? <laughs> What's the deal with airplane poop? Are we Fucking Seinfeld now? now? I don't know. How does anything work? No uh, one knows. Magic. No one has ever known. And that is why we are in the hell's gate. Nobody land. knows. Oh, anything you. works. Nobody knows but Jesus. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> I like you. Wow. Wowie. What a kawinky dink. Alright. What a kawankle. What a cankle. Um. I got driftwood. Woohoo! What a catch. The V. Mm -hmm. Then come sleep with you tonight, okay? Okay. I'm engaged in lurk and rest. I don't know why I'm so tired. This is what the chill vibes are for, my dude. I join you in, in being tired, Noah. Um, I reckon it's just, you hey, know, you as. As lockdown, at least for, for us here in the UK, lockdown is beginning to come to an end soon enough. Um, we're all kind of feeling the effects of being stuck in our homes, not being able to go and see people and do the things we normally we normally do. That's what I think personally. Mm. Never mind Thank all you. of the emotional exhaustion from all of that as well. Um, it, like the physical exhaustion from inactivity rather than yeah. and 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 like not just inactivity in that people don't work. There are lots of people who are going out and doing physical work still, and they're exhausted. But it's the recre lack of recreational activity that leaves you more exhausted. Mm -hmm. It's just it's, it's a bad all on and combo. Yeah. yeah, all on and no off. Mm -hmm. Immense mental fatigue building up. And then we're getting gaslit on top of that. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun. Uh -huh. It's not fun at all. Oh. This is all very Something about decidedly this is not fun. Mm hmm. This reminds me of that song, This Is America. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> Don't care if she's trying oh. to slip or not. I almost said tipping up, that's not correct. It's not that Hi, different Ducky. to it, though. Yeah. Whenever I talk to friends about American politics, they're like, why do you, why, why do you care? And I think, well, one, I have friends there, and two, for some reason, it's a world-leading country. God, Even though I we're technically a third world country because of how poorly our government takes mm -hmm. care of us. But because we yeah, were so invested definitions. in the world wars, we became a leading force 
And now our money dictates other countries' money. Stupid. Yeah, it's tough being a third world government with a first world economy. Mm -hmm. Except it's, it's less not. first world anymore. Yeah, it's a weird sort of third world world leader situation. Mm. It's not fun. Your players may, have, no, may or may no, not have seriously fucked up. Is. What did they do? Ooh. Gotta yell timber so people don't get hurt. I stole a piece of your wood, I'm so sorry. Oh, for my wood to cast. I rejected the wood. Uh -huh. <laughs> she rejected me, I'm heartbroken. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to everybody in town. Okay. Someone has been very thorough about removing trees already. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, I'm so glad. That, I'm so glad that when you chop down a tree in this game and it hits your crops, it doesn't like destroy right. them. Yes. Oh my hey, God. Hey, Hi. Can you help me chop down? Thank you. I'm low on it. A baguette. Energy. Sorry. I oh, nice baguette. I found a trash a bread. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> yes. Oh, um, I'll trash bread. I'm gonna by all eat account, it. By all accounts, I really probably should be doing uh, the the turning the tree stump as opposed to the beating of it. But whatever. All right, we're making tree stump mochi. That's how this works. Yes. Cool. Mayor Louise, where is everybody? It's raining, so they'll be in different places now. Mm, probably mostly in their houses. I love that I just walked in directly into their house and I'm like, hey. Yep, nice protagonist to meet syndrome. Y yep. Where are you? Where are you? Let's open the door. Show me the pots. <laughs> <laughs> Show me them beans. Third level party, green dragon. I'm sure you can put it together. Oh, so you had the exact same scenario I did when oh. I was running a campaign and they stumbled mm. upon a green dragon. <laughs> Yike. That was so scary. Yeah. Dragons are a really good way of putting the fear of God in your players. Hi. <laughs> Right. Yeah, uh, the the hate. What is his name? The hate scarred something. The hate yes, scarred. Yes, the, the hate Vukra, scarred. Dragon. The hate scarred. Yeah, you know, cause that doesn't strike fear into the heart of every human who has ever existed. <laughs> and he's a youngin. Mm -hmm. He kills yeah. me. He's so baby. Young. Well, baby. Not a baby. He's yes, not really a so youngling. But and yes, like, he is not. Its old. breath weapon can do 12d6 poison damage. Sure can. Yeah. Good thing you don't have an animated skeleton or a poison dart frog man in your uh in your party. Because mm. then you take the damage from that breath weapon. <laughs> it took a. Uh, it took, I think, two years, but the player in my old campaign who was playing an animated skeleton ah. finally admitted that that race is uh, kind of broken. Oh, really? Mm, How long ago then. was this? Like this year. I'm going to kick his ass. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I was I was reading over my old racial abilities, and yeah, that's kind of broken. <laughs> like, no really? shit. I think so, huh? But it's all good. I mean, I play a relatively, I run a relatively high power game anyway. This and it's not like it's not like his character has never gone unconscious. Many times. Coughs in Blizzard. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, I'm so sorry. <coughs> it's not like he never tried to like turn back time so he wasn't, you know, unconscious. I mean, to shit. be fair, divination wizard. Yes, but still. Hey, yeah, Death Hound. Hi, Death. Still got it. What did I get? What did I get? Next seeds and wood. Oh. No. 
I am over sluggish. I cannot fish anymore. Oh, 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 you're uh, exhausted. Oof. Need trout soup. I probably should go and see Willy Hunt. Mm hmm. Maybe. You gotta get there before five. I'm on my way. Listen, well, clerics kind of need to be strong because if they're not, very few people will actually play them. Considering the the, the kind of idea behind clerics design wise in many game spaces, it's like you're the support. In which case, you know, now we have the like. What, 14 different types? 15 maybe different types of cleric now, and they're not all healers. It's nice. Mm. Yeah, grave cleric, um, whatever Jester is. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I would trickster. definitely. If somebody were to say, uh, if somebody were to say that either clerics or druids needed buffing, I would probably smack them upside the head. Mm -hmm. It's just that they start out they slow. Don't. That's it. Yeah. Kind of. I mean, this. That's if you're playing like, like a, a level one campaign. Like first to third level, I would say yeah. I would say that they are below the fighter, but mm -hmm. above Another the wizard. One. If that makes oh, sense. Oh, for sure. Like because I would say. Basically, everything's above the first level wizard. True. The experience I've had is honestly more at this, this, the point between like level six to level eight felt mm. rough because there yeah. wasn't a lot of ability increases. So it's like there's little yeah. pauses in between where it seems like other people are catching up to you and pe and you're not staying in the same kind of rate as everybody else is what it feels like. So it kind of feels like you're falling behind, and it's really just that other people are adjusting appropriately because, like, the first yeah. three levels I felt highly competent. In fact, sometimes too competent because I had so much at my disposal from the get-go versus towards, you know, the middle zone there in the middle of the 1 to 10 range where it felt like I was really falling behind and was feeling very useless because it was like mm -hmm. I still have – what feels like a relatively similar zone of abilities as I did when I first started. Yeah. And that makes me nervous because I'm seeing everybody else around me get so much better because they're mm -hmm. finally kind of catching up to an appropriate point for them, whereas I'm actually being stagnant to stay in the same zone as everyone else. Yeah. So it's kind I of, think, it feels yeah. rougher. I think um, most, yeah, most... Um... Most classes get their um, power spikes relatively similar times, but some classes like, you know, cleric, fighter, that stuff, sort of stuff, mm -hmm. are very competent early. And mm -hmm. fighter, I mean, recent subclasses don't fall off as much, but fighter baseline falls yeah. off relatively, relatively hard late game. Yeah. Which is what magic items are for. In theory. That's, a, that's why uh, in my first game, Garrow being a, a fighter, Eldritch Knight, um, ended up with a lot of... That particular DM was very liberal with uh, magical items for me in particular, it seemed like, because it was... We had a uh, warlock, we had a sorcerer, we had a bard... And we had paladin smite slots go brrr. A paladin. <laughs> so all of those classes were very like very powerful compared to Garrow by even level thirteen. Um, mm -hmm. So he gave me a lot of really good stuff that was affordable to get. You know, it was you know expensive enough that it was like I had to debate with the group: Can I spend two hundred gold on an armor of etherealness? But my god, it saved my life. It was because worth if, it, yes. if I didn't have that, I would have died in a one on one fight with a goddess. Mm -hmm. uh, because I was rights, trying to save the rest should. of my. 
Yeah, I but should yes. I should have died. I used every single potion I had. <laughs> I used all of my skill slots that I had. I used all of my armor of etherealness slots. I used my uh, shield of the Aegis. I had, like, all of the magical things I had were going as much as possible to keep me alive, and I barely mm-hmm. made it. <laughs> I ended up with, out of... Oh, God. I think I had 100 hit points by then. Surely. I can't remember. I always take the the average, so I don't recall exactly how many, but it was high for sure. Mm-hmm. I still had like 13 hit points by that by the time that fight ended. No, don't oh. eat my. Oh, sorry. <laughs> a crow ate my. Yeah, I my got. I got that. Snip. I got that yesterday too, unfortunately. I yeah, can't I mean. Make these are the eldritch knights i think they're the one paladin like early early in the game's development uh fighter subclass that really doesn't necessarily drop up as hard partly because Mm -hmm. this is in my opinion having 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 built a 15th level uh eldritch knight for for no reason um (laughs) i um I found, okay, so they're not falling off nearly as hard as... A the, plane fighter, or champion. I don't know, the battle right? master, for instance. The champion, yeah. I mean, the champion is just a sad clown. Uh, <laughs> it just... Sorry, it's so accurate, though. <laughs> it des- they, they deserve so much better, and you're rooting for them to get, you know, to get things better, but it never happens. It's like a tragic sitcom. Or something like that. I really don't know. Um, like honking noises. But the thing about yeah, the thing about the Thank champion is there's some neat concepts there, but it's all passive and it's mm-hmm. just so boring. Uh, yeah, but uh, you know, Eldritch Knight gets a lot of cool and interesting things to work with, especially at high levels mm-hmm. because magic. Um, yeah. But at the same time, you've got, uh, you've still got the fact that, you know, you can only oh. cast a spell uh, or use your actual you bread and butter. Whereas, yeah. Oh? Oh, you're Sorry, you're saying you can only cast now. a spell or use your bread and butter. Yeah. Because, oh. like, uh, depending on the situation... Things are useful and other things are very much not. Which, mm. saying it like that, it doesn't come across clear what I'm trying to say. Um, it's kind of a situation of do I either do the fighter thing or do I do a spell? Um, yep. Unless I decide to use my action surge, in which case that would be way better spent at this level to mm. do fighter thing, action surge. And then more fighter thing, because then I can do more of those attacks that do a lot of damage, versus trying to do a spell save, and I don't actually have that good of a spell casting bonus or anything. Yeah, yeah, I know that feel. Yeah, it's just like, it's kind of torturous, because you feel more useful to a degree, and then you fail a spell, and you're like, well, there goes that entire turn, because... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it gets, that was it gets all a I get better. to do with that it gets a little better when you get I think it's called Spellblade or something like that mm-hmm. where you can you can do a cantrip and then attack as a bonus action mm, yeah. but you know it's still just a but cantrip by the, yeah I was going to say by the time you get to that level cantrips are so negligible in terms of damage mm-hmm. that it's like oh yeah I'll do 10 chip damage to this thing with over 200 yeah. hit points. That's, yep, super useful. You and go, the, Gero. Uh, Good job, yeah, buddy. Thing, no. <laughs> the thing is, I tried um, I tried a while back to try and see if we could overhaul the Eldritch Knight, uh, a buddy. My, myself and a buddy of mine. Mm-hmm. And the difficulty is um, it's either it's a fighter subclass or it's a wizard subclass. You know, mm-hmm. um, the, the problem is if you don't want 
a uh, a fighter subclass to feel useless. It kind of needs to be able to do the thing it's best at, which is swinging Smash. and hitting. Yeah. Um, that's where pretty much all of the classes' uh, abilities go. Mm. But on the other and hand, then it feels like you don't yeah. touch on the wizardy spell stuff enough, yeah, and then it's exactly. like, well. Yeah, if we to put too extent. much into the spell thing, then it's not enough of the fighter yeah. thing, which means they're kind extent, of planted. I think the the new blade singer wizard subclass does the balance better mm. because it's a wizard, and when you're using spells, you kind of want them either to enhance your regular gameplay loop. So for the pa for the paladin, many of the spells slots you have go to your smites. Um, and you have smite spells and, you know, things that can boost your allies and all that. Mm -hmm. Um, for, uh, the Eldritch Knight, for a while, up until, I think, uh, Swords Coast Adventurer's Guide at the very earliest, cantrips that you had, and not to mention spells, were, uh, really limited to, this is just stuff the wizard does, but you can swing a sword. Mm -hmm. Whereas now with Booming Blade, Green Flame Blade, that sort of stuff, Lightning Lure, there's a lot of things now in a potential Eldritch Knight, um, like, toolbox yeah. that can actually help with the fighter loop. Booming Blade and Green Flame Blade in particular, because once you get that cantrip bonus action attack thing, mm -hmm. you can actually do your multi-attack plus better. some damage. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's rough, because it's not necessarily something that... You know, you have to put a bit more thought into the power, I guess. Whereas if you're mm -hmm. a wizard, you just you just need to consider what spell you're going to cast, not whether you're going to cast a spell. Yeah. And see, I, I had um, I had Lightning Lure on Garrow. Mm -hmm. um, and it, I loved using that spell. I also mm -hmm. had... Um, Oh, what's the one where you do big thunder damage noise? Thunderclap? Uh, Thunderclap? Uh, thunder... No. Uh, is it a cantrip, or is it a spell? Uh, I think it's a level 1 spell. Or a that... level 2 spell. Yeah, oh god, that thunder wave. Thunder wave, yes! It's a really good one. That was that was his deal, was that either he would lightning lure, and then beat the snot out of you, or he would mm -hmm. thunderclap to knock multiple people off of him. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm going to have to agree with Malthus in the chat, by the way. Cyanite does a lot of the balance stuff for Eldritch Knight quite well as well. I definitely would agree. If you haven't had the chance to check out the Cyanite fighter subclass, and you're a person who considers playing a fighter with possibly wanting some magic stuff, I definitely recommend it. Um... Would yeah, you say that'd be uh, a class that you would pick for uh, Ikel? I don't know. Um, it does well for the flavor, but for Ikel, I'm more so just using a particular stat block, providing some bonuses to it, mm -hmm. and then uh, chucking a few spells I think are cool and thematic in, and then I'm going to balance it later. Gotcha. <laughs> Which is a lot of my homebrewing for the major <laughs> monsters. It's probably a good thing he's mm -hmm. on our side, huh? Uh, Malthus, if you, I'll have to find the the name of the homebrewer that did this, but somebody, I think it's Kibbles Tasty on Reddit, did a uh, did an amazing um, uh, homebrew class called the Scion, which mm. for me is a bit like. Okay, take the sorcerer. Take the idea of a sorcerer. Um, okay, now make that not what wizards did with the sorcerer, but like you just wield raw whatever kind of force it is, and you know you can make that be like spells and stuff. But a lot of your abilities are just straight up psychic abilities. It seems exactly like the kind of stuff. Like it's sort of a um, some form of predecessor to, or yeah, predecessor to, um, like the Eberron psionic stuff and stuff like that. I think it was Eberron. I might be wrong. 
think it was dark somewhere I had snow on it. So anyway, not that it particularly matters. But yeah, check out The Scion by Kibble's Tasty if you're looking for something uh, a little different and you're really in the mood for psionics. Oh my goodness! Uh, what? I forgot to go get all the spring onions. Oh man! Heck! They're, they'll I still picked, be uh, there. I picked one up earlier. They should still be there. I'm going. I'm trying. Okay. Heck! 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 There they are. Woo! Free money. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree with I cast spell, but with my mind, as being a little lame. Uh, it works for monsters, you know, where the bonus really is that they cast the spell, which means you have rules for it, and you don't need to bloat the um, the stat block. But um, it has some bonuses like no requirements for verbal or somatic, no verbal or material components. It's cool stuff. But yeah, yes, I would agree. It's not entirely uh, it's not entirely the coolest thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Um, down at the south sort of lake area. Okay, I'm in your house. Okay. I'm just cutting down plants in the woods behind you. Don't mind me. <laughs> Just running around in the dark with a with a scythe. Scuttle, 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 scuttle. No, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I have a monster that runs around in the woods with a scythe. Uh oh. Just saying. Man, can you imagine Simeo with a scythe? A scythe. So, yeah. So I know. uh... I know somebody did like somebody did like a a weapon outline for a scythe, which I think does something like two d four damage. It has a good reach too. Yeah. Yeah. Th there's a reason the UA Mystic class hasn't made it into an official book yet. Uh, it is completely busted. Did a read as in as any. I have got to get to the house. I can't see Jack. A little rain really bad. Yeah, I, I'm definitely uh, definitely in agreement that the, uh, the majority of UA is completely broken. Uh, it is, you know, to its uh, to its credit, you know, it is a really great design space to put a lot of cool ideas out. Laughs and you a barbarian. Well, your barbarian was one of the few that actually was really easy to tweak and make balanced. <laughs> In fact, your barbarian class actually only needed it only needed buffs, <laughs> which is surprising considering Simeo. Well, you know, it's because the actual mm -hmm. subclass, it wasn't underpowered, it just had less stuff mm -hmm. than other subclasses. And I still got less shit than the rest of my party members. Mm. Well, you know, barbarians grow slow. Not as slow as rogues, though. Kitty! I mean, I mean uh, Zeros can That's attest to how, weak. to how slow rogues develop their subclass mm -hmm. uh, stuff. Like, what are we naming our cat? Oh. Good question. Jongus. <laughs> oh, I like the miso. I like the miso so That, that is was cute. a neat one. Ret Sodi. Oh, who comes up with these names? Frumbo. <laughs> 
There's just a Stardew Valley generated AI that's just sad Rubber. noisy. Mm -hmm. We should name them Timbus. Timbus? Mm. Uh, do we have to keep parsnips? <laughs> Are no. we keeping parsnips still? I mean, it's, it's your parsnip. You do what you want with it. I mean, sure, I'm just thinking about packages and stuff. Um, I'll we have need... my own separate, like, container for that kind of stuff, yeah. so don't worry about it. Okay. You sell oh, your stuff. I didn't stuff. take any of the things I wanted to sell. <laughs> Once we get I'm enough backlog rainbow. money, we should set up different, uh, little containers and everybody for doesn't everybody. need to run over to mine. Uh, the big thing is really the selling container is up yeah. here. That's the only reason I come up. I've got a couple of, I've got a chest down at my house mm -hmm. that I can. Use. That's what I was saying though. Like we can need, we can make yeah, more we can of make them. Shipping containers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, the, the oh, okay. I wasn't aware. Of that. Yeah. yeah, it's from the I new update. That with uh, whoops. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Well, I think you could always add more, but they added the ability to. Move remove it. the yeah, remove the one that is up by your house. So you can move that around. Oh, the section for the cave is gone. Like the the wood or sorry, the rocks blocking the way. It's good clear. For that. Good. That's good for that. I'm gonna go get stuff. Sword. I'm a fool. False. Yeah. I walked all the way to the community center. It's not open yet. Yeah, we haven't had the cutscene. Mm -hmm. I understand the dilemma, Malthus. Um, I'm very lucky that my uh, player group has people who are also willing to DM uh, and do so very well. I have the cutscene. Well. Now it's open. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have a cutscene. Congratulations. I gotta do it. I was bringing horseradish. I too have horseradish. But we can't turn oh, them nice. in yet. We have to look at the little thingy first. Animal. Then we gotta talk to the wizard. Mm. Then we gotta do that. It's a three day event. Mm. I should probably go buy more seeds, right? Mayhaps, mayhaps. If you got money. Honey. I have 167. Four. Yes. I'll buy them for you. I have 484. Jesus. I'll have more by the end of the day. Mm hmm But for now, should go fishing what seeds do you want? Parsnip, uh, bean, cauliflower, potato, tulip, kale, jazz seeds. I'm not choosy. Um, Picky. Yeah. I don't Same think thing. choosy is a seed type. I got you nine potato seeds. Unless he chooses a Thank tulip. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Make that ten. Thank you for the round ten. I am poor enough. Why? Because I have Don't no. Don't do this to yourself. I have no self control. I am. I am aware of this. <laughs> this does not shock me. <laughs> See, Malthus, we have a delightful person named Mousy who's going to be running us a maid campaign next Saturday. Yes. I'm excited. Can flirt with a boyfriend. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, Wolf, hmm. my my uh, dreadful, your, wicked your game master is showing. right now. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. Baby, I planted your potatoes. Oh, thank you. Why do you have your watering can on you? Why wouldn't you? Because he's not I home. Can, I can. I can. I can go ahead and come back. No, I. I take all of my tools <sighs> with me everywhere I go. As do I. See, when you're you only smart, have man. When you're you... smart. You're loyal. No, when you only have one backpack, or rather pockets. You need all the You're spaces smart. you can get. You're loyal. <laughs> you have five spaces for things. Ooh, sunfish. 
Give me that. Uh, what was what? What? Huh? Uh, what is going on in chat? Like, I don't know. What the fuck was what? I have what? no idea. I'm cleaning up your area, Bubsy. Messy. Stealing your seed. That voice? That was just Mousy being really high pitched. I'm, I'm so sorry. You don't have to I apologize. Need to, don't need. To, don't need to be sorry. No. Don't you dare apologize. That is the voice of an angel. Mm -hmm. Stop apologizing, of... God. Hey. <laughs> Looking forward to mates, it'll be fun. Yeah, I get to flirt with you. I'm so mm -hmm. excited for day two. I came up with so many good ideas. She did. She wrote nine pages of notes. <laughs> that was before that the stream right. yesterday. I can't remember if you need a small mouth bath, so it's fine, I'll just I don't keep think one. so. It's fine, I'll just keep mm. one. It'll be it'll be so much I nicer speak, yes. when we can actually check. Yeah. Um, That'll be know, coming soon. Inventories. Yeah. I unlocked level 5 in the mines. Nice. Wow. Your superpower. I have to lay down because my character is exhausted already. <laughs> I understand. So I'm just gonna lay in bed for a minute. A 420. Nice. I know why your character's exhausted. Don't you say it. Because they worked hard. Mm. To make enough money for that dang kush. <laughs> yeah. Haley! You are. There it is. Hello. You're welcome. Who am I missing? Boy, this is really slow. The wizard. No, I'm missing mm. the little girl. Jasmine? Jasmine, the old man. I didn't talk to Clint when I walked in there. I didn't talk to Pierre? Really? You have to go around the- No, the I know. To talk, but <laughs> I'm just yes. like, I didn't talk to him? God, I'm oh. dumb. Yeah, it's something that slips your mind. You're like, hey, I, I, here, I talked to you. Mm -hmm. I bought from you. It's the same thing, right? Right. I maintain it absolutely. Caroline be lives the behind her though, kitchen? Uh... Jeez. Do you mean like her room is behind her I kitchen? I thought it was. I think it is. It said that Caroline doesn't let people, only lets friends back here. Mm. Oh, it's Friday. So I'm gonna go find the witch. Mm. And I think as a result of it being Friday, all the grown-ups will be in the mm -hmm. saloon soon enough. Yes, they are already here. I'm missing so many people. I'm coming. Come to the saloon. I am. You I'm say come as if you're here, but I don't see you. I heard somebody monch. I'm literally just above it, though. Who is monching? But I'm inside in it. Town. Wow. Well, look at you being proactive. Okay. Wowee! Gosh. I just Look left. Folks! Funnily enough, I, I, I saw you leave. I know. Since proactive is a, a yogurt, isn't it impossible to munch? And it's more of a slurp. I hmm. eat you. It depends on whether you're spelling it with, properly with an E on the end or not. Oh, I'm I have unfamiliar of where the E is in both Monch or Slurp. What? No That's where. a good point. Wait. Greetings, Demetrius. Have I talked to everybody yet? No. Who am I missing? No! She went to bed. Oh. Oh. I'm missing Harvey. Be the children. Marnie. Excuse me. Hello, Marnie. Harvey, Marnie, Wizard, and Linus! I don't see him. Right. 
must find someone no matter. Baby. So the only problem with the saloon is that when you're inside, you don't realize it's turning to nighttime. Mm hmm. I'm so sorry. Ugh. Not a problem. I shouldn't be this tired. It's nearly 5 p.m. I should think about <clears throat> foodstuffs. Being tired is allowed. Ugh. Blood cat, why are you jumping down like I'm going to get you something? Did you hear me say the food? word food? Is that the problem? Food for mother. 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 Have food for Bring me. Food? Bring which it is hungry, feed the widget. Feed the baby. Where am can food? Haven't had for days. Wigget is starving. <laughs> Wigget. Help, mother. I starve. Nice earnage, dude. I starve. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Well, heck, we really don't have a lot. I might have to, uh, I mean, hmm. Psst. We're waiting on two people. One of them is going to get food, so it's <laughs> I'm gonna get caught up with chat. I don't foot. Random. How is everyone in chat? I'm doing good. Cool. And yes, I am in chat. You are in chat, as am I. And I'm doing okay as well. Excellent. <laughs> Quit eating my crops! Keep up the good work. You're distracting them from eating my crops. I'm no upsetty. No upset. Only kisses. Whoa, so, whoa, uh, Cage, hi. what did you do to, uh, what did you do to tidy up my place? Did you just remove the stones and twigs? Uh, I removed stones, twigs, and I stole your seed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Rude. Listen. His name is Jimbus, you actually named him Cat Nobody Jimbus. else gave me a name. I am poor at naming animals. Oh, see, Zero said miso. I heard he skipped by miso, and I didn't want miso. I can go see the wizard now. Wait, we need to keep some. Were you able to, uh, were you able to, um, oh god, balance? Or, I guess, challenge rating? Kobolds with guns, uh, Malthus? As I remember last time. Hey, about that, but you need cool. help over there, Zeros? Yeah, cool. Uh, no, I think I got it. Okay. Did the, uh, <laughs> did the addition of guns change them much in terms of challenge rating? I, I assume it did. Just an assumption. <clears throat> uh, uh... Uh, I don't remember what I was doing. Frick. Okay, so... Not a huge change. A 
admittedly less than I was expecting. I'm going to go get high with an old man in the woods. Okay. Nice. I just um, finished, actually. Uh, enjoy. Thank. Welcome. Welcome. Love it. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, man. There you are, little girl. Back him. Oh, it's a biscuit. What are you yelling about? Huh? Why are you yelling because it's hard to be a cat? Huh? Did they lie in the Aristocats? Everybody uh, wants to be a cat Cause the cat's the only cat Who knows where it's at I better stop before I get copyright strike <laughs> Too good As much as I also love that song I have to agree <laughs> I have fixed the bridge Fix the bed Very nice A sweet baby snack Snack of gleamer, gleam, baby, squiggle, click of the Malthus, that, that would, I assume, depend on whether those bombs are going to have big AoEs or not. And how much more damage they do compared to, I don't know, a rock. Are you making flying Koopa? Fl fly winged kobolds with bombs. Yeah, Koopa. <laughs> Basically. A lucky Para Koopa. Para Koopa. Para kobold. Para kobold. Paratroopers, here they come. Mm. Sound the air raid sirens. See, and this tiny feral lizard dogs falling from the sky on like moleskin mm. parachutes. <laughs> They're barely working. Mm -hmm. mm. See, my favorite thing about kobolds is just it's similar to my favorite thing favorite thing about goblins, I think, which is just, you know, chaotic bastard energy. <laughs> I also love me a good gobbo. The problem- The, the problem more chaotic that, there, though, the better. The problem about that, though, is that, uh, when it comes to kobolds and goblins, in- at base, there's not really a lot, uh, distinguishing them from each other. Mm-hmm. Which is unfortunate. Le leave some really good room for world building, but eh, not much direction to go on. Yeah. It's just, hey, tiny feral people that will eat you if they have the chance. Cool, but like, what about them? I love the energy, but like, which direction do we take mm -hmm. it? Like, outside of kobolds being like, Hey, dragons are cool, which, you know, I can get behind. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's not a whole lot that distinguishes them. Just from them from goblins. Dandelion. Thank you. I love the Boom Boom Clan. That's amazing. That's their name. That is adorable. Bang stick, go bang. If they had a national an anthem, it would be uh, Boom Boom Pal by uh, the Black Eyed Peas. Oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh yes, the Black Eyed Peas. It has perfect trash baby energy. <laughs> it really, really does. <laughs> oh, I just watered a rock because I'm laughing too hard about this. 
Nice. Oh, lordy. Making sure the woods are clear. Having a good time with it. Mm. <sighs> yeah, that'll do it, Malthus. Also, yeah, cartoons are, uh... Man, they can either be nasty or forgettable, depending. Is, is how I found. Children's, though. Oof. Still haven't met Harvey. Why oh. am I like this? I got so busy cleaning the woods out of like twigs and stones that I forgot to go visit Harvey. <sighs> He'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I know. Solely focusing on getting the rocks. Single mindedly stoned. I have a hundred and thirty four rocks if you need any. No, I'm good, but thank you. It's more of just getting them for, like, um, future purposes. Touch. Uh-oh. Oh, did you eliminate your, uh, tiredness? Mm -hmm. Caged? Oh boy. It's funny, my windows are telling me that it's AM, but my clock is saying PM. Oh no. Oh, there you go, 8 o'clock, now it's dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The cat has chosen to stay in my room. I am blessed. You have been chosen. Pog. This will invasion of the material plane. As Loth is a demon lord, she's been mobilizing her worshippers. It's a fairly major plot point. Nice. I was also doing something with Loth in my campaign. Mm. The Loth's just a good villain. Mm -hmm. She fills her role and she does it well. Mm -hmm. I mean, demons in general make for really good villains. Yeah. I wish I could talk about it, though. Like, what I was planning you know, on doing with you know all the gods in my it? own campaign. You know, you could talk about it. If, if, if you ran the game again. Just saying. I get this enough from Mousy. I don't need it from you too. <laughs> Listen, Sorry. I feel guilty enough as is. No, okay? you don't need to feel guilty. You just need to know. <laughs> you just need to do it. <laughs> get off your ass and do it. <laughs> is it anything familiar, Caged? Is it? Is it? Shove you.
Minogu is like the weirdest name. And yet not okay, that far fetched. But Dweeblex. Dweeblex is the weirdest name. You know what, you're right. Yinogu is weird, yes. But Dweeblex. That, Queen of one, socks. that one is is so weird that my brain um usually automatically corrects it to Jubilex. Jubilex. Because that sounds more plausible. But no, it's 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 Jubilex. Queen of Sauce Day. I got stir fry. Mm -hmm. Same. Same. Everybody makes stir fry. Fucking today. leave. Thank you. I would have missed it. I'm stupid and always forget that Sunday is Not Queen of Sauce Day. Good. You're busy single handedly raising a quarter of a farm that was brought mm. to ruin. You were simply the preoccupied. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of seeds there, my dude. Linus found me. I'm gonna give him a parsnip and thanks. Nice. Hi. Why am I going down? I don't know. Zarazadun? Zarazadun? Zarazadun is, I mean, it's a Tolkien esque name. You know? I get it. Tolkien names, like, they're the weird fantasy trope of ridiculous, hard to pronounce names, but I, I, I have a I have a weak spot for names like Thoris Doom. I think that's a good D. Even though it's not a D. Not really. Jim not Kim. really. It's only part D. Well, you know, Elder Evil. Come to the museum and get your free cauliflower seeds. Oh, nice. Thank you. Okay, okay. Fine. Get your cauliflower Can't seeds. Get them statue. Going over Praise here the anyway, chicken god. Guess mm. I'll do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, I haven't ever used Forgotten Realms lore myself in my own games, but I can appreciate it. There's some there's some cool stuff there. You were cool stuff. Wow. He is correct. Wow. Love you. Love you too. Uh, you have hmm? on your person. You cut out. Iron. Do you own at least twenty-five gold? Yes. Do you need it? Ah, yes, it's yours. Thank you. You can go crack that. Thank you very much. There's some more in my chest, if you want to pick those up. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and grab geodes from people if, if they want. Mm -hmm. Cool. We'll go ahead and do that in a bit. I'm gonna go plant cauliflowers first, though. Okie dokie. my freaking copper ore <laughs> blew away from me. Let's keep care of it.
You know, kid, you'd have a lot more space if you weren't carrying a watering can. What are you doing? You're not on the farm. Sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of me getting shit done. We have fun here. He and, our, he and I are like siblings almost, with how much we fucking pester each other. But we're like siblings that actually love each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the best kind. How fucking dare you? <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god. Uh, caged, which, uh, which chest was the geode in? Um... I don't know. Look, <laughs> one wow. of the. I only have me two. To do all of that. I wow. only have two. You got completely. Oh, see, you weren't completely fucked by that. No, way. you just. You but it was it. rude as shit. I had to walk all the way Absolutely. around. <laughs> I've had ladders spawn moving? like diagonally on a uh -huh. too wide place to yeah. block it off. It's so fucked up. Press Y on your keyboard. Why? Oh, oh. Take your time, Malthus. So on today's agenda, yeah. talk to a blacksmith if he's around, and get high with an old man. Yes. Yeah, that sounds good. Pretty decent agenda. Um. 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 <laughs> I just found a dinosaur egg. <laughs> Holy wow, shit, already? Keep, yes. keep the fuck out of that until we get a coop, and then we can make <laughs> so many more. Absolutely. I'm 20 minutes late. Ugh, <laughs> I can't go talk to the blacksmith. I'll do it tomorrow, if he's not around. Keep them in your pocket. Yeah. My oh limited God. space. Man, one of your very seven. precious 12 pockets. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, I'll put my watering can away to, in order to make space for him. So, Iron, now that you're single, you mm -hmm. want to start dating? <laughs> <laughs> when did he become Amazing. single? I'm confused uh, and uh, lost. The... It's okay. It sounded like you Oh no! at the No, I, that wasn't oh, at him. I was trying to decide what to keep and what to uh -huh. trash, because oh, my pockets are full. Bad timing, huh? It was! Trash, like I wasn't even paying attention to your conversation! <laughs> oh, okay. oh, you weren't listening, I see. What? Stop! <laughs> Sorry. No bullying. Sorry, I will stop. <laughs> That was mean of me. Bullying the streamer! <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you're the one with the power here. I am, but it doesn't mean you won't- can't bully me. I mean, Feelings right, are hurt. Also... Have a oh. cherry bomb, don't make me come after you. Oh shit, oh, wow. I, can, I, I only need to make my own. <laughs> I must prepare myself. Yeah, you gotta be careful, Iron. She'll pop that cherry. Oh. <laughs> Clap it. I got three more geodes for you, Bubbly. Oh, thank you. Was I the only one kicked out? Oh. Were you kicked Did out? Yeah, it said connection to server was lost. Yeah, that's why I stopped talking suddenly. I was like, oh. it seemed. It says you've it quit seemed, now. Yeah, yeah it seemed semi comic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yes, you were the only one kicked out. Mm. And it was not on purpose. Oh. 
I don't know whether that makes that better or worse. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm certain. There wasn't any malicious intent from my side. Oh, that makes it all better. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you didn't mean it, it's okay. I didn't hmm. do anything! Where is this fucking ladder? A likely story. There you go. I have unlocked level 10. Oh, I can't believe I have a god dang. You know what? I don't know how I missed it, but this giant friggin' like light fixture in the corner of the room by the door, that's new. Yeah. It's a How lamp. Have I paper never lantern. noticed it. They made a new lamp. Lamp, not lamp. Lamp. Lantern ant. I love lamp. Anyway. I love lamp. <laughs> I love lamp. Are you just saying that you love things that you can see around the room? No. I love lamp. I love, love lamp. lamp. I love lamp. I love a lamp. Love lamp. Do, does Australis have fish? Do have lamp? Brother. Fish? Brother. Claire. Claire is fish. Emco pet. Fish. See. Catfish. <gasps> yes! That's exactly what I want. Holy god. Do they have a big version of that? <gasps> Fish and chips. Holy crap. These are all things that I want. Many, many, many more Fish and chips. Do they have a big family version of that so I can just buy a heck ton? Probably. Aha. Uh -huh. Because I left and rejoined, I get to pet the cat twice. <laughs> Way to flex. Pro gamer moves. It's what I what they call a pro gamer move. Okay, do I get a catfish dinner or do I get fish and chips? Fish and chips, because mm -hmm. the chips matter. And by chips we mean French fries. Mm -hmm. With your chips. We don't need this conversation. Stop. <laughs> We're not bringing this argument back again for the 15th time. Oh look, mom Wait. sent me some biscuits. Yes, they are biscuits. Dad sent me money. Except, except the thing is, when they have chocolate chips, they're cookies. I, I don't make the rules. Nah, uh, this man, is, this is one that biscuits. annoys me as well. They are called Chippy Bisques, and I will accept nothing else. Chippy Bisques? You know what, I, I will accept Bisques. Chippy Bisques? <laughs> As is my fate, I will accept <laughs> Chippy Bisques. That's so stupid! It is. <laughs> As opposed to British English, so it fits right in. We're the people that put extraneous O's and shit, because... Yes, views. Yeah, that's fair, yeah. Views, really. Oh. At a big thing. But yes. <laughs> to be honest, Chippy Bisque is definitely something I could imagine one of my, uh... One of my fellow countrymen saying. Oh, it's just so funny to me, it should be as funny! I'm glad someone's having fun. <laughs> my geos are in my box. That's okay. That's okay. Hmm? My geos are in my box. My hurts. I've already got it. No. I'm gonna pet my these extra cats. ones I got last night, you silly dude. Oh. I don't know why you're going crazy. I mean, it's just a. Also here. Don't, don't you do it. Because you're going that way. Don't what? you do it to me. Thank you. You don't enjoy a handful of chippy bisques with some tea? I wouldn't, I wouldn't personally take a handful of chippy bisques. I would take like one or two. But yeah, sure. Wow. Depends on the size of the chippy bisques. 
She is you're, losing you're really it. enjoying that one, huh? She stopped walking <laughs> in game because she just can't. I mean, they are chippy bisque, not chunky buns. <laughs> okay, now 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 you've lost me. Now you've lost me. What the heck is that? Chirpy derps. It's like chocolate chunk instead of chocolate chip. <laughs> no way. I mean, that's that's why they're called chunks, not chips. <laughs> Body hurts. <laughs> he oh my God. No. Okay, can I get? Oh. Oh my lord. You okay? No. Trump. You know. You're being a stinker. To be fair, what else is new? That is also true. <sighs> wow. Okay. What the heck was I doing? I don't even remember. I'm just I'm just standing here at the bus stop with tears in my eyes from laughing over You still haven't moved? A couple of words. <laughs> yes! It's better, it's better than standing here at the bus stop with tears in your eyes for other reasons. True. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Way to make it sad, Billy. Yeah. You could be That's in a Hallmark movie before. That is not why you're here. You stop that right now. Yeah, that's what it you're the DM for purpose. D and D for it. Okay, this isn't D and D. It's just to bring down the give mood. mouse a break no. emotionally. Bad. Okay. No you're here to make her break down. That's fine. <laughs> totally different feeling. Sure, those are different things. Yeah. Okay. I Look, mean, it's not any different I... when she's playing Thimble. Okay. I love everything. Even though I cry a lot, I'm just a big baby who easily cries. It's not because I'm actually unhappy. It's very liberating to be able to no, cry I, when yeah. I feel emotions. I, I trust you to. Uh, yeah, I trust you to to let me know if anything that I provide in the game would make you unhappy. I am thrilled with our game always. I have never left a game. Being like, God, I wish I hadn't joined this. Never once. Mm. Well, that's good. Everybody's awesome, and you're awesome, and it's great. And I love my character, and I love the universe. And just, yes. Mm. I yes it very much. Very good. Excellent. Ah. <clears throat> Kate. Hmm. Where are you? Mm, Kiv. 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 Uh, you mean the mine? Mm-hmm. All day. You coming? Well, I have thing to give you. Oh, okay. So I, I will give later. We go bed tonight mm -hmm. together? Sure. Very good. I'm gonna sleep with my boyfriend. <laughs> oh my god. Scandalous. Don't forget to bring the chippy bisques. <laughs> it ain't a proper sleepy without it. No proper sleepums without chippy bisques. Of course. Look at Tidy. Ah! Funnily enough, tidy is a thing that some British people say. I wanted to eat, to but it made me go good. down the fucking ladder. The dumbest fucking shit. <laughs> it's kind of cute though, cause it's like. I too say know, titty to mean good. See. I'm gonna kick you I in the chin. That from I just you. think about titties a lot, personally. <laughs> I expect that from you as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, glad 
we are at this understanding. I we know each other well enough by now to expect what to expect to know what to expect from each other. I almost said a sentence that makes no sense, and I write for it. <laughs> well, look, if you're talking without focusing and you're doing a video game, that's how it do. It be what it do, you know? Why do you think I'm silent most of the time when I'm playing video games? I don't communicate and multitask very well, you know? It's a bit hard. I don't like when there's a hard shit. You know, you really gotta squeeze. Word it out. is hard. English is dumb. Correct. Trust me, the more I learn about, like, well, no, I know of, I've known about phonetic stuff in English. Phonetic stuff in British English is the stupidest thing. I, I maintain by that because, like. <sighs> So here's the thing, right? We have rules for phonics up until a certain point where the rules completely change. And then we have those rules until we go back to the old rules, but teach multiple things that go by those rules. It's really, it makes no friggin' sense. And it is just frustrating. <laughs> Yeah, I remember helping you with that, with those papers for um, editing. I mean, so some of this stuff is some of that stuff. The proofreading stuff makes sense. Yeah, of course. Phonics writing for phonics is so bizarre because you've got to do like um, well to start with, depending on which publisher you work with, you can't depict certain things because we want to make it uh, widely. Uh, applicable or, or you know widely available um because the global market it makes sense you know uh, ah. um on the other hand it really stifles creativity mm. plus you know certain certain words that totally are decodable are treated as common exception words which aren't decodable because they don't fit into the neat reported package of like, of like everything else. It's, uh, phonics is dumb. So yes, English dumb, word hard. Yeah. But at least in English you can just say titty. Be happy. I mean, yeah. Titty gives serotonin. If you say so. It does. Am I wrong? Did I say I was? Oh, did I say I was arguing with you? No, but you're questioning me. Am I not allowed to question you now? No. Wow. Dictator. Tyrant. Wow. <laughs> Pulling out the mean words. Next you're gonna call me a billionaire. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Even I wouldn't go that far. Using all these slurs against me. <laughs> see, see, to call you that would be a violation of your basic human it's rights. true. <laughs> so I refuse. I appreciate it. Uh, Cage, which house? Um, I'm not going home yet. I will be on my way there. Cage, it is 10 p.m. Probably my house. <laughs> Caged. I'm on my way. Caged. Don't worry about it. I think I'm worrying about it. Oh. I'm going to pace up and down. <gasps> Do it and dare. I'm doing it. No! Is Timbus with you? Uh, I'll find the cat. 
but no, Timber's not with me pacing up and down yet. No. Hi. I'm I will give you. Your, uh, I will give you your present tomorrow. Okay. I'm in bed. This is my present now. Sleeping. Wow. Pretty good present. Yeah. Snuggle you. Wow. I really should buy more seeds, huh? I had completely have been not focusing on farming at all. My That's entire okay. my entire I stick have. is doing the combat. Yep. I've just not been focusing. Valid. This is the mm. place to do that. We're just here for vibes. Also, are we waiting on Mousy? If so, then that is okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm. Here I'm... Mm -hmm. As in, I'm... oh, as in, I'm gonna get a cutscene. Congrats on the cutscene, bro. I'm gonna skip it. <laughs> Because I realize it's skip. not important. Did you know there's a kind of uh, crisp here in the UK called Skips? No. They're really weird. Are they any good? They're okay. Is that like the brand name or is that the name of a type of crisp? I think it's the brand name. Okay, I feel like skips. I feel like there is a brand name, but it it, it can also it, it also could be the type. The U. I feel like they're just weird. I feel like called like Skippy or Skippers or something in the U.S. Yeah, no, completely different. Maybe, maybe. Probably, but like you know. Yeah, I'll get to them. I cherish it forever. Clearly, mm. safely. I hope that's not one of the radioactive ones I didn't check. Crystals are so tightly packed, <laughs> it almost looks fuzzy. Okay, good. It's not oh. toxic. I... I mean the fact that it's fuzzy. It looks fuzzy. It's already killing your eyesight. Safely in the house. Nice. Thank you. Slightly random D and D question: Do you guys still have the like the semi-precious stones, mossy, divvied out to you? No, I do. Hmm. Wait, didn't I sell those? I, um, you uh, I sold your ones. Yeah. Okay, I sold mine. I gave mine to Simi. Did you sell yours, or did you de decide to keep them so you can make jewelry out of them? Maybe. You might have done that. I might have done that. I don't remember. Because I was I was going back through that episode mm -hmm. uh, earlier, and I was like, well, what did happen with those, I wonder? I think I think you kept them to make jewelry mm. out of them. That strikes me as a very Simiel thing to do. Mm -hmm. um... Do you have a jeweler's kit? No. Mm. I don't think so. I know I have a clay kit, and I know I have, um, uh, the clothes making kit, or whatever. I just know how to make clothes. I 
hate the limit on gifts. You should be able to gift every day. Mm -hmm. That'd be nice, yeah. to try to make it down to level 15 again. Oof. How are the spirits looking? They were displeased. Why are you going then? I just want to make it to the next level. Don't die. I won't. Please. Just but don't do it though. I won't. But but don't don't I won't. but don't just but just Bad just don't. No. She's only going into a dark cave alone. What's the if worst die, that could happen? Excuse me, did you just say if you die, I will kill you? I don't I didn't hear I'm not getting an answer, sir. No comment. It sounded like you said that to me. Not to throw you under the bus or anything, but He's already thrown under the bus because I caught him. No comment. I believe that is what he said. I'm glad you decided never take to me start alive. I'm squinting at you, Bibby. You know, I can feel it. Feel this. Whoa. <laughs> Hot. Indeed. You say so? It was more just a, you know, general statement. Your general statement? That makes very little sense, but thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you at least take it as a compliment. For being displeased, they're giving me a lot of nice shit. Yeah. Out of my way. Stupid. Made it. You did it. I did this. I made this. Oh, there are bugs. I wish I still had the tree bomb. Unnecessary. Hey, I ordered food that I gotta go pick up, so probably right. about, uh, in another five minutes I'll Skedaddle out the door and go grab it. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> I was not paying attention. This is fine. I don't like Alex anyway. Damn. Oh, no. No offense to anyone named Alex. I mean, you mean a specific Only Alex. Only this particular so. Alex. Yeah. Only this particular. Mostly just because he's boring. 
It's not like he's offensive. He's just boring. No, no, no. We we all take offense uh, to this particular uh, Alex. Uh, no, um, it's it's okay. I I knew an offensive Alex. Mm. I feel like we all did at one point. It's probably a common enough name for that. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Hmm? That was a lot of bugs. Oh. I am at fifty-three health. Don't let it bug you. Oh heck, my pockets are full. I must go. What is in the pockets is? What I do I have is in the pockets is? I'm way too good at that. I shouldn't do that in public mm. ever. <laughs> you need to you need to make the uh the anti circus smoothie to deal with that. <laughs> I found an anchor. Pog. Where? On the beach. Oh, that makes sense. Stole it. <clears throat> <I'm> <clears throat> Don't worry about it. Yar har. Arr, hunty. I done smuggled me booty right off the beach. <laughs> Yoka. You're cute. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a dweeb, is what I am. Cute. And y'all tolerate me. Okay. Nothing wrong with being a dweeb. Can, I hate to ask this, but would somebody be a lovely, lovely person and water my crops tomorrow? Sure. Yes. I would greatly appreciate it. I have a very small uh, yeah. current plantation of crops, so I can do that. I got some free time. Yeah. Hmm. But you sure you do. You sure you do, Zeros. <laughs> Look, I only have like a hundred parsnips. You have way too much. I can stop whenever I want. <laughs> Seven minutes. Are you sure about that? All right, I will see y'all in. Cage, do you like home yet? Fifteen no. to twenty minutes. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. That's enough. Bye, have a great time. Hasta la juego. Hi, Jacob. <laughs> One enters, another leaves. Mm -hmm. You just missed <laughs> Mousy. How you doing, man? There's a decent chunk of people here. That's neat. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Got the level 20. Whoa. Nice, you got boots. Oh, I sword. haven't sword. even gone to the mines yet. Well, you get boots and sword for free. Because you can just go to those levels and pick those items up. Been missing your squeak heart all day. Oh. You want to come join the call? Yeah, you'd be welcome. Yeah, we're all eating food. Uh, Speak for yourself. Yeah. I had I food am. before this. I had food. Did you? At some point. Did you? I've eaten. Yeah. How long ago? How hour or so, I want to say. Like, I had dinner. Okay, good boy. Love you. I knew I would be bullied if I did not. Mm-hmm. It says waiting on two to four. Is she still in? Uh, well, it will true. probably... It might. We'll end up having to wait on. for her. Oh, right. No, that's fine. Cool. How you doing, chat? Great. <laughs> I'm doing pretty it's good. It's okay. Oh, hang on. I also am doing possibly.
understandable, Jacob. Sorry, my roommate just sent in a little Miss Dog. Hello, Doggy. Mm -hmm. Which dog? Sandy. Mm. My baby. Can you do me a favor and lay down? You can do me a favor and lay down. You cannot lay down underneath my computer. No, you may not. <laughs> <laughs> She's constantly trying to get near the power button. It's I probably don't... warm, right? Yes, it's entirely too warm in this room, which is why I need to step away for a second and open my window. I will return shortly. Really? Well, we're not going to be, like, moving on for a little bit, so it's all good. How has your day been, Jacob? And anyone else who wishes to answer this question. Okay. Rather okay is probably better than the alternative. I recently had the rather upsetting news that... Uh, so I had two planters, two propagators full of, uh, like chili seeds that I was trying to grow. Turns out the compost I used in those two propagators had uh, bits of mold in it. Oof. So those chili seeds rotted. Are you growing mushrooms now? No, because unfortunately they're entirely the wrong kind of mushrooms. Uh, instead what we've done is we've broken up the compost, sort of done what we can to do that, and we've chucked it in uh in its own little pile we're gonna see if it continues to mold and if it does continue to mold you know there's stuff we can do with that uh but instead we got um well dad got a like a, a kit for growing chilies which has rather better instructions and specialist compost and stuff like that it sucks because it's more money but at least this time we're more likely to actually get something and not have rotten compost. Sounds like a good thing. Yeah. It was a bit frustrating that that happened, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, today has been mostly checking on those and the tomatoes that I am currently growing, which uh, are doing pretty well. Good. Uh, we potted, potted them on a week or two ago, I want to say. Probably a week ago. Um, what is time? And uh, they're doing Maybe well. They're growing quickly. No Indeed. More. Yes. Yeah, they're growing pretty well. We 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 got, I want to say, fourteen individual plants. So, it's a lot of space to use. <laughs> they're they're small at the moment, but they will grow. As plants are wont to do. They do grow. It do be like that. It do be like that. Honey, you gotta lay down. Sit. Lay down. Good girl. She just wants belly rubs. That's all she wants right now. I can't like reach you over there, you goober. Dog. Oh yeah, she's the clingiest. The absolute clingiest. She loves you, though. I don't own her. She barely knows me. But she, she loves you. No. She loves you. Mm. Otherwise, she wouldn't want to be near you. True, I suppose. Jay had that issue with Stella. For some reason, she's just so skittish of her. Like, even mm. now, the reduction from barking has significantly... A decreased. Like, That's good. When she used to come by, she would just fucking bark. Mm -hmm. And now it's just a normal, hey! Oh, it's you. Mm -hmm. I think dogs can tell when people have not so great feelings towards them. I mean, she loves them. She uh, Jay absolutely loves the dogs. Mm. Sandy, come here. 
Lay down. I can't keep an eye on you if you're near the door. Come here. Hi. Yes, that's my hand and that's your jaw. Thank you for the sympathies, Jacob. My hopes is that the four different vari Lay variations down. of chilies we currently are, well, I currently am growing, uh, actually work out. Do you want to be held? You want to be held? You want to come up? Come up? Come on! Up up! Up up! Oh. <laughs> Stinky dog! For that. Stinky happy dog! I was waiting for that. Oh. <laughs> I mean, she for... like, she left forward with both her paws and like smacked me on my lap. Yep. Baby. Oh, baby. She just tucks her face into your chest and she snuggles you. Happy baby. What kind of dog is Sandy? She is a border collie. Mixed Lovely. with something. She's a sheep herder. Mm. <laughs> okay. Enough snuggles? Okay. <laughs> you made my nose wet. I'm so happy you're so happy. I have made my attention quota human. <laughs> and yet she still wants more because she's a whore. <laughs> I have made my attention quota for this nanosecond mm -hmm. human. Exactly. Come here. Hop up. Hop up. Hop up. No. <laughs> Hop up. Welcome she's back, getting all Marcus. excited. Oh, she put her face on my lap. <laughs> Hi, baby. We are currently having dog intermission. Mm-hmm. You're so happy. Yeah. <laughs> I need to take a picture of her right now. She's so <laughs> fucking cute. No, come here. Sandy, come here. The other dog borked in the other room, so she left my mm. lap. Sandy. Would you say, would you say uh, Sandy is amongst your favorite dogs? What do you mean? Come here. Uh, of, of the ones in your house currently, Sandy is the one Oh, yeah. She was my most. first best friend. That's good. We played fetch as soon as... Hey, stop eating stuff off the floor. <laughs> she was my first best friend when I got here because I would just play fetch with her the entire time we were talking mm -hmm. about me living here. And she just mm. was like, you're my best friend. I'm so she happy. Yeah. Aw. That's good. <laughs> she keeps, like, not smiling whenever I take a picture. Oh, you want to come up, honey? Hi. Ow. Hi. <laughs> Are you trying to come up? Come on. You can do it. Jump up. Up, up. What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> I can't see chat right now, so if anybody's talking to me, let me know. I will let you know. I have an eye on chat. Okay. Hi. Don't worry, I'm not doing mod duties. Good. Banned from mod duties those. for today. I will only do it if something no. happens. Absolutely not. But what if something happens? Then I'll take care of it. What if you're not looking ch at chat when something happens? <laughs> Why are you pausing it like that? Because it's funny. <laughs> Hi, baby. Is it too hot in here for you? I opened up the window. Do you have a fan on? Yeah, I have all both fans on and the window open. Mm. Does Sandy tend to react to the noise of the fan? Not really. She's never really in here long enough to do that. Mm. But I don't want to leave her outside without supervision, because poor baby girl has had seizure. Oof. I see that's the reason. Mm. Mm -hmm. She had it yesterday. Big, big scare. Oof. It's the second one she's had since I've been here. 
You see, so something going on with that dog then. Yeah. She's getting in her old age, which we're fearing that the seizures might be linked to something else. Hmm. Because usually dogs get them when they're young. Yeah. Not when they're old. Right. And she's eight. She old pupper. She mm -hmm. old baby. Do you need, like... She just perked up. Do you need... <laughs> she tilts her head. Do you oh. need... Pets? We're having a staring contest. It's a very quiet dog. Oh, yeah. No, she's... Probably, that's one of my favorite reasons why she's... One of my favorites. She's very quiet. Mm -hmm. Until you get her barking and excited. Then she's the loudest. <laughs> well, that's just how dogs are. Of course. The uh, the closest thing we have to a family dog, which belongs to my uncle, is the loudest. And the most excitable. And has learned how to jump up onto a bar stool. And sit on it. Oh no. And so, uh, so we have like Zoom calls mm -hmm. with that side of the family because mm -hmm. it's a nice thing to do, and you know we can't go and see each other and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, we've had moments where we've been having Zoom calls, and then this um, <clears throat> this retriever, uh, which is basically what it is. Um, this duck toller uh, jumps up onto the onto like the middle bar stool and just sort of sits there and like stares right at the camera for two seconds. It's surreal. He, he I guess he just wants to join in. Sounds like it. Yeah. Or do you then, want of course, your belly rub? Of course, he will then, you know either just jump off the bar stool or make the bar stool almost fall or do something because mm -hmm. <laughs> he's a dog and he wants attention. Mm -hmm. He likes to be tall. Yes. He is not a small dog. Do you want a belly rub? I think you want a belly rub. You want a belly rub? Dog. Good girl. Doing a good lay down. Stop eating stuff off the floor. <laughs> Stop having food on your floor. I do need a <laughs> vacuum. It's just, I hate lugging out the giant vacuum for like. Oh, I know the feeling. 20 seconds of vacuuming because my room is small. There's yeah. not a lot of carpet. Yeah, do you guys have, like, a a day where you do vacuuming with the No. Because that's what we do, and that way it's just easy to just go, okay, I'll do the vacuuming, do upstairs, downstairs, my room, and this is fine, you know? No. I see. We have a hard enough time doing, like, getting each other to do their own fucking dishes. I got you. I have been there. Yeah. I've been there my entire life with my parents and my brother, mm. let alone strangers. Yeah, I mean, sometimes people forget, but yeah. Sure. Or you're leaving it out to soak because washing it at, like, you put it in the sink, it wouldn't mm -hmm. have come off. And I get that. However, having the same dish in there for three days in a row is, is gross, yeah. Practically silently asking someone else to do it for you. Yeah. Hmm. Um, there are a lot of ways to take care of birds in which you cannot have any candles, you cannot have uh oh, shoot. There are a lot of things you can't have when you have birds. More specifically candles. That's the one I remember the most. 
Um, mm. uh, you have to be careful because if they like try to pluck out their feathers too hard, they will end up like making themselves bleed. Um, you have to worry about their pin feathers and what she like rub the wax off their feathers to help them get clean. Some of them don't like help. Some of them will do them do it themselves and sometimes you have to force them to get help because they refuse to do it themselves. Mm. You have to maintain their balance of diet because sometimes they only like the treats or they only like the fruit and they won't eat their damn veggies. They're children. Yeah, beginning to sound like children. Yes. You can't have anything. Yes. And they don't eat. Teflon coating. That's one of the other big no-nos. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing mm -hmm. with candles. Is that the scented thing? It goes for all animals, really. Um, You're not supposed to have that near dogs, either. Or cats. Plant taking a course in bird care and voluntary and a shelter. Good. Good plan. Yeah, good. Responsible. Par uh, parrot. Parrot owner. I was gonna. I was trying to say parrot, parent, but it realized that wouldn't. The exaggeration of that would take a little bit too a much. Parent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did you know on some island somewhere there are vampire finches? No. Um. What they basically do is I forget whether it's whether they like clip the um like a. Uh, not a flight feather, but like a feather on a larger bird, or whether they pull it out. But they do this, and they just drink the blood. It is it is bizarre. It's a really weird thing. It sounds bizarre. Um, but because there's not much going on, like, in terms of stuff finches normally eat on that island, they have evolved to resort to drinking blood. Mm -hmm. Which is bizarrely actually not super uncommon in the bird world. There are certain birds that feed their uh, children with a mixture of, like, blood and food and stuff like that. Birds are strange. Hi. You've been dating one. This one's less strange. I don't know about that. It's more Not strange. Really. Yeah, no, I forget which one it is, but I think it's a kind of pelican. I know there's a type of vulture that coats his wings in blood, and the more blood or the redder that it looks it means it's more of the top, like the top of line killer in the area. Mm. Apex. Kind of. Ish. Without it being apex. Mm -hmm. There's a... I mean, one of my favorite vultures is the Lamagaya. Because we had one do a flyover of England. <laughs> it came over from the French Alps and did a flyover of England to mm -hmm. like check things out. They are ridiculously cool. Um, partly because they have kind of evolved better. the use of tools to some degree. Um, they will pick up bones and fly really high above particular kinds of rocks and drop them on those rocks to mm -hmm. break the bone. Yeah, I recall something like that. Mm -hmm. The world of birds is neat. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of variation. Hi. You okay? I had to wipe down her paws and... Uh... Mm -hmm thighs and neck because she was still panting even though it's pretty cool in this room now mm. birds are intelligent bees are also intelligent bees are uh, highly so intelligent did, somebody did an amazing test where um they would set out um hunt, uh, i think nectar at particular points marked if so there was a pattern and then they would mark the uh place with uh, no, a number Stop. of dots Stop it. Um, oh. and they found that after a certain while the bees were already at the next spot waiting for them as they were coming out with the nectar <laughs> I remember one test where they had like fake bees where they were attached to a stick and they would show them uh -huh. how to complete the puzzle and then they would do it the next time 
and then they would tell the next mm. person in the row, or the next B in the row, like, hey, this is what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bees are very communicative. Also, as Mousy, are you back? As with any social creatures. Is Mouse back? It might have just defaulted. Uh, she's pretty sure she's still in the game anyway. Maybe it just fully loaded. I hear a lot of harvest. You know, it's your yeah. boy Zero's Tempus! Hi, baby. I'll go, um, water her stuff. Look at you, responsible cat owner. I love my baby. Doing the thing. Hmm. Baby. Thank you. I'm almost out of water. Have you done so the real stuff? Shame. Yeah. There's no salt water to refill your water. I am so can. glad there's no salt water. <laughs> that gave me like low key anxiety <laughs> that you were putting fucking salt water on your plants. Look, we're just prepping them, okay? What, if you the water rising you... water levels? Listen, if there's a woman who no. can maintain her plant with coke, I can maintain a plant with salt water. Look, if you <sighs> I water hate that. If you water your plant with salt water, then you don't need to season it when it's time to cook it. It's Vincent's birthday today. Oh. Have I wish I had an evening. argument against that. Zeros. I really do. Says, Fuck you. Exactly. Which one's Abigail again? It is flawless. Oh, Galaxy Brain. The one who eats the gems. Is that... Sorry, who's eating gems? Abigail. Not ours. Is that purple hair? Yeah. <laughs> she wants eel. Eels I... gems? Yes. Yeah. If you give her a gem, she'll say that it's tasty. How'd you know I like to snack on this? Did I... Don't worry about it. I'm pretty That's sure not... it was made as a joke, and then they just kept it in there. That's not a human being. <laughs> Some gems are edible. Which ones? Rock salt. That's not a gem. It's a crystal, but... It's a crystal gem. It's a gem. A gem is a precious stone. You're a precious stone. Thank you, you too, but salt isn't. I'm pretty sure salt is precious. It's important for curing and maintaining food over long but it's periods. But not, it's, not, it's not scarce. It will be. where you are. Some places have to import a lot of it. Yeah. I guess I am spoiled being from an island nation. You're spoiled from being in a nation that literally stole all seasonings and then refuses to use any of them. Wow, okay, it's back I'm to gonna colonialism. Call it out. Yes. I see, I see. Everything is linked to it. What do you want from I see. me? You're going to, you're you going to blame started me for, it. <laughs> you're going to blame me for the British Empire? No. <laughs> okay, Meghan Merkel or whatever. They <laughs> <exactly>. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, fuck, it's yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday, my dudes. Ah! Why we gotta always be closed on Wednesday? Because be we fair, gotta finish it first. Those two are doing Lord's work in showing us that the monarchy really is just no 
Let's get rid of it, please. There's a reason worth their salt is a saying. People were paid in salt in ancient Rome. Yes, but this is not ancient Rome. It could be. It, it, it is not. It could be. The fact that I am not wearing a toga probably means that it's not ancient Rome. I thought it just meant you weren't wearing a toga. Mm -hmm. Now listen. You have ivy in your hair? Behind your ears? Are you a philosopher? No. I mean... Are you a philosopher? Maybe. Are you a philosopher? maybe? Can you fiff off of her fire? What is my bidding? I please don't call me Caesar Caged. I will get stabbed in the back 12 times. Your name is not Julius. You'll be fine. Being a falafeler? <laughs> falafeler. Falafeler? Where the frick is Abigail? I do happen to quite like falafel. Falafel. I don't think I've ever had a falafel. No, falafel is made of chickens and bran flour and stuff. Definitely have not had falafel. It's nice. I'm a fan. You're nice. But if you don't, if you don't like pulses, then I don't think I've ever had one. Uh, pulses basically stuff like peas and beans and stuff. Peas. I don't like peas. I do like green beans. Oh. Oh. Okay. Gotcha, Moose. Good plan. I don't think I've ever seen anyone use the text feature in this game. It's all good. It's not a matter if it's all good or not, it's just that I've never seen it before. <laughs> self care It is good. indeed. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. The person who uses the unused. Mm. There needs to at least be one. Mm -hmm. I'm a smoocher of people who need smooches! I only need to. I love you, Mouse. So when I made Arkan the Cold Iron Smith, and mm -hmm. I didn't expect I only needed two to become a huge fucking meme, and yet it did. Yeah. And that's the power of Dungeons and Dragons, folks. Yes. Oh, you're fine, Is honey. We no were issue. talking about dogs, because I'm babysitting yeah. a dog who is still eating food off my floor. Quit it. There's a I'm staring I mean, at you. Were you gonna eat that food? I was going to vacuum it. <laughs> so you were gonna waste it? It's not waste if it's covered in hair. The dog doesn't care. Of course the dog doesn't care. There's not, there's not a lot that dogs do care about. Dogs care about if they're getting scratches, and if people are talking shit about them. Right. Hi. Hello. You're welcome. <coughs> I love you. It was Cage who did. But you helped. It was Come me. Let's. Let's hold baby. Okay, where the heck is Abigail? Too late? I think it might be too late. 
I really need to learn everyone's schedules better <laughs> in terms of these characters. You know what? There's a I heckin' rarely... wiki for that. Uh, there is. Sounds like cheating to me. Nope. How I'm not here you. to just miss everybody. Abigail Spring. Wednesday. Abigail's currently in the graveyard. Huh? Standing in front of Mana's Abigail grave. is in the graveyard. Yeah. I'm warning, okay? Okay. What are you mourning? Good morning. Oh, this is Linus's event. I'm actually going to sit through and watch this one because, hey! It gives you a choice to help the character. I, wish... I did not mean to type four, but four. I typed four. Five. Hello. You girl. Um, Two hundred and twenty seven. No. Twenty K is twenty seven. There you go. That's how you count, right? No. Yeah, you count by twenties. Yeah. Baby, what house are you in? My one. Okay. Hey. Chill. It's gonna be okay. No. No whining. A bunch of why? No whining. Hey, chill. No. Why? I'm busy. Why? Sandy, come here. Why? Come here. Sit. Lie down. Good girl. Good girl. No. <laughs> Immediately stands up. Tries to get under the table again. You come on like a bloodstained hurricane. Good girl. Sorry. Because we made a reference to... Ow. Yes. Ow. I, was, I, was, uh, <laughs> I was desperately trying to think through my very limited database of disturbed lyrics. <laughs> I have none. <clears throat> Sounds like it's raining. It is. Mm. Yeah. It's kind of starting to sprinkle in real life out here, too. Nice. Neat. The axe quest. That be those potatoes already. Hi, Clint. Bye, Clint. I'm going to grab them after I've cleared my bag. Okay. Of useless things. I'm in your bag? No. No. Just no. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. How dare you make it. Stop. Get out. I love this. You should be good girl. I am. Take good back girl. those things you said about my girlfriend. Oh. Hey, if I can't talk crap about your best friend, you know, I can't talk crap about his girlfriend. Got it? Mm hmm. What if I want to be saucy? Respect. What if I want to be saucy? Too There's bad. There's both a time and a place. Yeah. Difference between saucy and burnt. Burnt. Bless you. <laughs> or at least it sounded like a sneeze. I don't know if it was a sneeze or a... I'm choking. Please help. Um, Jacob. Jacob, your mouth is needed. Mouth to mouth situation. Mouth to mouth suction. <laughs> you could always say it's a mouth to mouse. Ha 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 ha! Hey, baby. Oh, hi. Welcome to the stream. Oh, okay. He has arrived. <laughs> yes! My beautiful boy. He was needed. 
I heard that I was needed. What? What? You needed mouth to mouth resuscitation. Mouth. Yeah. You were choking. No, I said. That's the joke, I honey. Said... <laughs> okay. That's the joke. I am going <laughs> to lay down now. Beautiful. In the water on the beach. And let the tide carry me away. Nobody, nobody, nobody. That's the only thing I think of. <laughs> hey, and just enough money for 69 parsnip seeds. That's a lot nice. of parsnip seeds. Nice. Thank you. Hi. You're doing the thing. I know, and I don't even need to mm. water them because it's raining. So good. Oh my god. I'm having a holy moment here. Mm. Uh, there are melon seeds at the uh, uh, museum, by the way. I just grabbed the last reward. Well, uh, that sounds like a you problem. Making me come all the way back. It sounds like a you problem. Kiss you. <laughs> Is a threat. Oh my god. I see. It will be wet and sloppy. Oh my. Because of the rain? Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> Spider Man kiss. Spider Man kiss. <laughs> In the rain. Upside down. Spider Man kiss. Spider mm. punch. Spider kick. Spider kiss. Spider punch. Spider kiss. Spider kiss. <laughs> what was that last one? Spider punch? Oh, the one I after that. that. Spider kick! I got the the sewers fucking cutscene. What is the uh, point of that cutscene? I'll let you know that there's something, something in there. there. You can get I there see. eventually. Yeah, nowhere near anytime soon, though. No. Not unless you're cheating. Can someone buy me seven parsnip seeds? Uh, no. give me a sec. <laughs> Thank you, Iron. Stop enabling him. He can stop whenever oh. he wants. Hi, Lowark. Hey, hey, Mousy. Hey, 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 hey Mousy. Mousy, come here. Mousy, hey, Mousy. Mousy. Got something for you. Can't show the others, okay? Seven okay. parsnip seeds, seeds, bud? I think so, yeah. Cool. Don't worry about it. Oh, <laughs> cutie pie! Here, quick, take it back. What? What? No. It's contraband. Oh, but no, you gotta keep it. Take it back. No. I don't. What am I gonna do with it? You gotta keep it. It but matches your overall. If the cops catch me with it, we're in trouble. Just I need to know where they won't find it. I can't like can keep a secret for anything. For <laughs> I'm gonna sell it on the black market. Okay. Chill! Yes, hello. Hi. Uh, Zeros, where about are you? He's home. Thank you. I'm in front of Cage's house giving my oh, cool. seed. <laughs> I see. I have maple tree. Am I mm. saying lol work or bull work? I've been saying lol work. Because I've been seeing the E, uh, the L three is an L E, but is it bulwark? It's supposed to be like a, yeah, it's supposed to look like B, capital right? B. I'm stupid. Mm -hmm. out. No, nope. you're not. Am. No. Nope. Yes. Nope. Nope. Yep. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. Uh -uh. Your brain Dumb chose to prioritize the letters and not the number. Shit. I reject your fantasy Gage. and substitute for reality. I need a right here. <laughs> Cage. What? Stop being mean to my girlfriend. No. I'll bully the shit out of her. <laughs> wow. Wow. I guess that just means... Well... Gonna oh, catch the hands on them cheeks as they go... Clap. I guess then you don't want any more snuggles? It's a little rough, but like, you know. 
I suppose I shall have to take drastic measures. You are. I'm so sorry about this. Good luck. And the horse be with you. Also, I just want to impress upon everyone that hears this. Um, strawberry butter is one of the greatest inventions of mankind. And it what? is effing delicious on a uh, yeast roll. I am partial to what? cinnamon butter. Strawberry one. butter. Is butter you the strawberries. You don't need to flavor butter. You do, though. Yes, you do. It is delicious. It's really good. That's what marmalade is for. No. No! Marmalade is marmalade. bad. That is sadness and False. gelatin. Thanks. This is butter, which is happiness. Bad marmalade is bad. Good marmalade is amazing. Do you think the U.S. has any good marmalade? Well, I know a person who said in the U.S. you can get the best of everything and the worst of everything. Because there's so much of it. And then you go to Texas and then everything's just big. It's both the best and the worst. And the biggest. Mm. They, uh, they pretend to be big, but it's not. Overcompensation. I literally the lived there for six years. Contest of mine's big everything is pretty fucking big. I'm gonna say it now. <laughs> They're second-rate Alaskans. <laughs> sure. Damn. Oof. Oh, by the way, bird. Yeah. That your, uh, your what? That seasoning burn that you gave uh England in general earlier was absolutely hilarious. Like I gasped and covered my mouth and my sister went, What? <laughs> it was very good. Top tier insult is wonderful. Mwah, Thank you. Beautiful. Excellent. Poetic. I sure do love insulting my boyfriend. No, it's not him directly. Uh, I think it is much. <laughs> <laughs> Fun Look. Oh, you Please. completed one. Everyone's a Good part job. of a culture that's done atrocities. It's true. No one is free from that. We must no, poke fun no at the atrocities or we will dissolve into depression over the dark histories that mar our pasts. <laughs> uh, that depends uh -huh. for what... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, gelatin is basically just uh oh god like gelatin you can get the gelatin and gelatinous stuff from things that aren't just horse hoofs you can get yeah um, like the rest bones, of the horse pork bones seaweed moss um some kinds of sugars mhm mm cuz all it is is you know chemical process of the breakdown of like so there, I gotta want to say bonding proteins. proteins. Yeah, yeah. everything is proteins in cooking, mm -hmm. except for when it's fats, because those are fats in cooking. In which case, you're probably just dishing lard into a large pan to uh, fry something. In which case, it'll be delicious, but you can only mm. do that once in a great while. <laughs> I don't know about lard. The words lard so and good. delicious don't need to go together in my no, opinion. No, it's but... so good. There's so much better flavor from animal fat to fry things versus vegetable fat or nut fat. Sure, I can get that. Really. I can get behind that. But, like, lard, at least over here, lard is not good and it stinks. Mm. See, uh, in America, lard doesn't have a scent mm -mm. until you start to heat it up, in which case then it smells vaguely like pork rinds. Mm. Or, um, we use that a lot for what do you call them? Uh, chicharrones. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, when in Britain, don't, 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 don't do anything with lard, please. Okay. Sure. Not like I'd do anything of, with lard now, but sure. For the good of your own health. You should come here, or we'll have lard fried chicken. Okay. It's the best way to have fried chicken. I'm you don't even it. have to bread it. You just cover it in seasonings and fried in lard. Best. Makes the skin super crispy. Melts the fat underneath Tim the this. skin layer without uh, getting scorched. Mm. Heck and delicious. Have you ever tried uh, buttermilk marinated roast chicken? Yes. It's really good. Stuff is good. Especially when seasoned right. 
beer battered anything is really good. Mm. Yeah, buttermilk buttermilk uh, marinated is nice. Buttermilk mm. marinated. It uh, mellows the gaminess. Yeah, and because it's acidy, mm -hmm. it you know the makes it more tender. Exactly, because you know it's all denaturing proteins and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Which is it why you can technically, yeah, is why you can uh, cook things escabeche style, which is basically just chuck it in acid. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm where are you? Uh, lake on my way back. Three. Yes. Three. Oh my god, this was a big meal. Yes. Squinting at you, come to bed. I'm on my way. Um, but I said making my way back. Do you expect downtown? me to teleport? Yes. Running fast in the well, rain. I'm sorry, I can't do that. His girlfriend. I saw Which house? Mine. Which house? Mine. Oh, yeah. the cage we have house. Kitty. Cage bird's house. To go to bed together. Doodly doodly do. <laughs> der, der, der. <laughs> sorry. Thank I'll you. quit. I'm too musical right now. I need to shut up. I mean, that was me yesterday. Uncle you. At least that worked. I made 37 gold. Nice. You sold a muscle. Mm -hmm. I made, apparently, I made 1200. Nice. Jesus. I you am sold so cool. potatoes. Yeah. Potato. So glad I muted right there. <laughs> Did oh. you belch? I belched like Jacob. <laughs> nice. Uh, it's impressive. It was enough that it made me go, oh god, when it was done. Baby, you're hot. <laughs> Baby, you're <laughs> hot. Sorry, Twitch, for TOS issues, possibly. Please don't ban Cage. Ban me instead! I'm the one who smooched my boyfriend on camera! You're not, not on, even camera. on camera. Back early. I know, this is a holy place. Definitely not where a yes. OnlyFans gal uh, accidentally hit live. Quote unquote, accidentally hit live, and then oh, man. just did all sorts this, of things on this, live stream. There was a lot of surprise. actual, like, vagina on screen. Oh, yeah. She didn't get banned either. No, she just got timed out for three days. That does surprise me. What? I mean. Most of her viewers were probably Twitch staff. Yes. Oh, Why yes, do you think they, they were trying to work. ban? Why do you think they were trying to ban the terms like in? Mm, can't Sam say it. INCL and all that other jazz. Mm -hmm. Like. But, okay, but like. Okay. Well, in terms hey, of that that so particular much. word, calling a rake a rake is. I necessary. know, but they hate being called a rake. Well, that's a them problem. I know. Excuse me, sir. Where are you going? To water my crops and then come back and help you with yours. <laughs> you started and then left. Did anybody Look, I watered exactly one in? crop. Um, I'm done no. for the day. What was that, Mousy? Never mind. Oh, yeah. Figured it out. Hmm? Okay. It's okie dokie. Oops. Oops. I don't know how to do things anymore. I'm sorry. I'm just full duh. I can't remember how to do nothing. I'm just gonna pet a cat and sell a bunch of parsnips. Relatable. Where's cat? Move. Cat by my house. Timbus! I love you. Timbus Bimbus, he a good boy. Blast of my water to fill Timbus's bowl. The best girl. Mm -hmm. There she is. It's okay, I have a salt water pond in my area. Specifically ordered the salt water. Oh boy, did you, did you put like dishwater salt in the water? <laughs> no. I put Epsom salt in there. I see, Epsom I see. Epsom salt. So, uh, I see, Malthus, the kobolds are now challenge rating one half. They are like, what? Is that the same as an orc? <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, oh my God. For context, Malthus gave flying kobolds bombs and guns, Why? and the regular kobolds guns. Can 
because they are Mario a monster. naming schemes like gunbolds and co-bombs. Okay, co-bombs sound cute, though, mm -hmm. partly because... I've been conditioned to whenever I hear Kobe at the beginning of anything, think child, because of Japanese. Mm. Or little. What else should I get more of? Parsnip! I don't know how many I actually need, so parsnip? I'm just gonna grab like seven. Parsnip! 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 Never. Parsnip! <laughs> Sounds like a Pokemon. Corfish! Corf! Hey, baby. Mm -hmm. How was your day? It was Who I got to kill today? <laughs> no one. Are you sure? Because mm -hmm. I'll do this it. This is a turn off the books. I'll murder a man for you. Or several. Mm -hmm. Is there a reward at the museum? Nice. Nice. Secret seeds. Ooh, nice. Those are fall, right? Summer. Summer. That is a very good question. I needed way more than seven. Uh-oh. What um, time is it? Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. So, for those of you who have not seen Bulwark's question in chat, uh, what mm. is everyone's favorite kind of pie? Key lime, oh. apple, cinnamon. Apple, cinnamon oh. together. Um, mm. And uh, lemon meringue. You have many favorite pies. I like pie. Pie is good. I like buttermilk pie. I like um, French silk pie. I like pumpkin pie. Um, gosh, what is French silk? I French it's silk is the chocolate like a, pie. Yeah, hmm. never had it before. Real smooth chocolate Real good. pie with like. Yeah. Chocolate shavings on top of whipped cream. And then whipped cream. Ooh, it's good that sounds good. Um, it's really good. It's one of my favorites. It makes me think of my um, grandmother's three three layer delight uh, oh. dessert. But Cheek Farm has earned fifteen thousand gold. Dollars. It's amazing because I have one thousand seven hundred. I have eight hundred and eighty eight. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say you have more than I do, Massey. I may be partially responsible. Oh, you are absolutely fully responsible. With your parsnip obsession. Rice shoot. Look, I only bought a hundred and water to make them grow days. faster. So oh, I have Has five if you want. They're two they're rows of... Yeah, it's not really worth it, but you know it's free. I don't know. Oh, rare seed. Just plant them your water. Rare seed's always there. Thank you. So, a serious question. Um, mm -hmm. When c considering favorite pies, is crumble considered a kind of pie? What's a crumble? No. I wouldn't think so, because it's more cobbler um, adjacent. In my opinion. I'm gonna go with Which the Which is also not crumble. pie. That's very true. It's yeah. like a crisp. A crisp is not a pie. It has elements, mm. but no crust. Just to crumble on top. In which case, I don't think I can weigh in on favorite sweet kind of pie. What kind of meat pie? Then? Uh, favorite crumble, to answer that question first, mm. is uh, there is a pear and apple crumble with... Mm. Um, God, I want to say walnut and chocolate. Wow, that's a lot. But the walnut is in the... Um, the walnut in the is in the, the crust. crust. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And it's all diced up and stuff like that. And there's not a whole lot of it, but it's just there to provide a bit more of like, the flavor Substance and texture. And, yeah. Yeah. And the, the, the chocolate is just the occasional couple cubes or squares. Just to add a little bit of richness. Thing, to add a little bit of richness. The pear is, I mean, it's got to be sort of like, it's got to be the kind of faint, the delicate kind of flavor pear. And then the apple, you know, the more, the, almost the more sour you can get, the better. To sort of contrast those flavors. It's cool. It's a very good one. But it's the sort of thing you have like once 
every month, maybe, because there's a lot to it. Mm. Do you like any mince pies? I'm not a big dessert guy, if I'm completely mm. honest. See, um, I, I mean, I'm like mince meat. That's I am not a person for that because I'm also the the person who is revolted by the idea of like a pineapple slice being on our ham. I'm very right. particular. Oh, I mince don't... pie! Oh, great, gotcha. Yeah. yeah. So mince pie is weird for us at least. Mm -hmm. The kinds of mince pies which are you know desserts have no mince meat in them at all. They're not mm. anything to do with mince meat. Gotcha. Uh, what are they? I don't know. <laughs> something. I I genuinely have no something idea. Else. Like they they are they are they they are a thing that exists. Um, as you might be able to tell. Uh, Malthus. I don't actually have um much experience with. Why are you mince pie? Hmm. But that's you know. That's just because, like I said, I'm not a big Why? dessert guy. I hope things are going well on Butt Cheek Farm. He's, yup. He's planting in your area. Huh? He's planting in your area. Hey. He's putting... Me? Yeah, he's planting in your farm. Okay. Okay, Malthus, how would you not be a food guy? Okay, I'm 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 gonna call you out there. If not, I don't like can, calling people out, but can, why I can pick them up, it's okay. How would you not be a food guy? Wow. That is, yeah, no, I'm a I'm gonna be with you on that one. I'm gonna back you up on that. How the heck do you not like food? Like what kind some of trauma people have, have no been shame. Through? Some people have problems no with eating food. But yeah. like yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, no, that's fair. That was my immediate response of maybe they have an eating problem. But on the same on the same level, like I hope you can manage to get past that at some day because food is good. Food is good. That's, that's a lot to so ask for. for. I know, I know. I'm, I, that's why I'm saying I'm ho I hope and not trying to put any pressure. Um, I personally am am a guy who finds a lot of pleasure in cooking food. Um, yes, I know. I will be very full and gain a lot of weight when we're living together because we will constantly <laughs> be making each other food. We need to work out like an actual working out regimen before we live together. <laughs> yeah, I, I get the sensory issues, uh, Malthus. Uh, I complete. I'm completely. Think so. Hi. Um. I hope that I hope that things become. A little easier. I hope you can find things that are nicer for you in terms of sensory stuff. But I, I get that that's a difficulty. Mm. What's a howdy pixel? Is it like my friends in college had a, a kind of mild sensory issue with food, like where flavors would be fine, but textures would mm -hmm. make her almost vomit. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. like she couldn't eat things with other things. She literally couldn't eat sandwiches because the texture difference between meat and bread was too in tense for her and it would make her gag so she would like have to try very carefully to find things that either matched in texture as close as possible um or would try very tentatively at new things new combinations and it was it was really rough with her um so she had a very limited diet mm. yeah i know this sort of, this i realize this sort of thing is difficult for some folks i hope um i hope my initial comment I hope my initial comment did not come across as insensitive, Malthus. I apologize. I'm trapped! Oh. George, please! Ah! Okay, I'm glad. Ah! Uh, this is yes, hello, one of the reasons hello. why in the Discord I have a lot of things that are like very Separate. specific, like, I do not mm -hmm. allow food pictures outside of the channel for food pictures, because a lot of the time, mm -hmm. there may be someone with an eating disorder who it isn't okay it. with it. You know, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Make jokes about it all the time. I'm glad you have humor about it. That's good. Mm -hmm. Have a humor about it. I'm fucking cool. To be fair, we've been playing for a while. <laughs> it's only been three hours. 
It seems like a while to me, okay? Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been I did keep going on 13 waiting. days now, so... For a Indeed. while, I'm so sorry. No okay. problem, don't worry about that. Here we're chilling. How are you all adore Belle? Don't know. It's a good question. I don't know if I can make it to my house. Can I crash with someone else tonight? Come snuggle with yeah, me. Come snuggle with me and Iron. You, yeah, first house yes. you get to. Whatever works. Uh, yes, if you... Snuggle puddle! <laughs> Boyfriend and nice. best friend in the same bed. Wow. 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 Snuggle sandwich. Snuggle. Very happy. And actually, I've, I've grown out of my, um talking to people aggressively in my sleep phase of my life so <laughs> that was a phase yes a i went through i went phase. through a phase of if i slept in uh, a particular uh, location of any kind with someone that doesn't make sense if i slept alongside someone in a bed i would end up um having vivid dreams or things like that and would end up you know like maybe biting their hair or mumbling in my sleep Oof. and then when i get poked to to be like hey quiet i would turn like okay hotel room i'm like eight me and my oldest sister are sharing a bed for some trip or other hmm. did you swear i am in mumbling in my sleep she reaches over and pokes me in the back to try to get me to quiet down she's like abby Abby! And she pokes me in the back, and my eyes open, and I roll over, and I look at her, and I go, What? No, it's just... And then she says, I'm sorry, never mind. And I rolled back over and went back to sleep. <laughs> I, do n I do not recall this, because I did this entirely in my sleep. I responded aggressively, and perhaps demonically, um, <laughs> and yeah, it was, was, not, say, was not very fun. Uh, for her, and I was eked out by it. But I have also talked to other things. I've one time I was I know I for a fact I was dreaming about Star Fox 64 because it was uh, that far back. Yes. Um. Hello, I am old. There are much worse things. Um, I will about. kick you in the shin. Um. Anyway, so I'm dreaming about Star Fox 64 as far as I could remember, and my sister w wakes me up laughing because apparently, in my sleep, I had mumbled out laser, laser, laser. <laughs> so it's shooting from my R wing in my dream and got the laser upgrade with the the green one, you know. And I was, uh, I was like, oh, laser, somebody, laser, laser. Somebody sleep. needs to mod whatever space fighter game comes out next. <laughs> So that whenever you mm. shoot, it's not pew pew, it's laser, laser, laser. laser, laser. laser. <laughs> <laughs> I have said several of these types of stories. Are we ignoring the egg festival like sitting today? up in my sleep and mumbling uh, at walls and then laying back down. I'd be okay, go <laughs> We have to fill up your fucking entire thing first, sir. I don't think we'll make it in time. Look, we hat. have until two o'clock. I want hat. Yes, also, I have to clean go to hat mouse. I want my hat. Come, come help us. House. I'm already waiting. It's fine. I have to put come my Come help us. She's fine. We have three more hours. You know what? They go away in two seconds. It's actually 20 seconds. I'll 24 to be exact. Kick. You. Yes, I've played so much Stardew Valley, though, and I know exactly how many- Well, no, it's not 24, I it's 27. I'm sorry, it's 27 I'm seconds. I'm starting to feel exhausted. Exactly. Same. Do you need help, Ward? Yes. Uh, I have uh, vegetables in my... Uh... Pocket? No, not pocket. Pants. Uh... The wooden container. Box. Chest. Okay. It's better than kicking while you sleep? That's me. 
I have literally caused myself yep. and anybody else who has slept with me bruises on their legs and other appendages because I just am so violent in my sleep. Fresh is... This is I, something I get to look forward to. You do! I get to beat the <laughs> shit out of you while we sleep. Amazing. Um. I mean, hey, you don't gotta worry about cold feet, just kicky feet. My feet are always yeah. cold. I have bad circulation. If they're ever yeah, but... warm, there's a problem. So I, I get to I get to worry about grievous bodily harm and frostbite. Yes. Frostbite? How dare also, you? Also, iron the egg festival. Please hurry. I am on my way. <sighs> there he be. There that dapper lad go. Baby. No, oh, yeah. come back. <laughs> What the hell? Babe, there's only an hour and such left. It's okay. Chill. No. Chill. No. I got ten strawberries. <laughs> what? The image. Oh. <laughs> the zero sent to the, the four party chat. <laughs> when you want to look like a snack. Oh. Thank you. Glad you oh. appreciate it. I, I have really perhaps do. bought too many strawberry seeds. How I about have like ten? thirteen of them. I have like thirteen of them. Oh, that's too many. <laughs> no, it's Bye. not. You need to buy as many as you can because they're fucking great. <clears throat> I don't know. Thirteen is a lot. How many did you buy? Uh, none. I, I spent all my money on the one hundred and sixty-five parsnips. Oh my god! That's so many! <sighs> well, I was able to water them all. With help. <laughs> Two other people helping you. Hold on, I gotta talk to everybody now. Okay. Babe. I, I don't even bother going to look for people because I know I'll meet them all here. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not death coming for your soul, Iron. It's just her feet. <laughs> hey, did you know that you're actually death incarnate and that you're gonna be kicking him with your feet of death? Blinking dot gif. <laughs> what, you mean this guy? Uh, where is it? I have them as BTP. Oh, where are those? You're doing your best, I appreciate I am doing my best. I am enjoying myself, Mary Lewis. You cockroach. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> there Damn it is. Savage. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes. That one. Hi. I'm Bunny. I'm also, I need to talk to you. I'm Bunny. Hello. Hello. Oh. Uh, Hi. <laughs> hey. I'm proud of myself for remembering. You wanna be bunny? Be Look bunny. at you. Smart boy, remember name. I can identify him as something other than the only black guy in the game. Good. Yeah. Him bunny. He's the token black guy. Yep. Very upsetting. Forgot to talk to Lexus, but Marlin, come here. I, I don't know enough about the kind of community that this game is based around to know how common. There we go. I got lined up. You know, terrifying. How what the what the variation of people is, and demographics is within these kinds of communities. But I imagine more than one. I wish you could dig in the trash during festivals. <laughs> that would just gross everyone out. Be mm. Perfect. I wish you could be, eat. This would be what Fast people social tracks suicide. Of... I want to eat food. No, I see. She's just looking for eggs in the trash because who <laughs> knows where they're hiding them. God, zeros, you and the images today—they're so on top of it. Are you ready? Um, Still okay. talking to everyone. Let me know when we're ready. 
consumption. I don't mean to make you wait, I apologize. They're fine. I, I just know what they all say, so that's why I'm not doing that. Mousey, where are you? Mousey? Hello. Hello. Hi. I was looking for Rasmodius. I don't remember. He's not he's in the anymore. first one. Oh, that reminds me. I didn't do this. I didn't go talk to Pierre. I need to spook Pierre. But do you know how to spook Pierre? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Good, the boy. Excuse me, can I buy Mousy's wares? Oh, what? Hi, Ma hi, Iron. Can I buy your wares? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. One kissy, two. please. Oh. oh, for free on the house. Mm. <laughs> oh, the most beautiful. I got girl two in kisses. Town. Wow. Yay. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we ready? Hi! I think so. Yes. Let's start. <sighs> I aim to beat my grand record of four. <laughs> <laughs> You'll do it, oh. Bibi. Oh. Do you want to just follow me? Nah, it's okay. Sure. Zero's and I tied last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first egg festival is everybody for themselves. After mm -hmm. that, then we can help out the less experienced. Okay. Combat begins. Ah, don't get caught! Yeah, it's the worst. <laughs> go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Move, child. These eggs are mine. <laughs> no, I didn't want to read that! Frick! Ha, ha, ha. Oh, that's Jasmine! Oh! I thought she was an egg! I thought so too! <laughs> oh, you won, you sneaky Amazing. son of a gun! Hey, you got Amazing. five iron. You improved. You I did improve, Bibi! You did it! I told you you would. And you didn't get last. It's because Jasmine made me think she was a fucking egg. <laughs> that I lost. Oh! Hello! Thank you! You got your hat! Oh, I got my hat. I didn't even Whoa. see how many I got. I was got panicking eight. so bad about Jasmine. You got eight. I got seven. Congratulations, Moose. Thank you. Congratulations. Moose. Best Moose! Wow. I'm love boy! I love you. <gasps> wow. I am blessed. As am I. It's time for Zed's. It's, yeah, I'm gonna save these strawberries for next year. Well, I'm too late mm -hmm. in the month plants to... all over my house. Timber. Aren't they summer anyway? No, they're spring. Strobes? What? Yeah, they're, they're spring. spring. <laughs> what? Yeah. You're supposed to buy them and save them for next year. Mm hmm Yeah. First year, at least. Or it's just I did not know this. the greenhouse. You can hover over the uh, seeds to see what kind they are. Queen of Source, by the way. Mm-hmm. Bless. Coleslaw. Who? Yeah, not, I'm not really too pleased about that. No, thank Col you. Good coleslaw is good. But it's hard to find good coleslaw. The only good yeah. coleslaw is a dead coleslaw. Whoa. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> no, no, eat potato! 
Okay. <laughs> Never was a fan of Cole's Law. Oh. <laughs> hey. Mm hmm. Hey. Hey. You're precious. Thank you. Oh. He Over is here. though. Have you seen oh, this yeah. boy? Jacob's He's a good boy. I have stellar. seen that boy. Spectacular, handsome, gentle, sweet. I have looked at him before. I know. Over the past two hours, I've gone to the store, purchased seventy dollars worth of sandwiches and water, and have consumed three sandwiches. Oh, seventy dollars wow. worth of sandwiches? Those I mean, better be good sandwiches. sandwiches. Or I a lot of many, sandwiches. Or both. How many sandwiches? Is yeah. This is it like one of those or big party ones what is that it? you get at like offices and crap? What's in the sandwiches? Is it cocaine? Cocaina? <laughs> 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 Just so cool. Is it cocaine? It's the devil's lettuce. Like, is it square bread sandwich or is it, was it 22 like sandwiches. a foot long sub okay. sandwich? That is a Where did you sandwiches. get them from? And is it like peanut butter and jelly, or like Club with bacon? Two of them were Two. croissants. Okay. Croissant sandwich, I get that. That's cool. And water. <laughs> Somebody planted all these parsnips with no fertilizer. Yeah, Two, who do you think that three was? Three foot subs. Look, oh I'm God! Sorry that I get. I'm ahead. worried that they would get soggy. I mean, I had some in my in my chest. You could have just grabbed some. I keep forgetting we don't have any mushrooms. Not yet. No, no <gasps> mushroom yet. No shroom me. Only no shroom. I'm sorry. You must live. With no mushroom. No. Going crazy with breakfast. Mo See, okay. I'm gonna go into a weird language rant again, but whenever I hear mush muffin or see muffin, I think of the I think of the sweet thing mm -hmm. that we have. Muffins are usually sweet. The, what the uh, fuck is a breakfast muffin? Are you talking about a cup like a cupcake, but healthier and without icing? That type of muffin. No. Uh, just I'm what the f uh, th there is no breakfast muffin in in British English because all muffins are sweet. I don't even know yeah, what a breakfast muffin is. Yeah, we eat muffins muffin for breakfast over here. We don't value our arteries. Oh, do you mean like just having a muffin for breakfast? Uh, Bullock, what it it says biscuit sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> so there's the type of thing that you get at like. McDonald's. Oh, wait, that's like you mean a... like an English muffin. Or I, I, wait, okay, but it's not mind. English. There's too I, many no, the English muffin that isn't English in the yeah, slightest. Yeah, the I, European I muffin. <laughs> so confused. I'm confused. I, I hate it. I, 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 <laughs> you gotta explain, <laughs> baby. Iron, can you put a picture oh, of an, of what you know as a muffin yeah, in the all, for all nerds, and I will post a muffin okay, that we commonly have. For breakfast. Nobody expects the English, the Spanish Inquisition muffin. Okay, go there. Hi, honey. Hello. I am googling blueberry muffin. Cool. This... Okay, so it, it seems like we do have the kind, the same kind of idea of what a muffin is. This muffin. This blueberry muffin we eat for breakfast. Right, okay. I mean, I'm not gonna judge. Holding wife hand. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Hopefully this will work. Be... No. Oh, I'm so happy I spilled my water. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's an accident, I swear. Got you wet, huh? Provides a link. <laughs> it's basically the same sort of thing. Yeah, but we just eat them for breakfast because, like I said, we don't care about our arteries. It's Haley's birthday. Very fair enough. Yeah. I can't fault you though. Also, they're really good. I love eating yeah, them with breakfast. It's good stuff. 
Why is it they're that every very, time I get here, well, there's food talk? You didn't hear me talk about food earlier, so you're late to the fucking party, Paslack. Also, also, hi. Also, you're welcome, <laughs> Paslack. Look, we talk about food a lot. Do you require we geo-breaking like services? Numeral uh, designation. I don't have any flowers. I think oh, I'm alright. I'm gonna go get Robin's cool. axe. So. Yeah, I was just I... about to head down there, too. Fair I enough, yeah. I haven't gotten that either. It's just been days. Why don't we all go and get Robin's axe? Wow, okay. we could do a group activity. Group activity? Yes. <laughs> Exceptional pun. Indeed. God damn it, it's a stupid kid <sighs> sewer thing. You're welcome. Like biscuits over croissants if the sandwich is like thick cut ham and egg. See, that's huh. what I picture with like the whole thing that McDonald's has. Because they have that... Uh... That's, yeah, because they use an English muffin. Yeah. Which is not well actually done, an like. English muffin at all. It's, no. a, it's a type of like yeast bread what? roll that's flattened. Croissants is for like salad sandwiches? Ah. I disagree, sir. <laughs> Croissants but, are you know, super good. I love you, Zeros. Never change. Thank you. What, do you what do? has he done? I was picking up spring onions, and he, like, it obviously hid behind a tree. And as soon as I was done, he popped out like, ha! Ah, I see. He sprung. <laughs> He's fucking cute, and I love him. <laughs> He's a good boy. I can tell you now, it was not intentional. When I saw <laughs> you, I stopped, and I just happened to be behind a tree. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am not clever enough to Wrong. intentionally hide. Where is I do not Robin? have money for good old cats. I do not either. I have we 88 gold. Well, we gotta go give this to her. And I gotta give so Haley her even. birthday present. Where is Robin? Is Robin upstairs? Up, 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 up? Upstairs, up, up, yes. Up, up, up. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. She's upstairs. Dang. <laughs> she is upstairs. <laughs> I, I am tired. I know. She is okay. It is Wait, very late. Mercy, mercy, mercy. What, 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 what? Witch is here because it's Sunday. Which, 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 which? Which, which? Oh, which, yeah. Which? <gasps> Horseradish. Doink. Battery. Uh, who is she? Sprinkle. Poppy seeds. Battery. Too expensive to make though, it's ridiculous. It is. That's why the last time I got it for iron, I literally like cheated it into the game. That's what I did for uh -huh. me and Jacob. <laughs> yep. yep. Why do you need to make it that expensive? Like it's already hard enough to get that one component. It's hard enough to get the the, the like, there's no need. mermaid's amulet. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Like, frick's sake. Also, it's gonna make it even um, harder to marry a player? Mm -hmm. Why? If I might also add to the complaint, you can't even wear the ring afterward. Yeah. It's like, what? Mm. What? Yeah, you can. You yeah, put it on your ring finger. It, then it, it doesn't let me. Really? When I tried. Yeah, no. It That's doesn't. weird. It's like, what are you doing trying to equip a ring, loser? That's not a <laughs> ring. Loser. So I'm like, okay, well, Where I'll just she? hold this in my inventory then. She in her room? Where is, oh, where is Robin? Uh, it's PM. She drinking? Yeah, she might be at the bar. Oh, she's outside with Demetrius. God, how outside where? Dare outside her house. house. I'm with her husband. Was, she has a business. I was to at the house just earlier. Uh -huh. <sighs> All he said was, "Hey, your name is Caged, right?" And that's he it. Said, that for me too, except yeah. not caged, because that'd be weird. <laughs> You're caged, weird. right? You're all caged, right? Well, one oh, of you is bound we're to be all caged. We're stuck here. Trapped. Caged, if you would. The never-ending <laughs> cycle. The never-ending story. You're gonna have to mi vibrate through me, Maru. There she goes. Now she's sprinting away from me, my god. She's like, ah! That's that. Stranger danger! Man. I think it was Haley. a wild onion, not a ski alien. Could be wrong, though. Did you just eat a scallion? It's a spring onion. Oh, hey, I've got a cutscene. With who? Congratulations. Oh, Linus. 
Oh. He's a good boy. Mm hmm What you choose dictates your relationship, boy. Uh, I skipped it. Oh. Bad. Well, you're dead now. Yeah. Because uh, in my in my experience, that cutscene plays like way too long. Yeah, it sure does. It's too slow. All the cutscenes are. Mm -hmm. Especially for multiplayer. Mm hmm. <gasps> Timbus. That we come to my bed. Which house? My... Timbus okay. is here sleeping on me. Adorable. Speaking of pets, how is Sandy? She's gone. Oh. She died. Rip Sandy. Um, she. Um, her um, Allie came into the room and ushered her out. They came back home. Okay, good. Everything is fine. I do not have a dead dog in my room. Good. <sighs> I think Ooh, I'm going to. Uh... Some, uh... Mm. I, I am probably going to dip, yes. I think. That's ill because it is 1am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do feel free to continue without me. Mm. Yes, I know. She's very upset. She is baby. I'm going to crash into Mira's house again because, wow. Hello. Do the thing. Are three of us snuggling together again? <laughs> yes. Yay. Technically four if we include Timbus. 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 I love Timbus with all my heart. For one more. Yeah. We have to choose a ridiculous name for our future cats, Bibi. Oh boy. Okay. It doesn't have to be now, obviously. Yeah, I was thinking, are you putting me on the spot? No. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Okay. Oh, Thank you so much for playing you. with us. Thank you for having me. I had oh. a great time. Oh, wow. I think Hello. I also am going to dip. Okay. Okay. Do we want to call it here for Stardew? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, chat, see ya. Take care, Bye. folks. Au revoir. Bye. I will, see, I will see all of you fine folks in the call, hopefully before maids at some point. Yeah. But definitely during maids. Yeah. You better be there because I'm there mm -hmm. to flirt with you, sir. Yep. All right. See ya. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Those of you in the call. Um, mm -hmm. Jacob, you put in so much effort today. I want to thank you especially. <laughs> <laughs> if um, I'm being honest, I thought about leaving uh, pretty much immediately after I already did the bit, but then I was no. like, I didn't get a word in to say, all right, I'm out. So Not I just stayed. All. You, you can <laughs> stay here. You're the hardest worker we have. I don't agree. You are, you. and there's nothing you can say to dispute that. Anyways, everybody in chat, thanks for coming by the day. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry for such a short stream, but conflicting schedules, time zones, and whatnot. People are fucking tired. Not a lot of people have as much stamina as I do, considering this isn't their job, and they also have other jobs to do. So. Duh. Um, we'll be back tomorrow for our final stream of the week. Um, not sure what we're gonna play, but we're gonna do something. Boy, howdy, are we going to do something? Okay. Uh, is anyone streaming currently that we can go raid? That we can go raid? We raid? Uh... Let's go Let's go raid Trolley. It's been a long time since I've been in Trolley's um, area. Mm-hmm. Immortal. Yeah, he's playing some nice chess. Nice. Oh wow. Chess pretty dang cool, gotta say. 
queen right. to 10, 20. I'll queen your 10? 20? Yes. Queen, I, uh, I... I... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I wish you guys a great night. Take care of yourselves. I love you very much, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
I take your hand and lead you to the dance floor? Has the music died? Something in your eyes calls to mind a silver screen and all it said goodbyes. I'm never gonna dance again. Guilty feet have got no rhythm, though it's easy to pretend. I know you're not a fool. I should know better than to cheat a friend and waste the chance that I've been given. So I'm never gonna dance again the way I dance with you. Cheat a friend and waste the chance that I've been given. So I'm never gonna dance again the way I dance with you. Never without your love. Cheat a friend and waste the chance that I've been given. So I'm never gonna dance again the, the way, way I, I dance, dance with, with you. Hi. <laughs> How y'all doing today? on this while listening to the song. I know I'm supposed to be streaming this, but I, I wanted to busy my hands. <laughs> it's not like I've done that much. So wrong, so wrong. <laughs> Lord, please. <laughs> do you do this? Stop that. It says it's dying and then I'll click on OBS and it's like, oh no, I'm suddenly very fine. Stop it. Got no lab class for my, uh, got no lab for my class today, so I've got time. Time to waste. Like I would have done anyways. Yeah. <laughs> I totally understand. Another art stream? Hell yeah! This is a YCH, or a Your Character Here, that was purchased by two very cute people, um, Jacob and Mousy. You may have heard of them. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'll 
I'll be drawing their personas that I made for them. This is Jacob. He's a giant fucking bear. Thick thighs. Look at the thighs. So thick. And meaty paws. Close this chat. <laughs> And then here's Mousies. Takes a second to load, but Mousies, cute little Mousona. She's so cute. Look at that. I gave her little hard eyes. <laughs> She's so cute. I love her. Dem thighs, though. I know, right? He asked specifically for like thighs with three C's, so I gave it to him. Hi, Ducky. What is that? <laughs> oh, what a strange emote. specifically labeling these so I know exactly how to color them in the future. Um, these will have like extra lighting added on later. The fence will have some vague lighting on the outside but darker on the inside and as well as these poles. Um, mid ground is everything else. So like the props that they're using, the um, swings, um, and the shading, the little heart on the ground. Uh, I'll also be adding more bushes in the back over there. I'm excited. I want a moment to be real. want to touch things that I feel. want to hold on and feel. No, I don't want it sideways. <laughs> what did you think of now? Mousy is a she, her. I'm holding out for a hero to the end of the night. He's gotta be strong and he's gotta be fast and he's gotta be fresh from the fight. I need a hero. I'm holding out for a hero to the morning light. I go by she, they. Jacob goes by, um, he, him. Bear joke falls flat, drat. <laughs> Surprise, bush heads. <laughs> yeah, they do have bush heads now, huh? <laughs> In my wildest fantasy, some would just be on my reach. There's someone reaching back for me. Thanks for bearing with me, ugh. <laughs> Take a superman to sweeten up my feet. You 
sure got him all right. <laughs> oh my god, you're terrible. <laughs> out of lurking just to give you the angry <laughs> Such an inconvenience to you. I just love love love. I just love love love. It's like I'm even a person. Am I? I'm just your brother. Well, I.
dogs barking. Against me all night long. Our souls on your mind, our souls are entwined. I can embrace I went ahead too far. So <laughs> stay green and night. I got just a place. A place where we can be alone. Unless my mom and dad are home. Welcome to my parents. My mom left out some snackies I bet you're feeling horny now So why don't we get nasty, 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 yeah. <laughs> I love this song so much Oh, thank you, Robin Let me mute so I can take a sippy Bye-bye, thanks for stopping by What's your favorite juice? <laughs> you got mango and apple and, and guava and apple. So many fucking fruits. <laughs> <laughs> I love this song. Can you believe this shit is free? Welcome to my parents' house. To my parents house. Can you my castle? That's my grandma's basset house. Such a sassy rascal, aren't you moving? Date. Is a date a fruit? I thought it was a nut. I could be very wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Wrong? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's a nut, though. In which you could just make another pun off of that. You need to go to bed. Okay, good night. Welcome to my parents. Or you can just make the fruit part the joke, where two people are very gay. <laughs> There's a lot of avenues. To make sure I make good choices. Hit it. Welcome to my parents' house. It is a fruit? Ah. See, I am the one who fucked. <laughs> Random knowledge and puns is all I know. I know a lot of trivia. I love trivia. Random trivia is the best trivia. I fucked oh, the flex. <laughs> I don't know if that's a flex so much as I just didn't finish the rest of that sentence. <laughs> you got to try. You got to try. There's a thundering storm. I am the one who fucks. Underneath your covers, you huddle and hide. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. What kind of love? It's the truth. Stuck in the middle of fear and shame. 
Everybody's looking for someone who's to blame. Like it's a game. Like it's a game. And now I get better than win or lose. There's a new direction that I like to choose. It's called the truth. It's called the truth. And then a huge ass and true that's like 75 measures. <laughs> How about the royal toupee dance? It's a hairball. <laughs> oh, you're funny. So funny. Get a suffer emote or BTTV emote. <laughs> I do still have some slots. I was gonna put a, a DM for the next uh, emote because my boyfriend doesn't have one. While well, the rest of the DD crew does. So I guess that's what'll make him. <laughs> we do make him suffer. Wow, 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 those colors. Okay, so I'm gonna be really honest. I watched some background tips before the stream. <laughs> and it taught me a lot. So I'm glad you like the colors. I'm working hard. Oh, so hi, honeybee. Change the color on this one. It's a bit too dark. Now, see, I love you. Show me that solvable problem We can get through this hell to the hardest part with you It's the truth, it's the truth Maria, you know I am a righteous man, and of my virtue I am to sleep well. Gata Maria, you know I'm so much 
much purer than the common bone that we face and just grow. Then tell me this changed the. It did! God damn it. Changed the type of brush I had. I don't remember which one it was. Ugh. <sighs> so annoying. To blame. It is the chips and all the witches set the slave. It's not my fault. If in God's plan, He made the devil so much stronger than a man. Why can't I find it? Yeah. I always forget I have the second section. <laughs> Taste the fires of hell, or else let her be mine and mine alone. There it is, number two. Jeez. Mr. Strollo, the gypsy has escaped. What? She's nowhere in the cathedral. She's gone. But how? Uh, never mind. Get out, you idiot. I'll find, I'll find her. her. I'll, I'll find her if to burn, burn down all of Paris. Dark fire, now gypsy, it's your turn. Choose me, or your fire. Be mine, or you will burn. God have mercy on her. God have mercy on me. But she will be mine, or she will burn. I had an idea I want to try when I get a working sewing machine. What'd you want to try? Tell me your ideas. I wish you would know. <gasps> Yay! Oh, and it's the duet one too. Oh, it has them separate and then do duet. Duet. <laughs> Those are words. Hand paws. Oh, that'd be so cute. But beef. <laughs> you know those ones that I linked in my other Twitter account? You should definitely follow them. If you haven't already, obviously. <laughs> But I'd love to see that. Beeg, not beef. <laughs> I knew what you intended. Like a weird bubble in my chest, and I hate it. Prevents me from talking and speaking.
Okay, so I had to quickly uh, Google that because I was afraid it was a different Twitter account that I was thinking of, but thankfully not. Everyone has an artsy side. It's just whether or not you uh, do it fairly often or not, you know? Ah. Giant open air greenhouse is hard to make? Oh, I'm sure. Please tell me you're not doing it in survival mode. fuck around with uh, Minecraft much anymore. There have been a lot of updates, so... Yeah, please! I'd love to see! What is going on with my throat today? But it is bugging the shit out of me right now.
Jesus. <laughs> I need a little rizz up a little. Here in the garden, Just bump the shit out of my desk. <laughs> I'll show you how it's done. Here in the garden, stand very still. This will be so much fun. And then she smiles. That's what I'm after. Smile in her eyes. The sound of her laughter. Happy to listen, happy to play, happily watching her drift away. Everybody do some stretches. Happily waiting all on my own. Raise your hands high up into the sky to appraise the sun. The sun is awesome, it gives you nice vitamin D. For do good, <laughs> not anything else. <laughs> I want you to take your right hand over to your shoulder, or to your left shoulder, rather, and just cross your left hand behind your right, hold that shoulder, and just pull to the right lightly as far as you can lean. I just cracked my back doing that, that felt great. You just keep hold. on turning pages And but then go back sitting up care. straight people And then lean over to the left I prayed for another cracking But it didn't seem like and it was gonna happen Unfortunately it takes you ages to see the And then back up to the center so no And then touch your toes while in your chair I don't and feel like getting up right now <laughs> I can't exactly reach my toes, but I'm going for them. I'm at my ankles. Finally something. And just Finally hold. About how the story is out. She doesn't exist and slowly so back up, to sitting up straight. And all of her friends <sighs> isn't that ah, lovely? Sorry about the noise. <laughs> I was trying to crack my neck. Cool? Grab your armrest like usual. And, and turn. Try to crack it back. Oh, there we go. The other one did it. Ugh. I ordered a um, neck back massager thingy. Um, it's mostly for the neck. It has like little thingies to vibrate on the neck, but they also have like electro pads that can go down to the rest of your body. Oh, I can't wait for that to arrive. I really need that, like, I need any type of massage right now. I'm willing to take anything. <laughs> Dang it, I didn't mean to do that. Oops, not overlay. There we go. Oh, nope. Low dodge. There we go. <laughs> 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 Begin to be half of what you think of me. I could do about anything. I could even learn how to love. When I see the way you act, wondering when I'm coming back. I could do about anything. I could even learn how to love like you. Of what you think of me, I could do about anything. 
I could even learn how to love like you. Thought I might be bad now, I'm sure that it's true. Cause I think you're so good, and I'm nothing like you. Look at you go, I just adore you. I wish that I knew what makes you think I'm so special. If I could begin to do something that does right by you, I would do about anything. I would even learn how to love. When I see the way you looked, shaken by how long it took, I could do about anything. I could even learn how to love. I think I have better cloud uh, brushes. Let me look around a little bit. I have a lot of brushes. <laughs> I haven't gotten to try a lot of them out just yet. Mostly because I'm saving them for uh, certain sections in my a new webcomic. Um, try this one. There's a fountain hidden in the dark, long abandoned in which no one talks. Down Ain't that lag so much? Jeez. Farthest way, children gather in this ghostly tomb and smile, for they were waiting here. Especially just to play with you All the happy faces, such happy faces They know you'll join them soon Circle you, circle you Stay with us and play forever Circle you, circle you to adore and leave us never till you see the rising sun they say come the beginning circle you circle you are we having lots of Fun fact, this song is actually based off of real forest in Japan. Um, not the one that Logan Paul showed off and rude, like, completely disrespected. Um, I believe this is a different, uh, forest entirely. And stuff like this actually happened, where scientists were experimenting on children 
or you know just human beings in general mostly children um, to figure out the best way to make the perfect soldier um, to win the war and what they did was they found the kill switch in the brain and found out if you le uh, like electrify the body it can t technically come back to life but like the husk of the person is just a husk so they experimented with like chopping off body parts um, like that um, they would trade body parts see what would like fit what would work what would like completely ruin the host from being able to work properly fun stuff you know I forget the name of the forest but the building is still there supposedly and if you were to go to it um, spirits of the children will come haunt you and they'll ask you to play and if you say yes or no you're fucking screwed <laughs> I believe the only way to get out of it is to say maybe later similar to the the lady with the scissors who cut her face and asked that she's beautiful you can't say yes cuz she'll cut your face to be like that you can't say no cuz she'll just straight up kill you you have to see you have to say Meh. I've seen better. <laughs> You're okay. Mythos are fucking savage <laughs> with how they have to treat the people. We're just so fucked up. Screams for miles. Let's play till the morning light. What do I do with this newfound knowledge? Uh, <laughs> I told you, I'm also full of random trivia and knowledge. I found this out in middle school and thought it was the coolest shit. Cause you know, child. I 
baby. Yeah, only you get me some money too. Ooh. Why don't you do right like some other man? You. I'm doing pretty good, baby. This piece is coming along really quickly and really nicely. I'm very happy about that. I still love the texture of the grass so much. I didn't know what I got into. Somehow I can't go back even if I really wanted to. So what more can I do? You're the only one I trust me and you. I never wanted, wanted to play, play by the rules And I turn it and I'm playing, playing at the part of the fool Cause if I don't even think you love me It's too late for apologies Go ahead and just hit me some terrible All this my determination is unstable I'm not even mad because I keep on dying But I don't even know why I'm trying This isn't what I wanted It's what I asked for Curiosity over all my morals I took away your perfect happy ending Setting the world despite the warnings.
Cheers, beers. Hi, Dean. It's not just I hope you're having a good day. Take, it's Amongst these threes. <laughs> all you wanna do, all you wanna do, baby. And ever since I was a child, I make the boys go so wild. wild. All you wanna do, all you wanna do, baby. Take my first music teacher, Henry Mannix. I was young, it's true, but even then I knew the only thing you wanna do is broad, dark, sexy, sexy men. Taught me all about dynamics. He was 23 and I was 13 going on 30 we spent hours drumming the lute striking the chords and blowing the flute he plucked my strings all the way to G went from major to minor you to be tell me what you need what you want don't need to bleed cause I feel the chemistry like I get It. He just it's cares so, so much, it feels legit, we have a connection, I think this, this guy is different, all oh, you wanna do, all you wanna do, baby, touch me, love me, can't get enough, all you wanna do, all you wanna do, baby, this means 
It is a musical number. It's called Six the Musical. But then there was another guy, Francis Guerin. Serious, stern, and slow. Guess what he wants when he wants to know. I don't know how to draw an airplane. <laughs> mm. This is a problem. I'm sure Don't this time is different. different. All you wanna do, all you wanna do, baby, is if she loves me, can't, can't get enough seeds. All you wanna do, all you wanna do, baby, is if she loves me, can't get enough seeds. You can wait a second more to get my corset on the floor. Time's over. over. The only thing, thing you want to do is. <sighs> yeah, that didn't work out. So I decided to take a break from boys and you'll never guess who I met. Tall, large, Henry, Henry VIII, VIII, Supreme Head of the Church of England. Globally revered, although you wouldn't know it from the look of that beard, made me a lady in waiting. Hugged me and my family up in the world. Gave me duties in court, and he swears it's true that with Evelyn abstracted, it's true. Know what he do. You and there's probably like a little thing I could use in here, too. You've always been purple for me. Can't get enough seeds. Say purple, but on mobile it's showing me as gray. That's weird. They might have rolled out like an update and it sucks, <laughs> so I'm not surprised. It's breaking.
Yeah, mobile isn't really... It's the cousin that no one really pays attention to at this point. I sing for you. This is absolutely a playlist. It sure is. <laughs> It's the one that YouTube gives me every time. It's like a mix that it just gives me. YouTube knows my taste. Let's go. 